Okay, here we go. How's it going, people? Welcome to Yakuza Like a Dragon. The day has finally come where we uh, have the game in English. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I'm just gonna get right into this. Hold on. Um, okay. Uh, and for reference, this is the PC version, by the way. So, you're gonna be seeing... Oh. Legendary First Aid Kids. Uh, this is the PC version, so it's gonna be in sweet, sweet 60 FPS. Uh, I'm gonna assume that dub is enabled by default. I should have checked. Let's see. By the way, uh, is there... have I waited for this day. Yes. I know you can't have forgotten my face. Do not pretend otherwise. Iaman was the name of the courtier you murdered in Suriga. That man was my father. You don't mean. You're that girl from before. I'm not that girl anymore. I am a vagrant on a quest for vengeance. Do you know how many times I've awoken in the night, having dreamt of drawing this dagger? Today, finally, my blade will have its due! Quiet! Men, have your way with her! Huh. You actually believe I would ever let myself be cut down by a mere woman? I will teach you your place, for I am none other than the fearsome Ginji the Slasher, the legendary terror of Edo! The slasher is none other than I. Did you see that? Father. Bravo! 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 Magnificent! Wonderful! By the way, I was gonna ask, is there any problem with the stream yet? Like, low audio, anything? Let me know. <laughs> Masumi! Did you finish cutting that confetti? No. Not yet. Then what are you sitting around for? We leave for Osaka in the morning. <laughs> Look at you. You got the audience to its feet and suddenly you think you're a star? This kind of money is nothing, so don't let it go to your head. You ungrateful little brat. Don't you look at me like that. I can't believe this is how you treat your mother. I ought to make the next cut even deeper. And this time, not even your makeup will hide it. Yoko! Stop it! <laughs> Don't you dare try to order me around, Toshio. 
Who do you think keeps this whole damn show running? Tora-chan! Shall we go to Motomachi tonight? Hmm? Are you sure? Who cares about all this? should have time to finish it in the truck tomorrow. I may never be an award-winning actor, but I've always been a masterful confetti cutter. Every actor needs a backup plan. <laughs> what do you say we hit the town tonight? See the sights of Yokohama. Just the two of us. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Mom of the year, huh? Damn. So, Masumi, did you say goodbye to all your friends in Yokohama? I don't have any friends. What's the point if you switch schools every month? Come on, don't be like that. You know, when I was your age, my parents wouldn't even let me go to school. <sighs> hey, why don't we treat ourselves today? I know, how about Peking Duck? The king of Chinese food. Ah, the duck is dried in the sun, then roasted, and the skin comes out so crispy and delicious, you'll love it. If it's the king of Chinese food, it must be expensive. <laughs> Don't you worry about that. Indulging ourselves for one night won't break the bank. Damn. By the way, for those wondering, yes, they redid the lip sync entirely for in-game cutscenes and the full cutscenes as well. So that's why they go hand in hand very well with the dub. Damn, that food looks delicious. I'm glad I ate before this stream. Whoa, Masumi. You're going to get full if you keep eating those, you know. Remember, these appetizers are just the bit players. The main course has yet to take the stage. Yeah, I know. I'm going to the bathroom before the star gets here. Dad? Oh no. Dad? <laughs> yeah, because the seven is not a serious game, by the way. Here we are, the last day of the 20th century. Masumi Arakawa, the man himself. And all I can think about is what I want for lunch. Eiji. I sent Ichi out to do collections. 
So Watcher sounds pretty solid so far in English. On New Year's Eve? If there's money on the streets and there's work to be done. Yakuza don't get holidays in Kamarocho. Life's a bitch. Then you die. <laughs> Words to live by. Life's a bitch, and then you die. Damn. Oh, let's go. Stop, Ushio, you piece of shit! <laughs> what? And get caught? Get hey, caught, Lena, it's good to see you. What's up? Leave me alone! Oh boy. I'm gonna be mixing shit up with uh, the Xbox controls, so pardon me for that. Uh, Where are you going? Take a fucking hint. Okay. Leave me alone. This one is why I re remember this one. Oh, A A is X. Okay, okay. Thank you, vending machine. But hey, I guess it still works because. Uh... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Looks like I shook him off. Shook him off, he says. Ushio, pal, I know you're not an idiot. Why did you think you'd get away with hawking this? There's nothing illegal about selling animal fuck videos. Believe me, it's education. Uh, okay. <laughs> the problem is you were calling it uncensored porn and selling it to dumb, horny kids. Come on, Ichiban, do yourself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Remember all the good times we had in middle school? And let's be real. It's not like this is... Thank you, Alina. I appreciate that. Line. Actually, it is. Big time. Kids these days are entitled, man. They'll come Kids these days? Family about porn scammers on our turf. We can't have that kind of shit staining our good name. So come on. Cough up the cash you squeeze out of them. It's only 2000 and each of one is already a boomer. Ooh, ooh. Damn. you forget who you're dealing with? Of course not. You're just some Yakuza street trash who's gotta learn when to quit! Guess I'll just have to kick your ass. Choices, choices. Okay. Do I have to? I guess I do. That? Cool. Defend. Right. So, for those who get into this game, you might not know this, but right when you get hit, if you press A for Xbox or X for PlayStation, you can block. So it's not just random, I guess. It, ca it can be a... Uh, it can be pretty helpful. So, uh, you know, be on the lookout for that. Right. Oh, nice. Okay. Agility, dexterity, healing, magic, and defense. Okay. Oh, Ichiban Kasuga. The man himself. Ichiban Aniki. 
You okay? <sighs> Meet so. Oh, hell yeah. Check this out, man. Whoa, payday! <laughs> that guy was pretty fucking loaded. Yeah, he was always coming up with crazy business schemes back in the day. Well, some of them must have worked. The cash you got there might hit our quota today all by itself. What are you talking about? We're gonna give this all back to those kids. Uh, after all the work we did to get it, man? Yeah, dude. Hold up. You want me to track down every single kid this guy shafted? For real? Yes, for real. What part of this is hard to understand? <sighs> Nothing. I get it. Fuck. Hey, look at this real quick. How bad is it? Fucker got me with his brass knuckles. Yeah, you've got a good size lump there, dude. No, you idiot. I mean my hair. <laughs> I just got it done. And it was looking real fresh, too. I can't believe this shit, stupid Ushio. Well, let me see if I can fix it. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. You just gotta, you know. Don't touch it. I pay good money for this shit. <laughs> so right from the get-go, we know that Ichiban is like upstanding kind of Yakuza, which I guess isn't a big surprise. Damn, I choked. I took a bunch of hits to the face. <laughs> You're always getting pummeled there. I think you like it. Are you calling me a masochist? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. You always let him get some punches in, even when you could wipe the floor with him. I know how you fight hard when you wanna. Yes, I do let him do that. Pretty masochist, if you ask me. Unless you're trained to become a pro wrestler or something. Okay, fine. Hey, Yana, like what's up? Comes across that way. Get to see you here. That ain't it. I'm just doing, you know, what a hero would do. A hero? Sure. I pretend I'm a hero when I fight. So what? When it's time to throw down, my brain just starts thinking in Dragon Quest terms. Oh, no, there we go. Ugh. Again with the Dragon <laughs> Quest? What's so great about it? Everything. It's Thank you, Fire Wing. I appreciate that. Journey, and that's exactly how I see real life. Epic and dangerous journey. You do know journey. you're a freaking Yakuza, right? If even one guy gets a lucky hit and it's all over for you, you realize that, dude? How many times has Captain Sawashiro told you that? I kill a guy over something as stupid as collections, that's when it's all Hey, over. Megan. Good to see you. Look, I like this life with Arakawa-san, the captain. And even your dumbass. Gamer I'm moment. not gonna do anything to ruin that. Truth is, I never want to be at rock bottom again. Again? So, rock bottom was when you were cooped up in that Soapland office playing non-stop Dragon Quest? <laughs> Wouldn't be the man I am today without it. A cool guy, full of the bravery those games showed me. And what they didn't, Arakawa-san did. That's where you get all this hero crap, huh? huh? Maybe I should give this gamer shit a chance. Gamer Do shit. It, <laughs> Hell yeah. First, let's give that money back to the kids who Hey Wolf. Well, Glad to have you with us. Right. Welcome. Let's dive into the gamer shit. Well, time to give those kids some refunds. Thanks. Hit me up at the SIG shop when you're done. Hey Quantum, what's up? Sure. Hey, Ichi! <laughs> Old man Takeo, how the heck are ya? Good, good. Hey, did you know Mama Michio is looking for you? She wanted you to swing by. What's she need with me? No clue. I'm just the messenger. <sighs> What's she gotten herself into now? Duty calls. Duty calls indeed. Okay. Damn, dude. I, I can't tell you how good this game looks like on PC. If you have the choice, get it on PC. It's it's uh, incredible. Or maybe next gen, because that's also um, 60 FPS, I believe. Wait. Oh, there we go. Hey there, 
Ichi. You kept me waiting. Have a drink with me, will ya? It's New Year's Eve. Wait, please don't tell me you were just looking for a drinking buddy. What? You were the only guy I knew who wouldn't have anywhere else to be on New Year's. Are you serious? I'm out here busting my ass making collections. Oh, well, look at you. So big and important. Is this Camarocho? Yes. I'm not drunk. Hey, I've been drinking since before you were a twinkle in your dad's eye. And look at me now. No, oh, no. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Keep telling yourself that. Your liver probably ain't so gorgeous. To keep it up, and your only drink's gonna be when they wash your grave. <sighs> I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> I do appreciate it. Kasuga's personality. Kasuga's personality may improve depending on his actions. These traits represent Kasuga as a person, and refining them will earn him a slew of perks and bonuses, such as unlocking new features or characters to talk to. So we have kindness, charisma, confidence, passion, style, and intellect. I like how it says intellect, dumbass. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> You're back! Why'd you do me like that? Michio was just drunk off her ass. You're surprised? I haven't seen her sober in 20 years. Her and this town are just going to hell. Heck, there's some trouble at Shangri-La right now. Huh? What happened? I don't know the details, but you know how soap lands are. Yeah, maybe a customer got uppity with one of the girls. You ought to go check. Damn it. Are you Good luck with dude? the stream and have fun. <laughs> That's like a, well, a third or a half a price of the game. Well, shout out to my man Nashi. Thank you for the donation, dude. Uh, I hope you enjoy your stay here at the stream. It's always good to have you. Timing. We've got a huge problem. What's wrong? The toilet's all clogged up, and we can't find a plunger anywhere. <laughs> oh, no. Plunger? Yeah, that thing you use when there's shit stuck in the pipes. Yeah, I know what it is, but come on. We're Yakuza, not your handyman. Well, excuse me. I suppose it wasn't me who cleaned you up every time you shit yourself. I was a baby. Huh. You had accidents until fifth grade. <laughs> One time. And my stomach was killing me that day. <laughs> Damn, Ichiban having shit crisis. All right, guess we gotta do something about that. <sighs> New Year's Eve tax. <laughs> My man, yo. <laughs> hmm. Let's do it. 
Shangri-La was his own? Yes. Special skills and inputs. Uh, three types of skills. Attack, recovery, and support. On-screen prompts may appear during attack skills, which offer opportunities to deal extra damage. Uh, X, Y, right time. MP, mental points. Uh, okay. Let's see. Kasuga puts all his energy into a single punch that may leave the enemy stunned. Boom. Perfect guard. Oh, you press B. Press B in time with the enemy's attack to perform a perfect guard and decrease damage taken. You can perform a perfect guard anytime Kalsa gets standing, much like the guard command. A perfect guard will also defend against the bleeding and stun status effects. So strive for perfection. Okay. <laughs> Damn, look at this guy. You wouldn't think he's a Yakuza. Hi. You playing Yakuza 7 on PC? Yes. Guess I better get that damn plunger. Okay, let's go. Why is he asking for a plunger yeah. at a cigarette if shop? If you have one, could you go to Shangri-La? Just buy one for them. They raised you for crying out loud. A man your age should be sending money to his family anyway. <sighs> you think I can afford that? I'm barely scraping by as is. Well, then you need to leave that sorry Arakawa family and join a family with some real push, kid. Sure. You'd be their gopher for a while. But that'd still be better than how you're living now, right? You're an idiot. I swore an oath to Arakawa-san, and I never abandoned him. <laughs> Aren't you an obedient little dog? Hey, I heard something real cute about you. You're babysitting Arakawa's kid? Ha! Ichi the nanny! Hey, look, the young master's the same age as me. He's not a kid. Young master? What is this, the 18th century? <laughs> I'm not babysitting him. I'm his caretaker. He's been in a wheelchair since he was a toddler, you know? Oh, so he needs a big, strong Yakuza at his side every time he wants some fresh air? <sighs> Arakawa's going soft in his old age. Surprise, surprise. Hey, try saying one more word about Arakawa and see what happens. <laughs> hey, Aniki. Oh, did you give those high schoolers their money back? Yep. Never seen kids happier to see a Yakuza before. It all worked out. See, they ain't so bad. Dude, there's no reason to be happy about it. If we don't score big on our next job, the captain's going to kill us. I know that. What is our next job, anyway? It's a shakedown. Our oh. mark borrowed 500k from a loan shark and hasn't paid back a single yen. And apparently, he's immune to Yakuza threats. We thought we'd give it a shot, so we bought the loan. Well, let's go, man. The dignity of the Arakawa family is riding on us. <laughs> I hope that's not true. Hey, by the way, Captain Sawashiro said to pull out all the stops to get this money back. So we might have to rough him up. All right, so where is this clown now? I hear he hangs out around Public Park 3 a lot. I'll go on ahead and scope it out. 
Meet me over there, okay? All right. Uh, hey, Jinky, it's good to see you. Uh, I'm not sure how long I'm gonna stream, actually. Uh, the plan is until I get sleepy, and I have no idea when that's gonna happen. Man, Ichiban is broke as fuck. Can you see the amount of money he has? Oh, wait. <laughs> Are you in the past or 2020? This is in the past, in 2000. Oh, Haniki! Is our guy here? Sure is. Look over there. That's Hiratsuka. That dude, huh? Do you know him? Forget it. Let's go. Hey there, Hiratsuka-san. Enjoying a little break, are we? Having a smoke while you mooch your ass still owes a ton of money? Oh, you think we won't beat you to a pulp? That other family went easy on you, but we won't. The Arakawa family doesn't fuck around. If you don't want to get hurt, get out your wallet. <laughs> hey, you think I won't do it? I can't pay back what I can't pay back. That's all there is to it. I see you're still just coasting on your size, oh great Hiratsuka. How'd you know that nickname? Who the hell are you? Ah, oh, don't you remember, pal? We used to wrestle when we were kids. You thought it was so cool to powerbomb other kids. As long as you were the only one big enough to do it. Oh, I remember. You're Soapy Ichi. And if this guy's your pal, that must mean... <laughs> you ended up in the Yakuza. Shocker. And I heard you joined the JSDF only to flunk out and come crawling back here. Life's a bitch, huh? Yeah, it is. So deal with it somewhere else. No can do, pal. We gotta deal with it right here. Because we're Yakuza. See, Yakuza orders are mandatory. And my orders are to get your wallet. So hand it over. I told you. I don't have any money. Come on, great son. Let's make this easy. Great son. All I need is your wallet. I don't want to get rough with you. You understand, right? <laughs> you saying that even a grown-ass man is scared of my power bombs? No, I'm saying I don't want to see the strongest guy in middle school tap out. It'd be a shame if that was your peak. Huh. Sounds like Soapy Ichi needs to taste the dirt again. You want it so bad? Try and take it. Here we go. Tag match, Aniki. Not this time. You be the referee. I want him all to myself. Let's huh? see if they dubbed him Massive Man or not. Quit jabbering and let's do this. Come on. <sighs> oh, no. By the way, did you hear that Japanese? That was kind of weird. Ouch. I'm still stunned. Okay, this guy still can't swing, so that's good. Bonk. That's how you do it. I feel the stats going up. They're still pretty strong. Now it's actual bonk. But not strong enough. Say goodbye to your wallet. Please, beat me up if that's what your boss wants. But don't take my money! Oh, well. Well, looky here. He did have the cash. 
This fucking lowlife had no intention of paying it back. Hey, wait. What are you doing? Adiki! What? Just getting all the junk out of his wallet first, man. Looks more like money to me. All right, great son. Like I said, I only wanted your wallet. Huh? Oh. Okay. Oh, uh, thank you, Knight. Let's go, meet some. I hope your teaching goes well. Hey, Hariki! Okay, so what the fuck, Ichiban? <laughs> he wanted the wallet, but he took what? actually the wallet only. Why did you take the money? Hiratsuga won't screw us. He'll pay it off. We'll just give him time. How you figure that? You think he's out here working his ass off, doing construction on New Year's Eve just for fun? Didn't you notice what he was smoking? It was just a nub, man. He obviously just picked it up off the ground. Why'd he do that if he had so much cash? Because it's New Year's. He probably wanted to buy his mom a nice meal, so he got some cash out of the bank. Ichiban, not everyone is as nice as you, okay? Late on his payments. <laughs> Jeez. Look, you know that old candy shop just past Showa Street? Uh, yeah, it closed last year, right? What about it? Hiratsuka's mom ran that shop. Really? She closed it because she got sick. Real sick. I went to see her in the hospital, and she was thin as a rail. But even so, she was happy. Because her son was back in Kamaracho, taking care of her. So, that money Hiratsuka borrowed was... It was all for her hospital bills. <laughs> oh... <laughs> but, dude, if we go back empty-handed, Captain Sawashiro's gonna kill us! We're not going back empty-handed. We were asked to snatch the dude's wallet. And look, that's exactly what we said. Hey, Javon, are you for real, dude? No, that's not what the captain meant. Oh, no. Hey, speak of the devil. Time to get for fucked. Real? Hello, this is Ichiban. Ugh. <sighs> I told you to pick up with his two rings. Sorry, Captain. Don't tell me you're still out there doing collections. Just finish up the last one, sir. I'm about to head back to the office. That'd be great. <laughs> right now, you should be with the young master. Oh, um, yeah. Sorry. I'll be there as fast as I can. What good is that? He still has to wait for you. Why are you always slow as shit? I'm sorry, sir. Just move your ass. And don't take him anywhere dumb or dangerous. If anything happens to him under your watch, I'd have to kill you a thousand times. Yes, I know that, sir. So you gotta go play chaperone to the young master? Yeah, damn it. I can't believe I forgot. Me too. Take this back to the office for me. Oh, no. I'm not gonna be the one to hand this in to the <laughs> captain. You just let me know when the young master lets you off your leash. <laughs> I'll kill time until then. He didn't even stick around for the entire sentence. He just left. He bailed. Actually, wait. Uh, I'm broke as fuck, but I I'm. I'm thinking of buying something, just, uh, you know, just in case. I think I'm gonna buy two an egg sandwich. Maybe two. And maybe some of this. And... Why not a bit of these? <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's bump into all of them. <laughs> Hell yeah. Sorry folks, gotta scurry over to the young master. Where was he again? Oh. Okay. Young master's apartment complex. Oh. Okay, so we're going there. Who voices Daigo? Roger Craig Smith, Chris Redfield's voice actor. Where is he? Hey, miss! 
Where's the young mas- I, I mean, have you seen Masato Aro? <laughs> I'm very sorry, but I haven't seen him today, sir. <laughs> it's okay, Ichiban. Calm down. Now oh, there he is. Sorry I'm late, young master. Something came up while I was doing collections. Anything else you want to announce? Masato Arakawa. He sounds just as um, grim as he looks. He do be looking kind of stylish, though. I like, uh, I like his curves. Sorry. Rasp as voice. <laughs> Hold up, like yeah, I'm looking different. Yeah, he's in a wheelchair now. Uh, of course not. It's Yumino-san's birthday, right? You didn't come without a gift, did you? No, I brought something. It's just I didn't have much, so it's not the greatest. Oh, broke boy. <laughs> Whatever. As long as you didn't tell Dad about this, <clears throat> you did it. Did you? Of course not. <laughs> if he asks where we went, just tell him we went shopping. Yes, sir. The old fool. He still treats me like a child. He's just worried about you. You mean a lot to him. Don't talk like you know me. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> this is the start of something tragic. Probably. <clears throat> Alright, watch this, it's gonna be magical. Whoa. What the what is that? The latest and greatest ephedrine injector. I had it imported. Uh, Efe? It's a specialized performance enhancer. Efe? It stimulates the sympathetic nervous system, so even someone with my condition will be able to stand and walk just like anybody else. The effect will be immediate, but it won't last more than a few hours. But how... how did you get something like that? Today is my woman's birthday. I can't embarrass her by going in there like this. That sounds crazy, though. Don't you think it's kind of risky? No. It just hasn't been approved for use in Japan. That's all. Injected here. Huh? None of this sounds good to me, young master. We don't really know what else it might do to you. You're a fucking wuss. No, he's gonna become a zombie. Young master. Young master. Young master. <laughs> <laughs> he's looking pale as fuck, though. <laughs> oh my god! He about to do it. He about to stand. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. 
giving him the looks they know. Yeah, it's hostess club time. Uh, Masato is gonna see his uh, girlfriend. It's her birthday. <clears throat> Good evening, Masato-san. Oh my goodness, are you all better? I can't believe it. Poor wheelchair, yeah. <laughs> Hey, Stupe. Hey, where's Yuma? I'm good. What about you? Um, we'll call her as soon as we can. As soon as you can? You better mean now. Well, you see, she just sat down with another customer. She's been very busy today because it's her birthday. Hey! <laughs> I just need a minute with them to explain our situation. Don't worry. I'll be nice. I'll be nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they all say. <clears throat> Next thing you know, there's fucking blood on the wall. <laughs> there's something wrong, sir. Hey. Yeah, where is Yumin is on? Hi. Yumin is at the table over. Uh, she must have left. I believe she got requested. Uh, by another guest. We're rather busy today, Kazuga san. Hmm? Hmm? Is Masato-san really healed? Oh, hold on. Oh, uh, Andy loves kid. Thank you for uh, becoming a member, dude. Welcome to the member fam, and uh, I hope you enjoy your stay here. Thank you so much, and thank you for the sub, stupid. Appreciate it. Uh, Andy, just send me a message on Discord rem uh, reminding me to uh, give you the Discord role so you can get access to the VIP channel. Okay. It's complicated. He's on drugs. Does that mean he was released from indentured servitude? No. Dumbass. I'm not some kind of slave. This is an important job. But isn't Masato-san a civilian? So why would he need a Yakuza like you following him around? <sighs> no one asked you. Now where's Yumino-san? If you looked for yourself. Yo. Is that how you treat your best customers? You know how many bottles we bought last week on Christmas? Technically, Masato-san. Yo, that's a lot of bills. Uh, for everyone who subscribes, thank you so much. Uh, give me a break. Fine. I'll go look myself. Alright. We're searching for you, Minu-san. I never could get into watch, uh, watching this, but I can watch you play it. Then I'm good. Oh, thank you, Hollow. Okay, so where... Oh, yeah, that's her. Right. Oh, no. Sorry it's so busy today. Nothing to be sorry about. If you didn't have customers on your birthday, I'd have to assume everyone else here was blind. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Mm, well, um... Uh... How should I put this? I'm the young lady's escort for tonight. <laughs> Ichi, really? what are you doing? I believe this club is first come, first served. No need to make things complicated. Let's just say we came first and leave it at that. You understand. Oh boy. What the hell is this? I'd ask you the same. You're the one being unreasonable. What? I, I have reasons, so shut up. <laughs> this is ludicrous. I have reasons, so shut up. Use some normal ass words. You said you'd be civil. You're causing a scene, you moron. Sorry. Please excuse my companion here. He's usually better behaved. I find that hard to believe. 
This place doesn't really do the first come, first serve thing. You see, in this industry, they can't treat every customer equally. The guys who spend big get better service. It's supply and demand, that's all. <laughs> that's so. Besides, that's my girl. I see. I knew you'd understand. Since I've disturbed you, would you let me buy you a drink? Pick anything you'd like. And don't worry about the price. No, thank you. I don't need a drink. <laughs> Not the drinking type. Well, then you'll be needing this to try your luck with another one. Damn. <sighs> I couldn't accept that. Please, I insist. Why insult me by refusing? How no, about thank you. My position requires me to exercise some level of discretion when accepting gifts. Where do you get off acting so high and mighty? You've got guts. I'll give you that. What's your name? <laughs> I suppose you won't stop bothering me until I show you. Oh boy. <laughs> Senior Commissioner of the Police. Unfortunately, I also have to be discreet about who receives my business card. <laughs> wow. Are you even allowed out this late? At a place like this? <laughs> no law against it. Now, why don't you take the lovely ladies back to your seat already? Cheers! Cheers! <sighs> okay. Drinks, humano san You spoil us. Thank you. Hey, aren't you thanking the wrong person? He's right. You two should thank the man who bought them. We're very grateful, Masato-san. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. I mean, it is the most expensive bottle in the house. Only natural they'd forget themselves a bit. How often do they get drinks like that after uh, all? This is the Legendary Hero Your Edition. Master, I'm Andy. sorry about all that earlier. That guy thinks he's too good to accept my generosity? Not like he can afford to as a cop. Does he come here often? No, this was his first time. So, Yumino-san, what did he get you for your birthday? Oh, stop. Just the fact that he's here is enough for me. Really. Aw, you two are so cute! I'm jealous. I want a boyfriend like Masato-san. A.G., show her yours first. Uh, sure. I, I'm not really used to this kind of thing, though, so... Just do it! <laughs> oh boy, what did he get for a gift? I know it's not much. What is that? Uh, I had a lot of trouble figuring out what to get you. And you're the young master's woman. I mean, his girlfriend. So that's even harder. But this was the most expensive one they had. I promise. <laughs> what? No, it's just. <laughs> My mother has the exact same one. <laughs> huh? Hey, come on. <laughs> the name Ichiban means the best. But I guess there's no accounting for taste. <laughs> we should start calling him Ichi Bad. Am I right? Dude, that's that's <laughs> not cool, man. You're, so clever. You're dissing your boy in front of the <laughs> Yeah. That's not cool. <laughs> well, what are you gonna do? Here. Ah. <sighs> 
why you bully him. Exactly. He's a good boy. Wow. Oh. No way. Uh, is this real? That's my girl. I knew you'd appreciate its worth. How, how much was it? About the price of a condo. A high-end one. Not just some dump, of course. <laughs> Alright, you can stop like saying any time now, Masato. Thank you. I don't know how I could ever repay you. Jeez. <laughs> don't worry about it. Good to have you with us, Tommy. I guess my next gift will have to be an actual condominium. For us. Yubino-san, can I have you at the front for a moment? Shh. <laughs> really? Can't you read a room, kid? Kid. <laughs> Itchy. Let's start another fight. It's the lady's birthday. Let her go. Aren't you like 20, She's Ichiban? In high demand. Right. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll be right back. It's okay. Take your time. He's so nice! Well, back to drinking. You have a captive audience for all your bullshit stories. But I don't want to just talk. Let's do something more intimate. Well, we'd have to ask you, Mino. Oh, she'd kill us for sure. But I'd still enjoy being your girl while I could. <sighs> That's the guy from Sleeping Dogs. Yeah, I heard. Yeah, I heard they got his voice actor for Masato. Now that you mention it. I think I had one too many. Some wingman I am. Horino Uchi-san, wait! Please, wait! Oh no. I'm going home. I don't even want to breathe the same air as that punk. Who the hell is he? Masato-san? He's... Well, he's the son of a Yakuza. How do you stand the man? Well, of course to you he's not a man. He's a big walking wall. Stop! This is serious. It's starting to freak me out how much he spends and drinks. Just now he gave me something super expensive and said next time it'll be a condo. So? You could turn around and sell his trinkets the next day. Damn, you think dude. he found out? What do you think he'd do to me? <laughs> Are you talking about violence? <laughs> At the first hint of that, I'll throw the bastard behind bars. Yes, I know you would. And you're right. I should sell it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think there were still idiots walking around believing money can buy the love. <laughs> All that matters is you're not one of them. Now get back out there and squeeze him dry. <laughs> okay. See you later. <clears throat> Jeez. Young master, how long have you been there? Um, young master? So, did you finish your business? I'm heading back. Use this to pay the bill. If there's anything left, might as well use it to wipe your ass. That's a good question, isn't it? Do you think he heard or not? Nah? Aniki, are you done babysitting the young master? Yep. 
Let's meet up at Cedar Square and walk to the office. Sounds good. Damn, you can you can feel how down he is. Damn. Meet Mitsu. Actually, wait. Nooping Yakuza. That porn peddler. Sir, Aniki took care of him today. He won't ever pull that shit again without going through us first. Okay. And how much did you get from him? Uh, about that. Uh... I gave the money back to the high schoolers who bought the videos. It was the fair thing to do, and the kids were grateful to our family. I <clears throat> see. And that debt we bought? Oh, yeah. Went off without a hitch. Here's the guy's wallet. Just as you requested, sir. <laughs> it's your butt. Dude. No. Oh. All the money's there. Including interest. Wait. Wow. Excellent work. Is that what you thought I would say? <laughs> this bill strap is from the young master's bank. Ichi, what's the real story? There, there is no real story. The young master gave that to me. I swear. He gave it to you. Or did you beg him for it to make quota? Begging for scraps won't fix your incompetence. I didn't beg! I have too much pride to pull something like that! You have pride? When you can't earn for the family? Oh. What's that look? Pretending it didn't hurt. You don't even know pain. Not for a Yakuza, anyway. A Yakuza takes real responsibility. Hey! Bring me the knife. Hey, it's pinky cutting time. <laughs> it's a kitchen knife, too. Do it. What's wrong? You don't know how real Yakuza atone? Fine. I'll show you. If you're lucky, it'll slip right between the joints for a clean cut. If you're lucky. Good to see you, boss. Welcome back, boss. Welcome back, sir. Ichi, walk with me. Lifesaver? <clears throat> yes, sir. Boss, 
You saved my ass back there. Can't you at least try to get along with Joe? Oh no, he hates my guts. Just because, well, I'm not much of an earner. Try putting yourself in his shoes. He's doing his duty as a family treasurer. Sure, I know that, but it's like we just have different visions of what a Yakuza should be, you know? To me, it's more about duty and standing up for people, not money. And it's okay to see things differently. That's the strength of the Arakawa party. S sorry, party? <laughs> it's not so different than those games you like, is it? Everyone has a certain skill they bring to the table. Some people are like you, charging in headfirst without a thought. Others cover your ass like Mitsu. And some are better at cracking the whip. That's Joe. All of these people keep the organization running. Yeah, and you're the king of them all. The king? <laughs> to me, all of you are more like sons than subjects. <laughs> Speaking of, you looked after Masato today, right? Yes, sir. Sorry to keep asking you to help me with something so personal. How was he? F fine. That's good to hear. These days, he doesn't even answer my calls. I may be king of the Arakawa family, but to my other family, it's nothing but a title. <laughs> well, Ichiban. Why don't we go get our last meal of the 20th century? Yeah, sure. Damn. I said it before, I'll say it again. If you can get this game for the PC, definitely do it. I don't think it's just me. Like, everything's, everything that? looks way more fluid. Because nobody cares about PDA on New Year's. That reminds me. You find yourself a girl yet? No, sir. I'm like a reverse chick magnet. <laughs> reverse chick magnet. <laughs> Don't be so quick to throw in the towel. Easy for you to say. You probably had girls all over you at my age. What? I won't abide such slander. <laughs> no, I... You use the past tense. Going past so you <laughs> made me a bigger thing the <laughs> 90s. <laughs> okay, Arakawa. <laughs> nice flex. <laughs> of course. Of all the women over the years, there was only one. Just one I might have started a family with. Yeah? Yes. Masato's mother. Oh. I've never told you the details, have I? No, sir. I, uh, I do know that she passed away. Yes. Let me start on New Year's Eve 24 years ago. I was just a grunt in the Hikawa family, but the patriarch asked me if I'd marry his daughter. She was the young master's mother? Just listen. I love someone else. Her name was Akane. Uh-oh. What did... I was naive. <laughs> I thought if I ignored my boss's daughter, she'd get annoyed and dump me. The whole time... I was dating Akane in secret on the side. I remember the moment she told me she was pregnant. Oh, man. I knew right then what I needed to do. I had to step up as a man. Problem was, I couldn't find the right moment to tell the boss about Akane and our child. By the time I worked up the courage to tell him, Akane was almost due. So I got down on my hands and knees and told the boss I already had a girl. He didn't let you off easy, I take it. Oh. Will it be watchable? Yes. Beat the shit out of me. I entered the uh, it's going to be saved afterwards, uh, the stream, I mean. It could have been over and done with then. Huh? The boss gave an order to the family. An order to kill Akane. Jeez, dude. What? Kill her? Yes. I couldn't believe it myself. But he was serious. Even though we were a small family, we were very good at making people disappear. And when we killed, the body was never found. That's what was waiting for Akane and me. 
for bringing shame to the Patriarch. Uh, to this day, I have no idea how I got out alive. When I learned what was happening, I fled. I don't think they expected that after how badly they beat me. At the same time, Akane was at the hospital having the baby. I called her and told her to leave as soon as possible. I knew Yakuza were already on their way to the hospital, so I made a plan. I told her we could meet at this cafe so we could skip town. Cafe Alps? Yes. I waited and waited, but she never came. But just as I was about to lose all hope, I got a call. Akane? Hello? Where are you? I thought they caught you. Our, our baby is here. Huh? Our son. What? I, I got away, but they're not far behind. I, I have to keep moving. Where are you? I'll come get you. Shinjuku Station. By the lockers. Okay, stay there. Try to blend into the crowd. They're here. What do I do? Akane, they're looking for a woman with a baby. Put the baby in the locker. Hide him in a locker and walk out. Keep a low profile. Put our baby in a locker? What are you saying? Uh, don't worry. I'll come get him as soon as I can. Once you're in a safe place, call the manager at Cafe Alps. Tell him where you are. Now hurry! Put the baby in a locker! Okay. Take good care of him. Akane. Hey! There she is! That's her! Go, go, go! Hey! Akane! Where's the woman? Damn it! Where'd she go? Hurry up and find her! Shit! Oh, this scene, holy shit. <laughs> This is my child. Hey, are you okay? Oh, damn it! Move! Move! Damn. <laughs> 
I rescued our child and ran to a hospital. The doctor examined Masato and said he had multiple organ failure due to low body temperature. So that's why the young master is in a chair. Yes. It was that cold inside the locker. And apparently, if I had found him five minutes earlier, it could have prevented the complications. Boss, it wasn't your fault. I mean, you got there as soon as you could. I just want to apologize to you. You're burdened with Masato's care because of me. I don't think of it that way, sir. I never saw Akane again after that. She ran to a bar she knew, but the Hikawa family was already there. As I was taking Masato to the hospital, they were taking her away. They killed her. Oh. A few days later, the Patriarch and several of his men disappeared. The Hikawa family had ceased to exist. Wait, did you? Oh, never mind. Forget it. <laughs> Sorry for rambling on and on. Wait, did he kill all of them? Damn. There's something I've always wanted to tell you. Even if only by oath, I consider you a son as well. Aww. Oh, jeez, sir. That's... Well, enough gloomy talk. Let's eat, hmm? I'm starving. Me too. He did the Majima. Yeah, that sounds about right. <clears throat> Man. <laughs> this is just the first hour of the game and it's already heavy. Well, seeing as I'm the king and all, how about we feast on the king of Chinese food? Oh, just like that flashback? Cool! Gyoza! <laughs> no, not Gyoza. Peking duck. Just unlock this one in the locker. <laughs> Is that even true? Mm -hmm. The duck is dried in the sun, then roasted. <sighs> and the skin comes out so crispy and delicious, you'll love it. You peel off the perfectly brown skin, wrap it in seasoned dough. Then your mouth is filled with the sweet and spicy fragrance of the sauce. Damn, that does sound good. Yes, which is why in ancient China, only the imperial court ate it. The more you know. Oh, so it really is the king of Chinese food. Yep, but I wonder if we can find it in Kamrochu. There's got to be a place serving it somewhere. Well, here's a question. Any any of you ever ate uh, duck? I don't think I have. The boss can run. I just joined. What's going on? We're about to go eat duck. Tastes good. Oh. I don't know, the thought of eating ducks was always so weird to me. But it's not something that doesn't happen where I'm from. People do eat uh, duck here. But I just personally never had it. Uh, oh wait. Part time hero, dragon cart management. Okay, we're about to head into a good scene. Watch this. <laughs> Closed. Seriously? What do you do when a shop is closed? This. Relax, Jibam. <laughs> Calm down, dude. It's almost the new year. The employees are probably at home waiting to ring it in with their families. Man, I really wanted to try it though. <laughs> Another time. I promise. Yeah? Thank you, sir. The meat feels a bit more tough than chicken. Lucky today. Hmm. He won't get away from us next time. <laughs> oh, look at those glasses. 
<laughs> Have a good New Year's, you two! <laughs> Let me in. What have I told you? Oh, sorry. Be careful where you laugh outdoors. The only time a Yakuza should laugh with his teeth is when he's with family or when he's in deep shit. I know. Right. Reputation is everything for a Yakuza. Got it, sir. Well, since we missed our shot at the duck, Damn. shall we go to our usual Oden place? <sighs> Sounds good. You can tell just how hardened Arakawa is as a Yakuza. My man just laughing and he's like, don't laugh. Now what's wrong, Ichi? <laughs> you look like you're about to shit yourself. Oh, no. Fuck off. Oh, man. Don't you stop by to help out at home every now and then? Uh, not for a while, I guess. You should treasure the place where you grew up. It's not like it was the most normal place for a kid to be. No matter how it happened, home is home. One day you won't be able to go back, you know. Twenty-three years ago, on January 1st, I came into this world screaming inside this sleazy soap land. Twenty-three. Treasure it, because Majima's gonna... <laughs> True. My mom worked at soap lands. She even popped me out in one. Then she disappeared. I didn't know that till I was older, when Dad told me. I say dad, but we weren't related by blood. He was the owner of the soap land that took me in. Don't know who my other dad is. Probably some guy who dropped in for a wham bam thank you, ma'am. Wham bam thank you, ma'am. <laughs> hey, can someone keep an eye on Ichiban? Oh. oh, come here, Ichi. Hey, it's my turn to hold him. I was raised by this city's working class folks. <clears throat> Ichiban took his stuff better than most people would. That is true. According to society, all those people who raised me are scum. Well, I suppose that would make me scum too. What? N never! You're everything I want to be! You're like a god! <laughs> so, first I'm a king, and now I'm a god? Will you do Yakuza like a dragon guide? I don't know, to be honest. What are you watching, Ichiban? You, I had just graduated middle school. <laughs> After my foster dad died, I dropped out of school and just started drifting. Just picking fights, shaking people down for easy money. But karma always catches up to a dumbass punk. Eventually, I beat up the wrong guy. A Yakuza. So yeah, his crew locked me in a Yakuza office and beat the shit out of me. I thought I was a goner, but I made one last ditch effort to live and yelled out a name. Arakawa. <laughs> what? The Arakawa family. If you kill me, they'll hunt every last one of you down. In those days, the name Arakawa the Assassin was like a whispered threat. I didn't give a shit about Yakuza or who they were at the time, but I knew that name. I thought if I name-dropped them, maybe they'd freak out and let me live. You're saying you're Arakawa? A kid like you? 
But my plan backfired. Big time. Turned out, these guys were in a huge turf dispute with the Arakawa family. One of your little brats damn near beat my boy to death. <laughs> Says his name's Ichiban Kasuga. Well, he ain't getting away. Not in the sorry state we put him in. You want him back, you better send Patriarch Arakawa personally. I knew the jig was up. I'd never even met Arakawa, so obviously he wasn't gonna come. Maybe we ought to just kill him, Anaki. Arakawa ain't gonna show his face to pick up his trash. Looks like you're shit out of luck, you little brat. <laughs> there he is. Sorry I'm late. You guys always go this hard on kids? Where's this brat of mine you say you've got? Arakawa-san! The little fuck damn near took our guy out! We can't just hand him back to you without some compensation! Somebody's gotta take responsibility! I see. Well... How about a finger? I'll trade you my finger for him. Sound fair? I'll just borrow this. No hesitation! <laughs> Let's go, yellow as shit. <laughs> I... What? You... You saved my life. Why? How can I think... <laughs> Save your blubbering gratitude. That finger wasn't for you. I'm a Yakuza. For us, reputation is everything. My face, my name, they mean something. What do you think it would have meant if I begged them to return to you? The whole Arakawa family would have paid for it. If a Yakuza shows weakness, he's done. I did the only thing that would preserve my family's cred. Not the only thing. You could have just said you didn't know me. Why not do that? Why not, indeed? Maybe I wanted to make an impression on a kid who knew my name. <laughs> and at that moment, I saw my life's path ahead of me. It was following this man. <laughs> Welcome back, Patriarch Arakawa! Back the fuck up! Oh, jeez, so much We got no cups for punks like you. Never mind the kid, Joe. <clears throat> I didn't care how often they ignored me or what they said. I stood outside that office every day. In the pouring rain. <laughs> under the scorching sun. No, oh, there's Masato. You know him? Go on ahead, Masato. Kid, the Yakuza isn't something to aspire to. Haven't your parents explained that to you? I don't have parents, sir. I had a foster dad, but he's dead now. Sparta kick. <laughs> Come on. Sir! It'd been 100 days since I'd met Arakawa-san.
Oh, just a sec. Man, that Odin is always so freaking good. Thanks for treating me, boss. Sure thing. <sighs> Dude, these glasses, I swear to God. Hey, it's almost time for the countdown. <laughs> hey, stop it! You came here alone on New Year's Eve. That means you're looking for one thing. Leave me alone! Quit acting like you're too good for us. Let's have some fun. Sometimes it's the scum of society that has to do the cleaning up. What a code, dude. A new century is about to start, and I know you don't want to spend the first week lying in a hospital bed. Damn. <laughs> Get out of here before an old man has to crack some skulls. The hell you say? Keep out of this. Who the fuck are you? Tojo clan, Arakawa family. Now get your drunk asses away from the lady here. Time to go home and listen to the New Year's bells like good boys. Hold on, are you guys Yakuza? <laughs> They've gotta be. Look, he's got the hair and everything. Yeah, plus they're wearing costumes straight out of a mafia movie. <laughs> you fuckers better not be making fun of us. Hey, boss, leave this to me. It's been a few years since I saw you fight. Hopefully you're stronger now. <laughs> Just wait till you see what I can do. The battle is on. All right. <clears throat> Skips around like a jackass. Oh boy. Ouch. <laughs> Ooh. Slick. Forget it, Yuchi. Remember, we're Yakuza. Yeah, I get it. Now then, I'll see you later, Ichi. You better show up at the office next year. Ha, wouldn't miss it for the world. Good night, boss. <laughs> you too. Man, I'm such a badass. No arguments there, Ichi. I wouldn't mind another drink. Um, is this on normal? Yeah. Oh, this scene. I think I know what happens. Oh, New Year. Happy New Year, folks! It's 2001! I love this scene. It's so tranquil. <laughs> Sir, you have to wake up. Oh, <laughs> wake up now. <laughs> oh, shit. Sleep. It's dangerous to fall asleep outdoors, you know. Can I see your identification? Uh, identification? Yes, like your license. A violent crime was committed out here recently. 
Oh no. Shit. Well, it's gone. Uh, you see why you shouldn't sleep out here? You need to file a stolen item report now. I'm busy, so you'll have to go down to the station. Man. Hi, what a boss. life he first has. All, Happy New Year. Sorry to call you first thing in the morning. No problem. I'm up and ready to seize the day. Can you come by the office? Sure thing. You want to go out for the first shrine visit of the year? No. Just come to the office. Try to be inconspicuous. Uh, okay. You got it. Oh, that music. Wait. Uh... I think I'm gonna be good with just these. Okay, continue. I love how they steal the wall, <laughs> the wallet, but not the phone. True. <laughs> They're the crime or something. Oh yeah, you know what's gonna happen now. Don't you forget it. Oh, yeah, asshole? How about you don't forget your place? Oh, yeah? And who the fuck are you? The Sakaki family, dumbass! Wait a minute. The battle is on. Sakaki, Sakaki. I could be uh, misremembering, but isn't this Saijima's family? Sasai, right, Sasai, thank you. Oh no, the bike. <laughs> Started Mad Dog in Kasuga? What, what the fuck is a Mad Dog in? Stream gonna be uploaded later. Yes, you're gonna be able to view it. Probably nothing. We've always got some kind of beef with the Sakaki going on. Oh shit! That took a while. Gotta head into the office. Remember that one dude who kept saying a beach? Yes. Yakuza one. Yeah. How do you find the dub so far? I really like it, especially since they read. They read the lip sync. It's great. Good morning. Oh, Ichi. The bike is fine. Have a seat. Sir. Stop. Just sit down. Uh, sure. You know the Sakagi family, right? You mean the family we've been fighting with? Hmm. We're fighting for them because of a rumor that they're connected to the Omi. But aren't the Omi all the way out in Kansai? Yes. They control the entire region. They're much bigger than most people realize. 
The Tojo clan has butted heads with them for years. It's a bitter rivalry. And what? The Sakaki family's cooperating with them? No. The Sakaki family isn't stupid enough to commit outright treason. But they have been selling intel to the Omi for some quick, easy cash. <sighs> I confronted them about it at an officer's meeting. But their patriarch pretended not to know anything. Bastard traitor. Long story short, they don't like us much right now. But at the same time, they still report directly to our main family. So we need to be careful. We don't want to cause the main family any trouble. That said, did something happen? Two hours ago, I got a call from Joe. He... He shot a Sakaki Yakuza. Really? Apparently, he just happened to run into one of them. They were both alone. No other men. It was one on one. They talked shit to each other for a bit. Then, Joe pulled his gun. Luckily, no one saw them, but the police have already found the other guy's body. It's only a matter of time before they raid our office. <sighs> if word gets out that our captain killed someone from a family above ours, it will be considered mutiny. We'll be expelled from the Tojo clan, and our tiny family will go up in smoke. It's time. You see why I can't let Joe get arrested for this. Would you be willing to take his place? Are you serious, boss? I mean... I've been waiting for a shot like this. This is my chance to finally repay my debt to you. After everything you've done for me. Let him lock me up for 10 or even 20 years. I'd be happy to do it for you. Ichi. Loyal to the end. Another year. We made it to a new century. Oh, yeah. Guess so. Damn, you sound pretty bored for a birthday boy. What's up with you? Are you going to your first shrine visit of the year? How about we do Kamaro again? You do it. And have a good time. I'm not going. Huh? Why not? Something came up. Did Captain Sawashiro spring something on you? Yeah, basically. Barely begun, and he's already working you like a dog. No holidays for the Yakuza. We work 365 days a year. So you're gonna be busy all day? Me too. I said, don't put this one in the lock, and he's uh, gonna put him in jail. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sad, but that's what's gonna happen. In 20, you'll be 40. Great math, dude. What are you getting at? No, oh, no. Just eat well and. Live life to the fullest, man. Uh, feeling okay? <laughs> I'll call you later. All right. For my last meal, let's go with a beef bottle. He's a simple man. He knows he's going to jail, so what does he do? He goes out for a nice meal. Which reminds me, actually, uh, 
When I took law classes in the uh, university... Oh, hey. Our professor would tell us about... Uh, Damn. Our professor would tell us about, uh, uh, you know, when some people, when some criminals get the death sentence, uh, they, at least in my country, I think, uh, they allow them to make like one final request or something like that, you know, to go without regrets, whatever. And some of them actually just ask for a nice uh, shawarma with uh, Pepsi to go with it or something. So, this just reminded me of that. <laughs> no duck for him for next 10 years. Yep. Wait, next 20 years actually. He's gonna be locked for 20 years. Where are you from? I am from the Kingdom of Bahrain. No, not Turkish. Yeah, he's going to jail for 20 years. Look at how broke this man is. Poor guy. Yo, hit me with one more. Huh? <laughs> sure. Coming right up. Another beef ball. It pains me to say this, Ichi, but you've been banished from the family effective last month. What? I'm banished? If only he'd been from a family outside the clan, I could have merely expelled you. But this man, not only was he Tojo, he reported directly to the main family. But being banished, doesn't that mean Was I it a 19? Come back? Don't worry. Wasn't I'll it 20? On that personally. I'll have the whole thing reversed by the time you get out of prison. Thank you, boss. Could be 19. I'm not sure. Banishment will work in our favor. The court will go easier on you now that you're just a civilian. Don't let them do their worst. I can handle a few years in the can. PC fans? That's actually my air conditioner, sorry about it. Is it too loud? You got hold on. Oh damn, hold on. I don't know if this is gonna help much, but yeah, I don't think it will. Savor every last moment, don't you? <laughs> While eating a beef bowl? For sure. <sighs> Enough stalling. Come back soon. Background noise. He's out of cigarettes. But... Poor guy. Buddy, did you ever find your wallet? <laughs> well, if not, you might as well file a theft report inside. It's hot there where I'm from. Yeah, it's really hot. An air conditioner is a necessity in every house here. We find the defendant Ichiban Kasuga guilty of murder. Oh, 15 years. He is hereby sentenced okay. to 15 years. In oh, right, prison. right. You'll see what happens. 15. Oh, I got an achievement. Huh. New save data. Yeah. Fucking slick. Chapter 2 Bloody Reunion. Summer 2002. 
Damn, look at the sweat. Oh. Hey, you missed a box. So you're gonna. Sir, I've completed my quota for the day. May I take a bathroom break? Very well. and get back on the outside quick and easy? <laughs> Idiot, you're a murderer. You could act like a goddamn angel in here, but you won't be getting parole for at least ten years. So I'd say it's in your best interest to get along with us. <laughs> Not much to say, huh? Hey, what family were you in? That's a simple enough question to answer. Right. The Arakawa family. Arakawa? <laughs> you mean that little after-school club of a family? Oh, man, this is such a letdown. Here I was thinking we had a real gangster in the house. What did you just say? I said your family's a bunch of small-time punks. Your patriarch may have been Arakawa the assassin once, but that was a long time ago. I heard he's gone fucking soft now. You got locked up for that washed-up has-been, and you think it means something? Oh, that's so fucking cute. Bastard. I'll kill you! Try your best, dog bitch. <laughs> oh, I just got it. Oh. <laughs> Bread and milk. I'll take it. <laughs> Why'd you suddenly fight back? You took it for a whole year. Those guys had to be taken to the police hospital for crying out loud. You knocked all their teeth out. My man. All it took about my boss. was them shit talking to boss. Your patriarch waiting for you on the outside? Yeah. I wish they showed it though. They were calling him a nobody, saying all this bullshit about him going soft. I couldn't just let that stand. <clears throat> well, what's he gonna say when he hears the bad news? He won't hear it. That's why he beat their sorry asses. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about your sentence getting extended. Oh. I don't understand why anybody commits murder in the first place. But if there really is someone out there waiting for you, you should behave yourself. When someone believes in you, try not to disappoint them. Poor man. <laughs> Fifteen years later. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Number eleven nineteen. 
Letter for you. <laughs> Damn. Apparently it's from someone important. <laughs> well, I guess... It's from Harakawa-san. He got himself some intimidation going on, you know? So I guess it was worth it. Dear Ichiban, I wanted to avoid writing to you while you're in prison, but today my brush just called to me. Damn, they're not aging. Welcome to Yakuza. If no one ages. If your hasn't been extended, I would be planning your big welcome back party right now. I can't tell you how sad I am that I can't do that. The days have been so lonely without you. Sometimes I think I hear your laughter in the office, but I always turn around and see that nobody's there. Only a parent knows how truly empty a home can feel. Parents are nothing without their children. <laughs> oh, 2019! Ichiban Kasuga gets out of prison. I'm anxiously waiting for the day when I will turn around and see your laughing face. You're gonna get some family welcome back, you know? Waiting for him outside, right? Right? Yes? P.S. The day you get out of prison, let's get that picking duck we missed. Boss, I'm so sorry! When I got into that fight, I wasn't even thinking about how long you had already been waiting for me. An extra three years I've made you wait just because I did something stupid! I'm sorry I failed you. I held you up for so long, but I'm out now! I'm finally back! <laughs> Poor guy, I swear to God. <laughs> it's okay, bro. It's okay. <laughs> Did you not know they've gotten more strict about enforcing the anti Yakuza laws? It shouldn't surprise you that bosses aren't pulling up in fancy cars at prisons anymore. But in the letter, he said he'd come for me. Not gonna happen. Just too dangerous these days. Yeah. Thanks for everything. Isn't this the security guard from 5? I don't think so, but I can see why he reminds you of him. You really thought the welcome wagon was coming. Oh, there he is. Adachi. Ladies and gents, welcome course, you being in the our next playable character. Only natural you'd be a bit mixed up. Gotta say, that's some deep loyalty you've got. Waiting for a boss that never even visited you. Who the hell are you? Kanagawa Police. A detective? Well, I used to be. Now I'm just a washed up DMV grunt, one year shy of retirement. What's a guy from the slowest apartment ever doing here? Come to remind me to renew my license? Is that a service you offer nowadays? I'm here because I have real business with you. You, a murderer, shot a man on the last night of the 20th century. Heck, I even used some precious PTO to be here today. Ah, well, sorry to disappoint you, but I don't plan on being a repeat offender. That's what everyone thinks when they get out. The moment they set foot on the other side of this fence, Shove it up your ass. You don't know shit about me. <laughs> you were born and raised in Kamurocho after being abandoned at the famous Shangri-La soap land. 
Hey, okay. Governor. What's up? Jiro Kasuga took you in. Then he and his prostitutes raised you. Well, after that, it's by the book. You dropped out of school, committed multiple offenses of shoplifting and assaults, then finally joined the Yakuza at age 16. Oh, you had a largely unremarkable career as a member of Dojo Clan's Arakawa family. Adachi Dachshund. <laughs> you killed an officer higher up on the food chain. And January 1st, 2001, you turned yourself in at Kamaro Police Station. Then you were sentenced to 15 years in this prison. After getting an extra three years tacked on for bad behavior, we finally arrive at today, where you were just released about three and a half minutes ago. That about sum it up. Wow, you're my biggest fan for sure. You want an autograph to show your DMV friends? <laughs> I just do my homework. Great, whatever. I don't care why you're here. Just get out of my way. There's somewhere I need to be. Oh, paid a visit to the Arakawa family? It ain't none of your business. Just leave me alone. <laughs> oh, but actually, it is my business. It very much is. Nothing personal, of course. Now, you're free to go wherever you feel like, but I'm coming with. What? Are you serious? What? The... Whatever. <laughs> Do what you want, man. Oh, <laughs> it's time. <laughs> uh, miss, I don't want to insult you, but... Uh, uh, what uh, did you do to my hair? <laughs> I, I tried. It's just when you asked for a punch perm, I had to look it up. The truth is, I've never done one before. Uh... How am I supposed to face the boss with a rat's nest on my head? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what kind of look are you going for, man? Huh? Shut up! I just ended up with a bad barber or all. The hell's your deal anyway? You really gonna just keep following me? <laughs> I told you, I have business with you. But I'm waiting patiently for you to take care of yours. So, what's next? <laughs> You're creeping me out, man. Give me a break. I gotta say, um... Uh, Ichiban's voice actor is really doing a good job at conveying the tone of the going. scenes. Chief Gao Suzumori's grave, huh? Hold on. Isn't he the guy that was killed 18 years ago? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so... Who killed him? You're looking at him. <laughs> Get real. You think I'm joking? Uh, let me ask you this then. Why'd you kill him? I've been banished from the Arakawa family, and I just... I, I was so mad, I just did it. You killed someone just because you were pissed off. <laughs> what are you, a schoolboy with daddy's gun? <laughs> nah, you ain't that immature. Now, if I were you, I wouldn't be visiting the guy's grave. How do you even give a shit, huh? <laughs> I know that 18 years ago, Suzumori was shot and killed. But not by you. And yet, you turned yourself in to save your family. I mean, everyone knew you didn't do it. The director of criminal affairs, the judge, jurors. Come on, Kasuga. You served your time. Why are you still lying? <laughs> Who really killed him? Me. I did it. <laughs> well, you're a real piece of work. Well, you're a big pain in my ass. <laughs> I'm gonna drop the act. My act? The detective shtick. Why are you following me around? There's no way an old fart one breath away from retirement suddenly decides to babysit an ex-con. Who are you really? 
What the hell's your angle here, man? My angle. <laughs> well? Ugh, <sighs> what a duo. Oh, there he is. is Arakawa-san, isn't he? Why are you asking? Who the hell are you? You some kind of reporter? We don't do media, so get out of here. Go on, beat it. You don't understand. I used to be a member of the Arakawa family. If you were from the family, then we would know who you are. I've been in prison for 18 years. I just got out today. <laughs> if you're gonna lie, you're gonna have to do better than that. Just let me talk to Arakawa-san. You'll be glad to see me, so let me through! Hey! Hold your horses there, dumbass. You don't know what you're dealing with. Yeah, they're busy visiting an important grave today. Go on! Get out of here! I didn't do 18 years for this shit. Step aside. If you don't, they're gonna have two more graves to visit today! <laughs> Battle is on! Big words. Appropriate gestures. Well, he's dead. Nice. You bastard. You think you're getting away with this? Oh, you want some more? Enough, Kasuga! Hey fellas, we're sorry, okay? Well, my friend here, he's he's a little crazy, that's all. What? the hell you say about me? <laughs> Look, I'll give him a good talking to. Sorry about all this. We'll get out of here. Let go of me, damn it! Don't you get it? That's my boss! Boss! Horikawa-san! It's me! I got out today! It's Ichiban! Cold. Why didn't he recognize me? You were gone for 18 years. Isn't it possible he forgot who you were? No way. He didn't forget me. I mean, shit. He sent me a letter in prison! I'm sure he just didn't hear me. He's older, you know? His ears are starting to go and his eyes too. Hey sniper. He definitely heard you. Thank you for dropping by. I'm sure your eyes met too. No, he didn't! I understand it's a hard thing to accept, Kasuga. But take a hint. Best case scenario, he simply forgot about you. If he does actually remember you, then clearly he doesn't want to talk to you. That's not true. There's just no way! I know the problem. What now? Think. Why would he be here? Visiting a grave, probably. Exactly. Visiting Susamori's grave! And I bet if he saw me standing right next to it, he recognized me on the spot. Yeah, all I gotta do is make sure he sees me right here, and... Hey, look at that. <clears throat> he 
seems uh, definitely visiting a different grave. Which one? That's that's the former Omi chairman's grave. The Omi Alliance. The Yakuza who run Kansai? Why would he visit that grave? And with so many guys? It's a logical thing for him to do, since he's an Omi officer. Oh. <laughs> Listen here, old timer. Those guys we just finished fighting said they were Arakawa. Didn't you hear them? Well, the Arakawa family is from the Tojo clan. Tojo clan! Everyone knows they've been at war with the Omi for ages. <laughs> you must have been a pretty shit detective, huh? <laughs> <laughs> the Arakawa family isn't Tojo anymore. Oh. Huh? The music stops. What did you just say? What did you just Masumi say? Masumi <laughs> Arakawa is currently the acting captain of the Omi Alliance. He's the second in command. What are you talking about? That can't be true. Damn. I knew you wouldn't believe me. But think about it. Arakawa was the patriarch of a third string family in the Tojo clan. Not the greatest position, but the tides changed for him two years ago. You see, the newly elected governor of Tokyo promised to scrub the city of crime. He started with targeted attacks on all Tojo's sources of funding. He called it the Kamracho 3K Plan. The hell's that? An anti-Yakuza policy. Keep them hungry, keep them poor, and keep them out. 3Ks. The police started raiding major Yakuza families with surgical precision. Family officers were being arrested one after the other. There was just one exception. The Arakawa family. Huh? That shouldn't come as a surprise. The reason the police were able to destroy the Tojo clan so fast was because they had inside intel. From the Arakawa family. Basically, Masumi Arakawa sold out the Tojo clan to the cops. No, he wouldn't! <laughs> I'm not even finished with the story yet. With the Tojo clan almost completely wiped off the map, the Omi seized the opportunity and poured their guys into Kamurocho. And you know what the cops did? They looked the other way. Arakawa must have slipped them a little something under the table. Like what? I'm talking about a bribe, dumbass. Arakawa slipped the police some cash so they would ignore the Omi Alliance's expansion. And that's how they took control of Kamurocho without spilling a single drop of blood. To pay back the favor, they welcomed Masumi Arakawa into their organization as the acting captain. Meanwhile, in the eyes of the Tojo clan, Arakawa had committed high treason. So what little of the Tojo remains will occasionally attack the Omi, but it's pitiful. I'm sorry to tell you all this, but you had to find out sooner or later. Don't let it get you down. I had nothing to do with you. You okay? You feeling all right? Nothing is fucking all right! Yeah, didn't think so. Our Kawasan defecting to the Omi? The Tojo clan is gone? You know what? You're a fucking terrible liar! So you don't believe me? No way in hell it went down like that! Arakawa-san was like the walking image of duty and honor! You saw him! He was visiting an Omi grave. Think about that. That wasn't Arakawa-san! I haven't seen the guy for 18 years, so how am I supposed oh, to Oh, really, Ichiban? Now that I think about it, that guy wasn't even wearing clothes that Arakawa-san would wear! Did. Someone's in denial. You do recall the men you fought identified themselves as Arakawa. Yeah. I... We must have misheard him! Where are you taking me anyway? This isn't the way to Kamurocho! <sighs> We're going to Yokohama. What? No, I need to get to Kamurocho! I told you, there's nothing for you there. Now come with me to Yokohama. And as I've said, two of us have business to attend to. Enough mystery! What business? An investigation. You are gonna help me with it. Oh, fuck off! <laughs> I should have helped you with anything, huh? Oh, 
I'm sorry. Did you think you had a choice in the matter? Soon we'll be in Kanagawa Prefecture, my jurisdiction. Now calm down, and let's have some peace and quiet. Hmm? You know what? Just stop the car right now, or else I'll fuck you up! Hey, Kasuga, if you won't come the easy way, I can make up a reason to do it the hard way. You want that? Oh, now the threats are starting, huh? Well, at least they make you seem like a real cop. Oh, is that right? Yeah, like any dirty cop. You're coming up with some bullshit story to trick me. So what is it you want? For me to do some of your dirty work? I can see right through you, fucker. What family in Yokohama are you from? Wow. I showed you my badge, remember? <laughs> for stupid. <laughs> you think I'm gonna fall for that bullshit? Hey, what do you think you're doing, you idiot? Oh, shit. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Kamrocho, obviously. Were you even listening to me? You really need to drop the detective act already. It's obvious you're Yokohama Yakuza. And hey, at least I'll get one hell of a story out of this, how I nearly got kidnapped right out of prison. Oh, you are such a dumbass. I have to go find Arakawa-san now. He's somewhere in Kamurocho waiting for me. Look, thanks for testing my instincts after I was in the joint for so long. Now see ya. I promise, Kasuga. There's nothing left for you in Kamurocho. <laughs> Damn it. I thought shit might go sideways. Guess he has to see it for himself. Is he really gonna walk all the way to Kamarocho? Jeez. Once this guy has something in mind, he just goes for it. Yo! Oh yeah, this is the scene where we see a guy vaping, right? It's 2019, get on with the times and all that. Smartphones, selfie sticks. Oh, there we go. Is that a cigarette? No. It's a. Let me introduce you to the new cigarette. It's a vape. Let's <laughs> the camera, Joe, but everything's so different now. First things first, I need to stop by the office. Am I... Oh, I have more money than before. Oh, right, we did get into fights. Why do we always end up in the damn city? Wouldn't be Yakuza otherwise. <laughs> oh yeah, now that you mention it, Mochi. Uh, I think it was Yana talking about age earlier, right? This guy is 40 now. Can you l let that sink in? Wait, is it 40 or was he 41? Something like that. This big baby is 41. 42, right. It was from 40 to 42, I forgot which one exactly. But yeah, they also lost the license to Don Quixote, I heard, so they can't put it there anymore. <laughs> if someone knows for sure, please confirm it for me. I heard that they lost the license. This is it, isn't it? Hey, are you supposed to be here? You got any idea what happened to the office that used to be here? Office? This used to be, you know, a girl's bar. What about before that? There was an office here. No, before the bar it was a computer store. Before that it was a maid cafe, and before that, a Filipino bar, I think. Filipino but bar? Maid years cafe? Ago, a family had their office here. The Arakawa family? Don't you know what I'm talking about? A family? Not a family family? I... <laughs> Yakuza office, okay? Anyway, I know it was here. Uh, that's too far back even for my old bones. <laughs> but I'll be honest with you, I don't see how the Arakawa family could have been holed up in a dinky office like this. 
Oh, so you do know them? I don't think there's a soul on this side of town who doesn't. They're a huge, famous family. Really? For the Omi? Is he gonna tell him? Is he gonna break it to him? So where are they? I'm looking for them. <sighs> Not sure. In this day and age, Yakuza can't exactly be loud and proud, you know. Especially not hot shots like the Arakawa boys. I get it. Okay, thanks. Think you'll find them? Yeah. Well, I'll just ask the old woman at the SIG stand where they're headquartered. She always knows what's going on. Okay, good luck. It's been 18 years. Is she still gonna be there? <laughs> <laughs> Finally made it big. Can't wait to see them now. But the problem is, where'd they go? She's still there. We'll find out, I guess. Uh, actually, wait. That recovers 10 MP. I think I'll get some of these. What? Rainbow Mountain Coffee. I ac wait. I think I had some of this actually. A friend uh, went to Japan and he brought some stuff back. This fucking drink is so good. If you ever go there, if you know someone that's going there and they can bring something back, tell them to bring you Boss Rainbow Mountain. It's so good. I'm gonna get uh, and some good old water. <laughs> oh, she's gone. Where's the old woman? Oh, you mean the previous owner? <laughs> she moved back to the countryside a long time ago. Wait, is it Probably just... Probably taking it easy in an okay. old folks home by now. Oh, I see. Hey. You know where the Arakawa family office is? If, if you're not making a purchase, I should help the customer behind you. I just want to know where the Arakawa office is. Hey, some of us got places to be. In the usual. Yes, here you are. 500 yen, please. Just put it on my tab. Wow. People sure have gotten rude since I was gone. How pathetic. You say something? Where'd you learn your manners, huh? Mom raised you in a barn? Jeez, and you're walking around town wearing a Tojo badge? Oh, wait, it's Omi Alliance. Oh. So, you're in the know. What family are you from? Me? I'm Arakawa. Oh, uh, nice to meet you, brother. Sorry I didn't know you. I'm new. He changed this tone. Like hell you are. You're lying out here with the Omi symbols, faking like you're Arakawa. You and that crew that visited the old chairman's grave today? Oh, yeah. There was a big ceremony scheduled. But only the patriarch and his officers got stuff like that. Maybe some of their assistants, too, but that's it. Damn, you must be newer than me. Tell me one thing. Who's our patriarch right now? Dude, you living under a rock? Just tell me who it is. It's acting captain of the Omi Alliance, Masumi Arakawa. He broke it to him. Man, you forgot the name of your patriarch? Get your shit together. Hey, you don't order me to do anything. I'm not Omi. Oh, but you just said you were in the Arakawa family. Damn right. And that family is part of the Tojo clan. Tojo clan? You sleep talking, dude? Do I look fucking asleep? <laughs> no, you don't. Uh, those Tojo pests <laughs> still crawling around. We've got permission from HQ to exterminate them on sight. You owe me are the ones who invaded. This city is Tojo turf. Not anymore. I do Tojo roaches need to die already. I love Ichiban's responses. This dude is so in confusion. <laughs> cool. Check this out. Oh, a gun. Oh, 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 
Kawasan really betray the Tojo clan and run to the Yomi? Answer me! Yes! Haniki! That guy's a Tojo loyalist! Get him! What? Get back here! Oh. <clears throat> level 1 Yakuza Punk versus level 100 Omi boss. Huh? Where'd you go? Oh. Close one. Hmm? Are you on PC? Yeah, P this is PC. Um, there's a side for sore eyes. Oh, is that the woman that he. Huh? Oh, it is her. The drunk lady. Level 100 sneak. What was your name again? It's me, Michio. I used to run a bar. Hmm? Michio. Oh man, finally a familiar face. Ew, back off. Huh? You read your smoke, Ichi. Huh? I do? Oh yeah, I guess I was just at the tobacco shop. Wait, don't you smoke yourself? Eh? Get out of here, I gave up drinking and smoking ages ago. What? Moonshine Michio went cold sober? He must have been around when he went to prison. I ended up getting pretty sick. I was either quit drinking and smoking or let him send me to an early grave. <laughs> so I went cold turkey on both of them. Wow, you really turned it around. So, ne? I'm practically a health nut now. No alcohol, tobacco, or additives, and I'm eating better too. I'm trying to up my water intake too. Do you know 70% of your body is made of water? Did you know that the earth is flat? Even knowing that, most people don't drink nearly enough water if you don't get some quality water in your... Excuse me. Uh, Michio. <laughs> Maybe you could ease up on the water trivia and tell me a bit about Kamarojo. What happened with the Toji Clan and Kaosan? I was gone. <sighs> I don't know the first thing about it. But your bar was pretty popular with Toji guys, mm. wasn't it? Uh, health food cafe. When I banned smoking and drinking, I lost that type of customer. I don't know what the Yakuza are up to. I couldn't care less about people who treat their bodies like temples. <sighs> oh. But if you're curious, why not track down Ushio? Ushio, remember? Your senpai from middle school? Oh, Ushio was an acquaintance of his? Damn. Um, oh yeah, that. he's a magazine writer, he fancies himself the go guy. Uh, <laughs> he's uh, researching a story, then he's psyching off at the children's Thanks. Park. Okay. Spring water called Aha Divine. They say it can even cure ill. Bro, she fell for the scam! Shit! Wasn't that in the, eight, in the 80s, though? What about your friends, too? You'll feel better. I'm good, <sighs> lady. I'll put it on the list, if you like it. Mm, wait. We fell at the point, right? I'm probably just do as a friend. To See ya. Yeah, anyway, you gotta run. <laughs> Rude. Wait. Wait. Damn. 40 year old scam order. <laughs> it's kind of sad too. What do you mean? She's just doing well. Okay, we're looking for Ishio. She got scammed. <laughs> Oh, what's up? Check this out. Come on now. Oh no. Backup has a rocket. Check this 
Oh shit. Okay. I like how they look exactly the same. <laughs> Dang! Let's go. 100 yen. He just shadow cloned your suit. Oh, that's a newbie Yakuza. <laughs> Fuck. Woo! Let's go. Okay, so I'm not sure if it works. But if you time the perfect guard like super tight, it's gonna be a dodge. I could be wrong though, I just get this feeling. Street fighting with turn based combat would get boring. True, like, I honestly feel like that's the case with um, even mainline Yakuza games. When you have everything, when you've seen everything there is to see, you're not gonna see the street fights the same way, in my opinion. Like, sure, you'll, you'll get into one or two just to uh, keep things from getting stale if you wander around too much, but eventually, you know, you're not gonna get around into too many fights. And uh, just so with this game, once you get more and more moves, once you get more party members, it's really going to shake things up a bit, in my opinion. Hmm. Chill out, would you? Oh, damn, this guy really changed. Um. Uh... <gasps> Damn, okay, that was badass. Hey. Why break a perfectly good camera? Uh -huh. Who the hell are you? Gotta talk to this guy. Don't worry, I'll make sure the shots get deleted. That makes a square, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, aren't you Ichiban? Ichiban Kasuga, you got out! <laughs> The torture flying guy. What? <laughs> I like how when you skip before the animation ends, that happens. Red suit, sca scraggly hair, it's gotta be him. <laughs> we'll kill him, drag him back, we'll be fucking heroes. <laughs> this picture has just got small time. <laughs> oh, we're wanted. Sup? Let's go. Oh damn, look at that guy with the dual knives. Okay. Nice. What does he have? Are those scissors? Yeah, I think they are. Ooh, going up. <laughs> nice. Learned the character skill, charismatic persuasion. What the hell is that gonna do in a fight? Damn, you're strong. We're gonna remember your face, dick. <laughs> I can tell you love your job, but you ought to love being alive more. Else, who's gonna take care of that precious camera? A real fist fight between the Omi Alliance and the Tojo Clan loyalist. Oh yeah. These picks are go for a fortune. Thanks, Ichiban. Hey, hold up. 
Oh, it's Kamaropo from Yakuza Online. <laughs> what the hell are you doing, man? Don't bother that guy. It was your fault anyway. Come on, get out of here. <laughs> if I see you again, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Tough words for a guy who just took off screaming. <laughs> Yeah, you better run, Camelot. Camelot? It's a local mascot they made to improve. Oh, Camelot. So... What the hell is a local mascot? <laughs> <sighs> We're gonna be here all day. <laughs> Remember the internet? It's big now. Use it. Fine. Just tell me what happened to the Arakawa family and Arakawa-san. You were in that family once upon a time, right? Stop. You gotta know what happened, being a local reporter. I don't believe What a cutie? Was the mascot or Ichiban? It wasn't who he was. You really want to know why Arakawa did what he did? Because I do have the scoop. Not a journalist for nothing. So tell me. When is he? When did you get locked up again? 18 years ago. And Arakawa <laughs> had a son, right? Yeah, the young master. It used to be my job to escort him. I don't know the details, but he was kind of sickly, right? <laughs> uh -huh. uh, what do you mean, was? Is he better now? He's dead. What? When? How? Uh, would have been about three years after you went into the slammer. As I recall, his condition got worse. There was nothing they could do. <laughs> Arakawa was pretty fond of him, or so I assume. It was more than being fond of him. Arakawa-san would have died for his son. Maybe the loss changed his perspective on things. Nothing worse than burying your own kid. Yeah. I can't imagine how that must have felt. But... I still don't see how that would make him betray the Tojo clan. You don't. Maybe you can't understand, but once you have a child, the rest of your life is over. The kid becomes your life's purpose, you know? So imagine the grief you'd feel if the kid dies. You just keep existing with your life's purpose pulled out from under you. The parents gotta find another reason, any other reason, to keep living. No, I barely started shipping them. <laughs> Couple that with the fact that Arakawa is a Yakuza. I think maybe his new reason to live became... watching the world burn. He wouldn't. Hey, why don't you give me some info now? You really in trouble with the Omi like those thugs said? Yeah. And you shouldn't just be strolling around Kamurocho. You still got business here? If not, I'd get out of town. Huh? I promise, Kasuga. There's nothing left for you in Kamurocho. But... Then where would I go? I mean... I don't know, dude. I'm just saying the Omi are looking for you. So I'd get out of town if I were you. Don't go home. Home? Yeah, the soap land you were born in? That'd be your home, right? Shangri-La. Hey! You're not going there now, are you? Don't do it! I'm telling you, they'll kill you! Kill me? Let him try. Tough words. Alright. Um, I think this is a good time for a break. We'll take about 10 minutes. Uh, so if you want to do anything, you know, hydrate, get some snacks, food, answer nature's call. Uh, call. Uh, now's the time to do it. We'll be back in about, yeah, 10 minutes. It's 12.12 here right now, so I'll see you in just a bit, uh, let's see.
All right. Let's continue. Thank you, Hana. Thank you, Yana. Uh, should we get into a fight? I don't know. I just played through Yakuza 0 last week. It is the first video game that made me cry. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Okay, I can't avoid that group. Uh... Okay, let's hope he's gonna pick up a bike. Oh, damn. Oh, okay. Levels. Damn. Damn, look at that bike. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> nobody responded. You're fucked. Uh, Leon, is 7 worth getting, even with the new combat system? I feel like that's something that I can't decide for you, to be honest. If you like RPG, or if you ever had at least a small interest in RPG games, then maybe you're gonna like it. But if you don't like RPG games, I feel like maybe you shouldn't force yourself. But, you know... It really comes down to you in the end. I'm a simple man. It doesn't take much to uh, let me have fun in a game, I think. So for me, this game is pretty cool. It's trashed. Never thought I'd outlive Shadow. Yeah, it's trashed, and Hangman lives there now. You don't want to see so, him, Ichiban? Is this the last stop on your tour of Kamarocho? Oh, there he is again. <sighs> I knew you'd end up here eventually. You again. The <laughs> real. Unbelievable, isn't it? A neon bright paradise like Kamurocho. Here's this dark, rotting husk. What happened here? Do you know? There was a Tojo clan civil war. Some moron drove a dump truck through the place. <laughs> Some moron. Ever since. Now. It's a den for lowlifes and thugs. I wonder who that moron Real is. messed up dudes living there now. Yeah, you don't want to see it. I guess I never realized just how long 18 years really is. It's not the Kamurocho you remember. I know that must be shitty. Did you see what they built on Nakamichi Street? What? The new Kamuro police station. Just one more set of prying eyes watching everything this time. It's because of the 3K plan. Without the Tojo clan throwing their bribes and threats around, the station finally got built. That's why everybody loves our go-getter of a governor. The Kamuro police station is just one of his legacies. <laughs> well, that shit doesn't matter to me anymore. Kasuga. Uh, yes, you can choose between Japanese and English. I tried to tell you before. Tojo clan, you know. The Omi Alliance for Kanz I went through the game in Japanese already, so I want to see how the English dub sounds like. Especially since they brought back some people. I invaded. One. And if you don't know what that means, just wait it out. They rule this city now. So, do you believe me now? Please tell me you believe him now. Oh, thank God. We're making good time. You came around faster than I thought. <laughs> I knew you were the kind of guy who has to see shit for himself, and everyone else be damned. So, I had to let you walk around Kamurocho until it all clicked for you. <laughs> and you got there quick. What are you doing? Trying to guess everything I do? Making fun of me along the way? It's about calm I down, dude. guess everything. I just knew you'd come here. <sighs> Look, man, once and for all, what the hell do you really want? I want you to help me with my investigation. Huh? Arakawa, your former boss, 
and used the police to crush the Dojo clan. Then he gave Kamurocho to the Omi Alliance on a silver platter. You and I both know you can't buy out the police with just Yakuza pocket change. So my theory is some of that money went directly to Juro Horinouchi, the police commissioner. The police commissioner? Yeah, and I got a bone to pick with that guy. I'd love to see the son of a bitch fired. Of course, I'm just a driver's ed teacher now, so I don't have a lot of chances to get at it. But one chance I do have is if I go through Masami Arakawa. And you figure I can help you get to Arakawa-san, is that it? Congrats, you solved the puzzle. I thought you'd be game because, come on, aren't you dying to know why he turned traitor? But if you don't agree, why don't you tell me? What are you gonna do now, hmm? I want to see Arakawa-san. It's all I thought about in prison. I just want to see him, talk to him. Well? Tonight, Arakawa is bringing some Omi officers to a big meeting with local patriarchs. Really? Not true? Oh, yeah. And we're not talking about a sweet little tea party. It's gonna be a show of arms. But Arakawa, it's a critical moment. He needs to show his dominance. How do you know all this? I still have my connections from when I was a detective. Had to grease some hands, of course. Go figure. Well, where's this meeting gonna be? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. <laughs> oh, there's the mascot. Check out that restaurant over there. Heian Tower. Oh, that's... Um, oh, have you been there? It's a pretty classy joint. Expensive as hell, though. No, I haven't gone. It's just... Uh, Harkawa-san once promised to take me there. To eat Peking duck. Wait, I get it! This is Harkawa-san trying to contact me! It's your bomb. Wait, what are you saying? It can't be a coincidence that the meeting is going down there. At a place that meant something to me and him. Of course it could be a coincidence. Come back down to Earth, kid. There aren't many classy restaurants around here. Period. Stands to reason he picked one of the only ones. <laughs> Screw you. It doesn't even matter. What's important is I can finally talk to him. Okay. First of all, the meeting isn't until tonight. And on top of that, the Omi know you're a Tojo loyalist. If they catch you, then you'll have zero chance of talking to Arakawa. Now, luckily, I have a plan for sneaking in. Big brain in You wanted to bust through the front door like an idiot. <laughs> okay, what kind of plan? That's a surprise I'll save for later. Later? What, we're just gonna wait here till they show up? No, I'm sure you have shit to do, just like me. Let's split up and meet back here tonight. Here. Take this with you. What is this? Oh, we have a smartphone! I assume you've seen one before? No. How do you use it? <laughs> Why do they make phones so damn complicated? <laughs> oh, Bobber Ichimon, I love this, dude. I love this. You'll figure it out. Just make sure to pick up when I call you. <laughs> Whatever. New to the pause menu. You can now select smartphone from the pause menu. This will allow you to check your mail. Okay, take pictures, call a taxi. Okay, so remember, <laughs> we're meeting in this part of Theater Square tonight. Till then, how would he see? Why are you fully Ichiban? Your PS4 is loud as hell. As someone also brought that up earlier, that's not the PS4 um, or the PC. That's my air conditioner. <clears throat> it's finally night. Okay. Tonight's the night. Okay. 
Okay, hold on. I just wanna... Yeah, let me save first. Uh, is your AC run in high graphics though? <laughs> Maybe. I mean... Motion blur, real-time reflections. I don't know, like, if um, I'm being too lenient on my PC, but sometimes I'm too scared to uh, change much in uh, settings. Attempts to brainwash the enemy. If successful, the enemy will drop an item and flee. Has a high, greater chance of success as Kasuga's charisma improves. Well, okay. I'll keep that in mind. Oh no. My PC specs. Um, well, my graphics card is GTX 1060. Uh, 6 GB, I believe. And uh, my processor is kind of old. It's an Intel 6600. I think it was 3.3 THZ. And I have 32 gigs of RAM, which I recently got. And uh, what else? Is this on hard? No. It's normal. One more. What's the hardest fight in this game, in your opinion? Well, I don't know if it counts as a fight, but... Uh... You might remember, what was it called again? Super Final Millennium Tower Dungeon, whatever. Uh, it was part of a DLC in Japan, but we're gonna get it for free. That one is insane. I, I know, like, it's not an enemy, but as a dungeon, and especially the secret boss there on that uh, uh, difficulty of Millennium Tower, I heard insane things. Oh, that guy. Great. Dachi-san's not even here. And I'm sure this is where we're supposed to meet. You really should just sell that business pronto. Don't be sad. Remember what I said? You deal with business the way you do with fish and women. Catch, then release. Take pride in the catch, but then set them free. Any sporting fisherman would tell you that. Really? You want me back at the office? I hope you're joking. I pay you generously to deal with this nonsense. The whole idea behind bringing you on was so that I could enjoy my nights off. Ciao! Wow. Tip. Hey, sorry to bother you when you're busy. What? You seen a burly looking guy in a blue coat around here? A burly looking guy? Sorry, my friend. Myself, I only pay attention to the ladies. Sure, <laughs> yes. Why don't you simply call this person? Is his phone dead? Oh, that's right. He gave me a smartphone to call him on. Damn it, Javon. Uh, wait. How do you call someone on this thing? <laughs> There's no buttons. <laughs> oh, a bit behind the times, aren't you? Hey, here. Allow me. You'll show me? I'll make you the smartest of smartphone users. Hey, there he is! You're not gonna weasel out of it this time, asshole. Shit, he only found me. No buttons. Huh? Nickel got a new cravat wearing fuckwad. When are you gonna do right by us? 
Then who are you, might I ask? You don't remember us? You sold us that shit property! Ah, that Yakuza, weren't you? The one who bought the deed for a most successful girl's bar. Successful, my ass! It barely makes any money! You need to make this right, you shyster! Oh, now that is strange. They certainly had a high profit margin while I was running it. The joint's in the red every month! Girls keep quitting, not enough customers. I can't even pay the electric bill. <laughs> I dare say you'll have to become better at managing a business. What you say? Uh -uh. This is a crap business when you pawned it off. I think this is Roger Craig, yes. <laughs> you are a funny guy. Asshole. Do you even realize you're mocking the Omi Alliance? Give an arrest, you jerk. Say what? This guy was about to teach me to use a smartphone. <laughs> get you got business with it. Like get in line. You get in line. Hey, wait just a second. That ugly red suit and that scruffy ass hair. Yeah. Remember what Anaki said? How there was a Tojo This guy was about to teach me how to use a smartphone. Fuck off. Down to the moppy hair. Asshole. Enough about my hair. So you're an aggressive type yourself, huh? Something like that. Why don't you stand back, Mr. What was it? Gotta. This is about to get ugly. I can see that. Will you be fine handling this by yourself? Hell yeah. And you can repay me in smartphone lessons. Smartphone lessons. <laughs> Very good. Quit your yapping. And if things get ugly, you got nobody to thank but your own hair. I like dialogues in this game so far. Same. <laughs> um. Ooh, nice. Stare down. <laughs> okay. painful so in all honesty did you sell them a crappy business or not I certainly did not it was raking in millions of yen each month at the time of sale a wonderful little property if that's true why'd you offload it the riffraff you just beat down were insisting on protection money <laughs> I didn't want their protection you were only asking for a measly hundred thousand a month then you wouldn't even make a dent in what you were pulling in Yes, I recall it being something like that. So you know what I told them? If you think it's so easy, why don't you try running it? And you sold it to him just to make a point? Man's got chess. I, 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 I mean, can you believe their arrogance? A measly hundred thou? I have a number of businesses, and yes, they do bring in hundreds of millions of yen per month. But the reason for that is I know the value of money. It's very difficult for a small business to make a hundred thousand. Ah, so you wanted them to learn just how much work goes into it. Exactly. And I believe now they have definitely learned. Businesses are like women. You think having one will be so glamorous. But there's some people involved. You need strategy, you need passion, and you need to work your ass off to make her happy. So... Are you gonna do what it takes to make that bar successful? <laughs> Fuck that! I'm done sinking money into that bottomless pit! Fine. I'll buy it back from you. But for half of what you paid me. Fuck you! But fine, take it! I don't care anymore! <sighs> I don't believe I caught your name. Kasuga. Ichiban Kasuga. Ichiban? That means number one, doesn't it? 
That's a lot to live up to, but you certainly did that tonight. Thanks for your help. Sure thing. <laughs> and, uh, speaking of help... Yes, you want to learn how to work a smartphone, correct? <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't forget. Let's get to it. Where's your phone? All right, time to learn how to use a smartphone. I actually feel like I can make use of this thing now. Thanks, Nick. You're welcome. Mayhaps we should keep in touch. When I meet interesting people, I like to think there's a reason why. We can be pen pals. Ah, um, if you want. But I got kind of a history, in case you couldn't tell. I got out of prison today. <laughs> that, that sort of thing doesn't bother me. Well, you should probably know. I was charged with murder. Is that so? Oh, my. You are interesting. <laughs> and rather blunt, too. You've got more honesty than sense. But I like that. Oh, yeah? You might say I associate with people who have... Well, all kinds of baggage. Many of them are caring much more than you. No kidding. I'm starting to think you're shadier than the guys I knew in prison. <laughs> Bad news for me if that's what a felon thinks. One point for Mr. Number One. I guess so. Well, see you around, Ichiban. <sighs> You're not gonna just randomly call me or anything, are you? I just might. You'll find me to be a very persistent man. <laughs> oh, there he is. Hey there, Kasuga. Who is that guy? First pen, I guess. Huh? <laughs> hey, what took you so long anyway, man? You're the one who set this whole thing up. Oh, I was hungry, so I went and got a beef bowl. I ordered an extra large one. And, mm, it was a struggle. <laughs> guess I'm getting old. Extra large one, one man. <laughs> well, here I am, about to sneak into a high level Omi meeting. Well, hope you're ready. Right, so I'm going to save here, and then I'm going to make another save. Wait, okay, that is perfect. Uh, I think I'm all ready. Beef yep. well. <laughs> Never go on a heist on an empty stomach. Okay. <laughs> How do you plan on getting into this restaurant? Through the sewers, of course. Okay. Too? Yeah. Of course, you're not the only one who wants to talk to Arakawa. I need to find out what his connection to the commissioner is and get the proof. <laughs> True. Uh, how old was Adachi again? 59? Who do you think you're talking to? Who found out where Arakawa is? <sighs> you. Is this really the time to argue? If we don't have each other's backs, we're both gonna end up dead. This guy's 59, and he's gonna fight alongside us. <clears throat> Let's go. Sup? Why is an old geezer who wishes driver's licenses got it out for the head of the Tokyo PD anyway? You really want to know? <laughs> you first, who killed Suzumori? I did. Yo. All out in the open, huh? Come on, let's go. <laughs> I thought she will now die for you. Hell yeah. 
just dropping by to leave some love and say that we're exactly at the same point in the game right now. Thank you, Marta. I appreciate you dropping by. I hope you uh, enjoy the game. Will this place even take us anywhere? Yeah. Should lead us straight to our building. Careful, though. <laughs> Never know what kind of lunatics you'll run into. Damn, okay. It's dungeon time. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> oh, 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 there we go. Okay. Nice. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my god, this really feels like a dungeon RPG. Yep, that's what they were going for. Okay, I got an item. Mysterious mushroom in a fucking sewer. You know what I'm gonna eat? Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? Eat that, of course. Wait, what the fuck is it? Oh, there we go. An ingredient for cooking. If eaten as is, you'll recover 50 HP. Sounds good! But oh, wait. Uh, first aid kit. Once belonging to a legendary idol, revives a fallen ally with full HP. Okay. Huh. Uh, wait, let me check my smartphone. Yo! Damn, okay, I have a lot of shit. Okay, um... Maybe we should not get into these just yet. So I'm gonna keep them for later. Unboxer? What? I'm up. Let's go. Don't get caught on this. Should I not? Ouch. Come on now. The fuck is unboxer? I don't know. Let's go. Skips around like a jackass. Okay, that works. Every time they taunt, they just die. <laughs> now I'm pissed. Nice. Right in the dick. Let's see. Come on now. Check yourself. I'm up. Nice. Let's go. Nice. Okay, uh so we can go here. Wait. Yeah, uh. Let's do it. You want to beat up Kuze in a carol? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Oh shit, damn it. Nice. Bomb bug. Let's go. Not bad. Oh, suspicious behavior. He's observing the area, okay. I hope that observation did you some good. Okay, I'm gonna feed Adachi. Oh, oh, oh good. Uh, wait. I have a feeling that's where the dead end is. Ooh, briefcase. 
Hardball. Come on. There we go. Okay, let's hope this is gonna work. Come on. Oh, fuck, it didn't work. So observing the area again. Okay. No, 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 not him! But it worked, I'll take it. Let's go. Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> nice. Plus ten, let's go. Mysterious leaf, I'll take it. Any money or bottle? Allah in a Malik, as he's got it. Um. Oh, that she's putting in the work, man. That he is. What are you playing on PC? Cool. Come on now. Check this out. Take your best shot. I'm up. Going in. What's up? I got the How true is it that Greg Chun is in this? 100%. He's voicing a character called Namba. Stats did go up, dude. Mysterious mushroom. Wait. Unboxing YouTubers. <laughs> Great minds think alike, my dude. <laughs> I'm glad someone said it. 
all recovery spots. Dude, the theme for the recovery spots or the save rooms, whatever. It's so fucking good. Just listen. It heals the soul. Right, save points. Hold up. It's so good. Defense and magic. Why is there a payphone in the sewers? The uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but hey, it just works, right? Like uh, Daddy Tart Howard says, it just works. Don't question it. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, maybe I should. Save again. Yeah. <sighs> Maybe in case the cave collapses. Ready for this? Yes. physics. Oh, 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 chill. Ray Mysterio, chill. Oh, I should have... Oh, damn it. they have it in English. Well, I'm testing out the English dub because I played the Japanese version already and I know how that sounds. So I'm going to play the game on stream in English and when I make videos it's going to be in, uh, in Japanese. Except for things like, for example, karaoke. I'm going to make English videos of that and Japanese ones. That's the plan anyway. Yo. Okay, just a sec. Stamina and light. Oh. oh my god, invisible wall is 0 out of 10. Refunding right now. Have, have eaten bento, what the fuck? Okay, I'll take it. Hey, a man's gotta eat, right? Okay, oh. Stretched shirt. Okay. Um, Barehanded. Damn, look at that weapon. Uh, there we go. Hey, there's no Chinese restaurant here. Where the hell it go? Ah, quit jabbering and get your ass upstairs. Oh, it's the scene. Let's go. Huh? Who the fuck are you? After the fight, I think. Yeah. Down. Cool. Check this out. Oh, he has a pistol. Yeah. Let's go. Too bad he's dead now. Let's go. Oh yeah. What are you saying? Oh yeah, too. Time to kick some bitches. 
and jump from hey. a high building. Damn. Guess we ought to take a leap of faith. Damn, look at that. 59 year old, by the way. Let's go. We're doing this. Okay, well, I'll take that. That's one less uh, enemy. Okay. 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 Job scale on guard. You okay? I'm fine. The meeting's just down those stairs. I'm gonna move on. for two old men that's a good that's a good point you know <laughs> all right Adachi son I believe in you helicopter is stunned helicopter is bleeding hell yes all right oh I thought you left the party okay Binding. Oh, hold on. Wait. Um. Oh, there we go. HP increases by twenty. Nice. French fro. Who the fuck? Maybe I shouldn't even question it. Okay, I'll take it. Perfect guard makes your rage subside. That, that would be an interesting side effect. But it makes sense, doesn't it? Let's go. Rock swing. I'll take it. Okay. So, oh, hand grenade. Okay. Stamina and life. Astringent. Whatever. And something here. Mysteriously. Okay. Uh wait. Okay. 
Um, just... Wait, I'm... Okay, I don't need to go to a recharge. I'm good. Let's go. Now it's boss fight time. Captain Sawashiro. Oh, Ichi. It's been a while. When'd you get out? Come on. I know you don't care when I got out. <laughs> Sounds like prison made you into a pessimist. You should have called us. We would have sent someone to pick you up. I wouldn't have wanted a ride from anyone wearing an Omi badge. Where were you when the boss turned traitor? Watch your tongue, Ichi. He only did what anyone else would have done in times like these. But you're right. Even if the Tojo clan still existed, no one would have come to pick you up. You do realize that, right? Because if you remember, you were banished from the clan. Look, I'm not actually that hung up about the ride. And yeah, I remember the banishment. So what do you want? Did you come to beg for money? You know, I thought you might be grateful. Did you forget who spent 18 years eating prison slop in your place? Oh, I'm very aware of what you did. But you're not aware of what's happening tonight. What? It's a very important event for the boss. I can't risk one of his former grunts ruining it. So the choice is yours. Leave like a good boy, or die here. I'm going through that door, and talking to my boss. <laughs> you know, I really forgot how seeing your stupid face always made me want to kill you. I thought the same thing about you. Every time you hit me for no reason. Well, it's been 18 long years. About time one of our dreams came true. Sounds good. Just don't bitch and moan about it afterwards. <laughs> oh. Time for me My man got sass. Must be nice to understand it now, Alien. Absolutely. Oh wait, let's try this. special attack. Damn, look at that. Oh, dude. My man guards uh, glass shard like it's nothing. Ridiculous. And he's like, cool. Okay. The captain's got that freakish aura around him, and he's in a fighting stance. Gotta be careful. <laughs> Come on now. Let's go. Oh damn. Ooh. Okay. Check this out. He can see he auras. Okay, I think I might need to heal. Let's see. Hot Gotta hold it to get come on now. They suck. Check this out. Show me your best. Almost done. Nice. Oh, okay. Nice. That's how you do it. 
5,000. Luxurious belt, tempered safety glass. I feel the stats going up. <laughs> I'll take it. Do you realize what you're doing? Once you go through that door, there's no turning back. Ichi, are you sure you're ready for that? Eighteen years. I've been waiting to open this goddamn door for 18 years. That's long enough! Boss. And who might this be? Pardon the interruption. It seems I have a guest. So, you came. I figured you would. You never disappoint. <laughs> Boss, please just tell me. Why'd you do it? Team Captain, do we have a problem here? No, nothing serious. No need for you to worry. Boss. In fact, it's going as planned. I'm sorry, Ichi. You have to die. Oh, my buddy! <laughs> Shit. Oh, no. <sighs> yeah, because it's seven staff roll, the kid. <laughs> Let it be known that defeating Joe proceeds to you getting mugged. <laughs> Make it think. The town at the rock bottom. Finally at Yokohama. Sunshine. Oh, there is Greg Chun. You might not have dodged a bullet, but you dodged Wednesday. <sighs> Wednesday is when they pick up the food garbage. Your ass would have been composted. Your wound's not completely healed, but the fact that you're standing means you'll be just fine. Time to go on home. <sighs> go home. Somebody's probably worried about you. Don't you have a family, wife, kids? Uh, by the way, <laughs> you'll have to take the stitches out by yourself when it's healed. Hey, listen. Hey, did that guy ever die? He died, right? Nah, he's alive. Hey, oh man, I lost a bet. 
I'll have to pay you later. I don't got no money right now. Big surprise. Those are some damn tight stitches you did with that fishing line. You really were a nurse, huh? Well, if he hadn't been a fighter, no amount of stitches would have saved him. Man, couldn't he have thrown that fight? Hey, you know how much money I lost on you? Next time, just kick the bucket. What was that? <laughs> well, uh, being that it's your fault and all, I'm just wondering if you could cover my bet for me. I'll give it a rest. Check it out, I got some big ones at the dock today. You want one, you sore loser? Ooh! You're really willing to share these buttes? No. Wait, did homeless man just find a body in the trash and pass them up? Sure, but I'm open to a fair trade. <laughs> Probably. We don't know how he got there, though. Find Could be planned. Can of that, and we'll give you a fish. Oh, seriously? I knew there'd be a Dude catch. just told him to go die. <laughs> I'll find you some gas. So you better yep, save that me a big did. one. <laughs> a big one. Hey, man. Huh? What do you want? I've got so many questions. Where do I even start? Uh, first of all, where the hell are we? This is Eugene Show. Eugene Show? Eugene Show. Isazaki Eugene Show. Yokohama. Don't you know Yokohama? <sighs> Yokohama. Why am I in Yokohama? Hell if I know. It's been three days since I found you. I got woken up by a commotion in the middle of the night. I saw them carry you in, covered in blood. They said they found you in the trash. I thought you were dead at first. But lucky for you, it turned out you only had one foot in the grave. And you've been what? Nursing me back to health? As best I can. But as you can see, I can't do any real treatment here. There are only two reasons you survived. Tough as nails, lucky as hell. A bullet missed your heart, your arteries, and went clean out the back. That the is the left. You would have been a goner. One hell of uh, luck on this well, guy. Thank you, man. It sounds like you saved my life. Wait, someone was asking. The lip sync. Yeah, they we did the lip sync. sound more noble than it is. What? Well, only helped because if you died here, it would have been trouble. What trouble? Where there's a dead body, there's cops. Where there are cops, there are questions. So what? And then the media comes charging in. Cameras and microphones all up in our faces. I guess so. So don't you see? Or are you as dumb as you look? We're not exactly supposed to be living here. I don't like using the term. But we're squatters, basically. Whoa. Plus... Everyone's got their reasons for being here. They came here to escape something. You attract media coverage, that blows their hiding place. You get it now? Yeah. I get it. Good. Now go home. Home? I'm sorry, Ichi. I don't exactly have one. Huh? Listen, I promise I won't make trouble for anyone here. So, do you think you could let me stay for a bit? No can do. Please, I'll make it worth your while. Help you out. Help me? <laughs> what, you think we help each other out like some big, happy family? We live by taking from others. Each of us. <clears throat> it's our world. It's a world where dozens of us crowd around a convenience store trying to claim half as many expired bentos. If you stay, someone else gets less to eat. You don't want that, we don't want that. Get out of here. Fine. <sighs> Guess I should have expected that. Your wound isn't healed all the way. You haven't walked for three days. It's no wonder you're weak. Guess you'll have to rest here for a bit. A little bit. Thanks. Under all that hard-ass talk, you're actually a decent guy. No, I'm not. I 
just don't want the shit that'll come down on us if someone dies here. Yeah, yeah. But still, I owe you one. <sighs> well, can't argue with you there. So, poor Ichi couldn't take it now. Where do we start with what? I'm not just gonna hang That's around here fussing over you. It's not it's like I am. I want to be your friend or anything. I say. Okay. Sure. Baka. And your name? <laughs> Ichiban. Ichiban Kaska. Huh. It's pretty paranoid of you using a fake name. Then again, you wouldn't be the first guy living here to do that. You got a shit feel for names, though. Fake ones gotta be more like. That's my real name, man. Oh. Oh, really? Um. Sorry about that. Ichiban. <laughs> Don't wear it out. And you are? Nanba. N A N B A. <laughs> Let me guess. Fake name? What do you think? I think it's all the same to me. Good. Because it doesn't matter here anyway. You got any money on you? I hope you're not broke. Uh, you're about to be disappointed then. <sighs> well, in that case, you're gonna have to start earning. I'll teach you how. Why do I need money all of a sudden? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Actually... Just remember, you'll have to get the chief's permission to stay. The chief? He's been here a long time. Sort of maintains the peace. Sorry if I gave you the impression it was all up to me. Uh, you gotta get his okay. And your best chance of doing that is to show you can earn. Sounds more like a bribe if you ask me. You call it whatever you want, but you need it. The chief doesn't accept freeloaders. If you don't work, or if you're a liar, cheat you're out so if you want his blessing you have to work your butt off make some money and prove you really want to be here got it i get it but you never said how i should make the money i'll get you going luckily we've got some daylight left teach you how to make money, didn't I? Watch closely. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. He looks so proud. This is what you do for money? Kind of lame. We can't afford to worry about looking lame, man. Having pride around here is a sure way to starve to death. Wait, I think I found my 500 yen coin. Oh, that fast? Oh, yeah. It's my lucky day. <laughs> oh, it's a bottle cap. Unlucky. Oh, man. Cut my hopes up just to have them crushed. All right, now it's your turn. Go check underneath the other vending machines. Trash cans, too. Sometimes people throw away stuff that we can sell. I'm on it. Cool. I'm gonna head back to camp. Come find me when you're done. Don't wander far. There are a lot of dangerous dudes in this town. All right, then. Good luck, rookie. Good luck, rookie trash collector. All right, vending machines and trash cans. You've learned the treasure hunt ability by pressing X near search points around town. You can obtain money and items. You can even get some rare items if you're lucky. So keep your nose to the ground and sniff out that treasure. Well, okay. Your money has been sent to the convenience store ATM and your items have been sent to the item box. Oh, so my money is not gone. Okay, what? There are locked... Gold and silver saves throughout the city. A gold save is opened with a single gold key. Silver saves can be all opened once you acquire a silver save scouting key. Gold saves tend to have no items. Okay. Time to rise from rock bottom. 
Let's see. Hmm? <clears throat> Nothing here. I got 50 yen! Mom, I did it. Hmm? <laughs> oh, 5 yen! Damn! What a haul. Uh, okay. 55 yen. Can this even buy something? <laughs> I remember there was, uh, I think it was candy from the convenience store for 77 yen, but... How'd it go? I tried, but this was all I found. We're making money, Did boys. You? This is the guy I was telling you about. And? What do you want, boy? My name's Ichiban. My situation's kind of... I'm sure it's fascinating. Main point is, you were shot, right? Right. So what do you say? Mind if I stay here while I'm recovering? I'm not just a survivor. I'm willing to earn, too. You earn that money yourself. Don't let anyone take it from you. Uh, if you're refusing to take it... Does that mean I can't stay? Mm, I never wanted it. I just want you to realize it's not money we truly value here. Yes, I do. If a newcomer works hard and makes honest money, that shows us he won't disrupt our home. <laughs> that ain't much. Thank you. But it's honest work. I you I will pay back this debt. Debt? Sounding awfully Yakuza there. That's what I was until recently. This guy is too honest. Damn. I guess it wasn't all that recent. Hmm. What's your story? Uh, hold on. And Vicky, thank you for the sub. And every other subscriber, thank you so much for joining the channel. What? Your Patreon shot someone who served 18 years in prison for it. That's an interesting tactic. Must have felt horrible. Don't know if that's what I'd say. It's hard to describe how I feel. Here. Thanks. Try tearing off the tail and putting it in your drink. Hmm. Huh? Uh, sure. Oh. <clears throat> That's good. It's Ijin Cho style fin sake. So, once you're healed, you're free to leave or stay. Your choice. Christopher, thank you for the sub, man. Thanks. We'll see what happens. What are your plans tomorrow? You need to scrounge up some food for yourself. Oh, that's for sure. I'll show you how. Let's head out at 5.30 a.m. and get you started with cans. Cans? You mean like recycling them? Pretty damn early to be doing that. Early bums get the crumbs. You oversleep, I'll ditch your ass. <laughs> okay, yeah. get it, get it. I'll be there. Okay, that's an interesting take on... Uh, what did they say again? Early bird gets the worm, whatever. Early bums get the crumbs. I like it. <sighs> I 
What's up? <laughs> yes. Looks like you asked. Oh, I got a bike. I can't do attitude. You tired? Not much. What about you? A whole bunch to even make it worthwhile. Wow. Gotcha. Ring ring. I'm gonna start collecting. Sure. Dude looking like the mole. Yeah. Hobo wizard. I just came back from finishing Ortis. Oh! Been a while since I rode one of these. How did you find yeah, uh, no the Divine Knight battle in the mansion? That was so cool. An ordinary bike. It's custom made for recycling. Three wheel. Three wheel too. You yeah, haven't ridden in a while. Why not take her out for a quick spin? All right. You can even pedal backwards to reverse. I find that pretty convenient. Okay. So this is how you reverse. Okie doke, she's all yours. Go take a lap around, see what you can scrounge up. You find a lot of empty cans along the river. My advice, stick to pedaling in a straight line and you can't go wrong. I agree. Right. I'll give it a shot. I'm glad you had fun with that. Okay. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, hell yes. I like the sound effect, it's pretty crunchy. Huh? What the heck is that? <laughs> Need a boost? Grab an energy drink. Press Y while powered to boost to give you a short burst of speed. Hell yeah, let's go. Hell yeah! Fuck me whole ass on this thing! Hope I don't crash and eat shit though! <laughs> Oh look, more cans. What's oh. up with those guys? Oh no. no way. They're after the cans too? Gotta beat them up. Yo, that that picture of each of them flying is kinda of funny, not gonna lie. But he can do the same. Alright. Yes, I got me some competition. They make hobos look fun. Makes for a healthy challenge. Well, I did my lap and brought in a decent haul. I'll head back to Kansan. Are you sure about that? So, get used to it yet? Uh, I think so. A lot of other guys were out there doing the same thing. Yeah, I bet they were. The homeless here in town are always on the prowl for anything salvageable. Gotta bust your butt. To homeless speech run rich for Sasha. <laughs> Even among the homeless, it's survival of the fittest. My advice? Someone comes chasing after you, scram. Otherwise, you ram into them as hard as you can and take what they got first. So I gotta take the initiative. I'm good at that. Gloves are off from this point. Collect as many cans as possible and come back here within the time limit. Consider Real your life gone problem. if you're even a second late. So I gotta be back at this parking structure before time's up. Got it. More cans means a better haul. But what's the point of hoarding if it all goes to waste? Wouldn't want that. Anyway, let's see what you got. Let's go. <laughs> Destroy the homeless. I do actually find that uh, funnily contra contradicting. He's all about uh, being fair and, and whatnot, so why does he ram into other people to steal their cans, you know? Alright. Wait. You'll encounter a girl taking out the trash. Cans will uh, consistently drop from her trash bag. Damn, people suck at keeping the trash in its location in this uh, town. Okay. Here comes the can man.
or like, give me your haul, my dude. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 careful. Okay, I didn't go to that truck just to be careful, but. I'm gonna take this. <laughs> Let's go. Oh shit, okay, that was kind of close. Okay, man. Lucky. Oh, 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 give me that trash. Never thought I'd say that, but here we are. Okay, so we have about half a minute left. Okay, gotta hurry back. Oh, I see a guy in the distance, but am I gonna be able to catch up? Am I? Yes! Let's go. Alright, S rank, that's good enough. <laughs> That's the mark. A new record? Yes, I can. What a haul. Child of cans. Okay. Ah, well done. Time to get you set up with some eco points then. Eco points? Yeah. What you get for turning in cans? Really an idea, if you ask me. You can exchange these eco points for cash, food, or whatever kind of junk you want. That's quite a system you got there. Well, fiat currency is common. Yay, we're still homeless. So got a factor for tax <laughs> rates, supply and demand, all kinds of nonsense. And for what? For people like us, a point system works best. We like regular money, but without the greedy middleman. Huh. To be honest, I prefer regular money. Hey now, you collected quite a bit. You're pretty good for a beginner. Okay, after taking out my lecture fee, oh boy. here's what's left. 150 yen! Let's go, I can buy a sandwich now. <laughs> Jeez, for life. Oh, and before I forget. Better off swapping your eco points for commodities rather than money. Who's far from that way? Got it. Anyway, this lovely little parking structure here is the place I call home. Whenever you feel like collecting cans or exchanging eco points, come find me and I'll lend you my bike. Will do, Gonsan. I guess I'll see you later. <laughs> he looks so proud of himself. <laughs> That's some expensive lecture for you. Yeah. What can you do? Poggers in chat for 150 yen. Poggers. Let it go. I work my ass off. <laughs> my take is pathetic. That's homeless life for you. But I know you tried, so I'll give you some food. Just for today, though. You sure? <laughs> Can't have you collapsing from hunger. Just for today, that's what the he always says. got rid of their extra bread today, so I went and got some. Beggars can't be choosers. Ooh, that looks really. Wait. Bread rolls, huh? Hey, I just said we can't be choosy. Whoa, I ain't complaining. Did I he just put, rolls, put an entire fish in a sandwich? Yeah. Hell it doesn't look like he took out the prison, bones either. All we had was barley rice every single day. But once a week, they gave us bread rolls. That was the day I looked forward to. Really? <laughs> it's just plain ass bread. That plain assery is what makes it good. See, nothing's plain about prison. Everything's shit. The smell. Walls, and especially that nasty rice mush. But the taste of plain bread, that was the taste of the outside Appreciating world. the simple things. Well, here. A good life lesson. Take a nice big bite of the outside world. Thanks, man. 
Is he? I guess I shouldn't question it. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa, dude. Chill. I gotta say, you're an interesting guy. Damn. He devoured that fish. Shit! The collectors are here! Early oh, is this the scene that I think it is? Hold up. <laughs> Time to pay your dues for the month, fellas. Wait by your beds with your cash out and ready. Who's this fool? Zhang, the money collector. He charges us homeless guys for the privilege of sleeping here. What? Why well, you gotta pay him? Is this his land or something? No. But it's been the rule since before I was here. You don't gotta pay a guy like that. Tell him to fuck off. Trust me, I want to punch the guy in the face every time I see him. But the chief says we gotta pay. He does? I've heard Zhang is a member of the Yokohama Liumang. What the hell's that? A Chinese mafia that's been based in Ijincho for ages. You don't want them as your enemy. You'll end up dead. <laughs> Mafia, my ass. I'll get this guy out of your hair. Pay you back for helping me. No, don't try anything. The chief already has a deal worked out with them. You need to do what the chief wants. But just stay quiet. Shit. Do you even have enough money to pay him? Two thousand yen? No, not even close. He's shaking hobos down for two thousand yen. I only have enough to cover myself. Look, you better hide in there. And I'll think about it. Oh this yes, this is gonna be Whatever the same thing. Don't move. <sighs> Time to go Fine. snake mode. <laughs> Hello, Nambachan. How's business? Good? Is it ever good when you're homeless? No, oh, no. You'll never make it back to proper society with that attitude. Besides, you got a sweet deal going on. Sleeping and drinking all day must be nice. You're right. Sorry. Number. Does this box belong to you? Yeah, I needed to pick up a few things. <laughs> what kind of things? Hey, let's have a look. Oh, hold on. can a guy have a little privacy? You live on the street. People like you don't get to have privacy. Damn, that's harsh. Here comes the good stuff. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> well, Namba-san, you tried to play nice, but you know what? Fuck these guys. Who the hell are you? The fine people here have been taking care of me since yesterday. I see. Does that mean you live in one of these fucking tents here? If so, we'll be taking your rent up front, cash only. Sucks for you, I'm broke. And if I weren't, I wouldn't even give you my pocket change. <laughs> wow, number. <laughs> Not only did you bring in some cocky asshole, but then you tried to keep him as your little secret from us. I'm gonna make sure you pay for that one later. They lip synced English? Hey, yes. Namba-san saved my life. Get your hands off him! Uh, look who thinks he's a tough guy. Every now and then we get a newcomer like you doesn't know his place. 
You guys bark loud, but you never got the bite to back it up. You go down whimpering like bitches every time. Put up your goddamn fists. Let's see if you're any different from the rest of this trash. Oh. Don't try to stop me, Namba son. Stop you. <laughs> At this point, he's gonna kill us both and dump us in the river. Three edgy seven to me. Before that, I'm gonna stick this up his ass. <laughs> ah, Namba. This dumbass give you big ideas? <laughs> I'll break so many of your bones you won't be able to beg anymore. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. God damn, I love this. <laughs> You'll be sorry. Bring it on. Cool. Check this out. Let's go. Pigeon raid. Watch this. <laughs> oh. Ready? Okay. Hopefully one more and this guy should go down. Okay, yeah, that did it. Yeah. Let's see. Gnarly breath. Lowering defense. You know what? <laughs> Wanna fight? Cool. Okay. Check this out. Okay. Oh damn, he needs to heal. Okay, uh come on now. Check this out. <laughs> Powerful, no, power nap. Let's go. I love that move. Okay. Poggers for a good night's rest. Oh! Nice! Moving up in the world. MP plus 10, let's go. <laughs> Only Yakuza could make the homeless look badass. You fuck it. You know I'm in the Yokohama Leomag. You know, I was doing some calculations back there. 2,000 yen from each bum gets you about 100k. My math's not great. You talk pretty big for a guy collecting chump change. You wanna die, asshole? That's what you're asking for. I'll give you one chance to apologize to me. Sounds like the empty threat of a loser. Last chance. Apologize now if you wanna live. Did you hear? I ain't apologizing for shit. You're gonna regret this. Your bark is worse than your bite. Tell me, why would I regret it? You gonna sick your big, tough Liu Mong boys on me? <laughs> Do they even have any of those? Fuck you. <laughs> We're the strongest Chinese mafia in Yokohama. Trust me, your buddies are shit themselves. They know what's coming. Okay, so I take it all the big boys you'll be sending in to put us in our place are better fighters than you? <laughs> you fuck it! No, seriously. Oh, sure damn. Expected. Okay. When are you gonna tell them you got beat up? He put him on the spot, though. For pocket change. How are they gonna take that? Oh, our boy Zhang got his ass kicked. <laughs> and then, uh, they're gonna rally the fucking troops for you? Your officers can't be that poor. You'll just end up the shame of the Liu Lame. <laughs> Do you ever shut the fuck up? <laughs> That's just how these things go. A gangster like you should know that. Officers don't just go out and save their minions from every little street fight. Damn, dude. Shit. 
Now, but I'll deal with your panty ass later. After I take care of your new meat shield here. Shut up. This isn't even the Umang turf. Oh, seriously? Holy shit. <laughs> so you have even less leverage than I thought, Shang Chan. Oh, yeah? I don't know a lot about Yokohama, but I'm sure the gangs here are real strict. If you're waltzing across the border to shake us down, isn't that a turf violation? <laughs> <laughs> so not only did you get whipped by bums, you were trespassing. Honestly, man, I wouldn't even report this one if I were you. Unless... You <laughs> she won't stop, you murdered the guy. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> fucking shithead. It's hard being the bottom rung of the ladder, isn't it? I can relate to that, actually. The difference is, I learned not to bully people who are weaker than me. Shut up. I'm letting you off easy today. Let's go. <laughs> hey, bring us something to eat next time, would you? <laughs> God damn. That was way out of line. No, we don't have to be scared of that asshole anymore. <laughs> you pull something like that again, I'm tossing you out on the street. Our priority is to have somewhere to sleep tomorrow. Don't you dare put that at risk again. <laughs> He's not really that mad at you. Ah, I should apologize. He's right. I was out of line. Ichiban no. is just as powerful with the words as Kyuhu is with his fists. That is true. Is right. I love this dude. And hey, I got to vent some bottled up anger of my own. <laughs> I'm sure most of the guys. Ichiban's roasts do more damage than a fucking tiger drop. You know what? Not even gonna disagree with that. That I is so true. Agree with me. We should be thanking that you. guy. Fucking <laughs> died. Me. Reputation gone. I say, you're a professional at pissing people off. Yes. Huh? Um, that's not exactly a skill I want to have. Maybe not. But then again, maybe being a pain in the ass is just part of your charm. You know. <laughs> well, I never thought about it like that before. So, hey, I guess the Chinese Mafia is some big deal in Yokohama, huh? <laughs> Not just the Chinese. The city is sliced up among the Ejin Three. The Ejin Three? <laughs> the girl in the red shoes left with foreigners. Oh. So here we go. The Zheng guy was from the Chinese Mafia, known as the Yokohama Yuman. It's over here is the Korean Mafia. They go by the same name as the area they occupy, Gongju. And of course, there's the Japanese Yakuza. They're called the Seiryu clan. But to the locals, they're all known as the Ejin Three. I'm guessing the Seiryu clan is under the umbrella of the Omi Alliance? Are you kidding? No, they've always been independent. They're happy to let you know it. Are the Omi in Ejin Shu? <laughs> the Tojo clan is practically Yokohama's next door neighbor. And if they've never set foot in here, you think the Omi Alliance will try? <laughs> the Ejin Three offer the town protection from outside forces. In a way, that metaphorical barrier is known as the Great Wall of Muscle. Hell of a metaphor. So the Ejin Three work together to keep people from getting over this wall. Work together? <laughs> yeah, right. They're always at each other's throats. Doesn't that mean a war could break out at any moment? Yeah. This hey, Box Knight, what's up? War. What's that? Did you skip that day in history class or something? Okay, Cold War is like a powder keg. 
Any teensy bit of friction can trigger a huge explosion. Oh, okay. I mean, would you want to stick your hand into a powder keg and risk setting it off? I don't know. Exactly. So, as long as this Cold War is going on, no one can stick their hand into Yokohama. I get it. There's so much tension, everyone's scared to make a move. But it's amazing that there's never been a war on the inside then, isn't it? <sighs> yeah, I try not to think about that. It can all be pretty vicious. This city would turn into a goddamn crater if that happened. Maybe there's a reason it hasn't. A secret reason. You ever think of that possibility? Like, what if the Aging Three leaders are pretending there's a cold war so they can sit back and relax? <laughs> Not a chance. Each gang leader is desperate to be the strongest. My Every man Ichiban time. is not only a gamer, but he's a game theorist. That's what they're doing. They're gathering strength. Which is just adding more powder to the keg. It's scary, isn't it? But for the Yokohama underworld, it's just the way things are. Why are you telling me all this? So that I'll be more careful? More or less. You've already been pretty damn lucky, in my opinion. Lucky? Me? Yeah, yeah. I know your traitor patriarch shot you and all. I was unlucky, sure. But then someone brought you here to Yokohama. The one place in all of Kanto where there's no Omi at the moment. A place where they can't even get in. You're safe from them. Interesting. Yes. I don't know how long you can just hang around in the jean show, though. I'll go on and leave. I won't stop you. Yeah, I think I will. See if I'm lucky out there, too. Ow! 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 Oh my God. What the hell was that for? You won't get far with that still healing. You'll be dead in a ditch. I could have done without the demonstration. <laughs> Oh. 10,000 yen? What's that? Oh no. Shit. Hide it, Ichiban. Why? Did you see that? That was a 10,000 yen bill! Oh. <laughs> hey. Hey. Oh no! Calm down. Hey! I think I dropped a 10,000 yen bill around here just the other day. You're talking out your ass. It's Ichiban's money. What? Actually, I have no idea how I got this. Ichiban? I told you it was mine. Hey, <laughs> give it back. Uh, oh, you peachy chan, my old friend. I thought I'd never see your face again. <laughs> Let me just clean you off a bit. Aren't you beautiful? Huh? What the hell? What's wrong? Oh, look at this. The back of it is blank. I think it's just stupid play money. Wait, hold on. Hmm, they got played. Hmm. That's definitely not play money. The front looks way too much like a real bill. I mean, look. It even has a watermark. For real? Well, they wouldn't put watermarks on play money, would they? So you're saying it's real, even though it's half blank? Hey, does that mean it's worth 5,000? Oh, dumbass. <laughs> that means there's only one thing it could be. It's counterfeit. Huh? What? It's a fake? Hey, you trying to get us all arrested or something? No, that shit's not even mine. You said you just dropped it the other day. <laughs> Do I look like someone who would have that much? I would have spent it already, man. Come on. Obviously. I'll cut it out, you two. But it's yours, right? Why did you have it? Why would you bring that shady shit here? Damn, look at how trouble. quick they shift on, the blames. Man. This guy's bad news for the whole camp. We can't let him stay here. I say we kick him out. I told you, I don't know where it came from. I don't even know where I'd get a fake bill. Liar! How did it end up in your pocket, then? Wait. Let's think about this for a second. Ichiban's pocket where he had the bill has a huge bullet hole in it. So if the bill was in his pocket at the time he got shot, doesn't that mean it should have a hole in it, too? But look, 
doesn't. My man done by being an ace no attorney. Way one could have put it in his pocket after he got shot. He was barely even conscious. That could only mean someone must have put it there after he fainted. Who would do that? And why? Don't look at me. I have no freaking idea. It was probably whoever brought him here. Got an idea who did that? Probably not, huh? Nope. Yeah, he got Doesn't shot, Kayla, by his own boss. You guys. I don't know why I got dumped here. I don't know why I have this bill. Seriously, I don't know a goddamn thing. You've got to believe me. Who cares? Look, we're already on thin ice here, and none of us want to give the police an excuse to raid us. So let's just get rid of that thing. Throw it away and stop causing trouble. You two are the ones making a scene. How about I bring this to the chief? Uh, not Basan. Don't do us like that. <laughs> Look, I get it, okay? I'll make you a deal. You take it easy. I won't start any more trouble. We good? Fuck you, man. <laughs> yeah, Yagami voices an umpa. But I thought you had no. Is that why his hair is like that? He fainted and woke up there? No, his hair is like that because the barber go? messed up uh, his don't. hairstyle real bad. That be there was an entire here. cutscene about it. What? I walked around all damn day. What good did that do? I mean, there's got to be tons of jobs out there which pay more than this. There's just got to be. Yeah, probably. Well, if you think so too, then let's go find one of those. Oh, sure. Got any leads? Know anybody who can give us a reference? How about a resume? Oh, hey, I know. We could find something at Hello Work. Man. Easier said than done. Listen up, everyone! Hey, what are you doing? Guys, guys! Why are we living like this? Has anybody here ever gone to hello work? Eh? Sounds like a big fat no! But you're all perfectly healthy! I've seen some of you build shit! I've seen some of you cook! You have skills! So why aren't you trying to find jobs? Just gotta get up and do it! Come on! You really want to keep living like this just to avoid taking some risks? Don't you see you can change if you want to? Or do you all just want to die here? Well, I don't. I say we go and find some decent jobs. Anyone who whines about it, I don't mind dragging you. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> do you seriously think we're all here because we want to be? Nah. You said everyone has their reasons, and I get that, man. But come on. You still gotta try, don't you? Better than living like this. A little effort can land you a job, even if you have a criminal record. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Why not? First of all, only a few of us have criminal records. Most of us didn't do anything wrong. Then why? For some, all they did was co-sign a bad loan. Others worked hard for their families, who abandoned them when they couldn't pay the bills. Nobody lives like this by choice. This isn't somewhere you choose to be, it's somewhere you end up. Do you know what that's like? To end up that broken? <sighs> and some of us have families who are out there looking for us. Parents and kids. Hoping they'll come back. And for as much as some of us would love to go back, we can't. Not when we're still so broken. And you think you can fix all that with just a quick trip to hello work? They get back on the grid, then all the problems and enemies from their old lives are gonna pop right back up. Did you ever think of that? You think we're just too lazy to work? We all want a job and a living man. But we can't just erase all the things that keep us from having them. So it might not look like much to you, but they're trying! I'm... sorry. You can't force people to be just like you. So knock it off. But I'll give you this. You're not totally wrong. What? You made a good point. About having a criminal record. We do have one felon here lying low. Uh, who? Me. But you said you used to be a nurse. <laughs> what did you do? Uh, it doesn't matter. 
But maybe I found some motivation in that stupid little speech of yours. <laughs> Enough to try, anyway. So, I'll come with you to hello work. I'll see what it's like to take at least the first step out of the gutter. Norris Man is now with us. Uh, by the way, uh, if you want to play all the Yakuza games on one system, get the PS4, Kayla. You should be able to get Yakuza 0, uh, Yakuza Kiwami 1, Yakuza Kiwami 2, and then there's the HD Collection 3, 4, 5, and then there's Yakuza 6, and now Yakuza Like a Dragon is also there. Kasuga can now use the skill tag team. Essence of Mayhem. Let's go. Namba's immunity. Namba's life on the street has strengthened his body against poison and catching a cold. Yo, okay, I, I, I like that. So some characters can have like unique effects uh, to them. This is pretty cool. Um... That's a lot of messages. Okay, let's see. Stat boost. Special job. Devil Rocker. Matriarch. Isn't there an item pack or something? I guess I don't have one. Yeah. Party chat. Your party members want to chat sometimes. You can let them by pressing Y when prompted. Listen until the end, and the party's bond will grow stronger. But if you interrupt this conversation by opening menus or triggering a battle, not only will it force everyone to stop talking, but it's also just plain rude. Luckily, should something like this happen, you can always go back to the same spot where the chat began to give it another shot. Cool. By the way, you've got a pretty crazy tattoo on your back, right? Is it a dragon? No, not a dragon. It's a dragon fish. A dragon fish? Yeah, but to be honest, I wanted a real dragon. Wait, then why didn't you get one? In the Yakuza business, a dragon symbolizes the top of the food chain. A fresh-faced fool like me can't just casually rock a dragon. Wow. Well, oh That's shit. Real? Well, every everyone has a start, in my opinion. I mean, when Kiryu started, you know, he wasn't immediately the dragon of Dojima. You know what I mean? Well, I guess a dragonfish is pretty cool too. I guess. Right? I'm into it. Someday I want to earn my place, and then my dragonfish is gonna shine even brighter than a dragon. <laughs> Dreaming big, huh? In that case, maybe I ought to start by finding a job. Yeah. Sorry, little dragonfish. I like these combos. Wait, this isn't the right way. Oh. What's he got in front of him? A shogi board? Is he playing shogi outdoors? Huh. Maybe I should challenge him sometime. Wait, no. No, no. No. I'm good. I don't need shogi. I'm sorry. I pressed A by mistake. Bye bye. What does a what does a dragon fish mean if a dragon is at the top? Okay, so here's the thing. There is a koi, and then there's a dragon. The, a koi is basically a fish. Like uh, you'll see some characters that have a fish tattoo. So there's like an urban legend or s something like a folklore uh, story in Japanese mythology, where um, if a fish swims to the top of the sea or something it can transcend the gates of heaven to become a dragon or something along those lines so ichiban is somewhere in between he's not a fish or a koi and he's not a dragon as well he's somewhere in between rising from you know rock bottom to greater heights it's all symbolism uh... Oh, right. Uh, I had items that got sent to the item box, right? I'm gonna pick those up. 
Oh shit. Fuck it. Are you serious? Burnout bully. Check this out. Yeah, let's go. All right, pitch and play. Watch this. Have fun with this. Damn, he's weak to them. Doesn't Sawashiro have the dragonfish tattoo as well? Uh, in Yakuza Online he does. But I'm not gonna say anything about this game. Just in case people don't want to know and see for themselves, you know? Wait. Wait, that. Oh. Oh, oh, wait. I'm stupid. There's all my stuff, I'll take them, thank you. Yeah, in Yakuza Online, Sawashiro looks like an anime character. He has like a mix of black and white hair. His suit is all... Uh, Glittery white with engravings kinda on it. He looks completely different. Right, time to apply for a job. Like a decent, uh, law-abiding citizen. So many people, young ones too. How old are you? Forty-two. What about you? Forty-one, if I remember right. Damn, that makes me feel old. Hey, age ain't nothing but a number. We got something better. <laughs> I don't know if you should oh, be saying that. Sure. Ain't you, Bob? I'm telling you, are ready to work. You know what these other losers? <sighs> Matsuo-san, I can smell the liquor on you. Yeah, you Ichiban is 42. Being sober is mandatory. Please come back when you're ready. Bitch. Like I'll ever come here again. How the hell is he one year younger? I'm telling you, this series, yes, it's... Yes, it's a wonder. I'm ready and able. You left your current residence blank. Because I don't have one right now. But I'm committed to working. And I don't drink, by the way. Well, normally you need an address, but... I think we can make an exception. We get an exception. So, I'm hired? Just write the address of where you grew up. Oh, but... Uh, I don't have an address for that either, actually. Have you always lived on the streets I'd like to refer you to our support center then what's that it's where you can get a checkup and some basic computer skills but wait I don't need all that stuff I just need a job sorry but that's our policy for people with a background like yours please ma'am I'll work really hard I'm sorry that's our policy sir next please Wow. <laughs> Wait, hold on a minute. I need to out of the way. So, did your passion win them over? Shut up. They didn't like me either. For a hobo, when God closes a door, he closes a window while he's at it. <laughs> well, fellas, we tried, right? Any other losers want to go and get a drink? Drown our sorrows? We're not losers. We're gonna try something else. Uh, oh, don't fool yourself. I can tell you're homeless like me. 
This was such a waste of time. I could have been doing something productive. Fishing. Don't get salty yet. I can figure this out. Hey, either of you guys looking for work? Yeah. Tried at the desk. They don't give jobs to the homeless. Tough break. So I assume you're still looking, right? Yep. I think we gotta try to look less unemployable. You don't look so unemployable to me. <laughs> Heck, you're wearing a suit. Yeah, a supu with a bullet <laughs> hole one. on hey, the chest. Thanks for noticing. You're a man of taste. Man of taste. So you guys interested in doing some work tonight? Huh? I'm not the one hiring. But there's this bar on the other side of the Sakura River. It's called the Harbor Light. The mama there needs a job done by a couple of guys tonight. What's the job? Bartending? I don't know what it is, but I know it pays 5,000 yen. Pretty good money, huh? <laughs> yeah, it is. Wanna check it out, Kasuga? Sure. Hey, thanks, old man. Sir, that's not following standard procedure. Hmm? I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. I saw you. That's a violation, you know. Oh, but, you know, not everything is so black and white. I'm just filling a gap in the market. <sighs> you are a loose cannon, Director. Oh boy, okay, so if he's filling a gap in the market, I can only wonder what he's gonna do. <laughs> Don't be such a Karen. <laughs> um. Wait a minute, uh, I'll save here. And uh, oh, my gear is. Oh fuck! Is it gone? Wait. Let's throw down bitches. Not a loser. Oh damn. Thank you for joining. Oh, hi. Bring it on. Cool. Check this out. Come on. Okay. Watch this. I got this. Have fun with this. I need to get my money back. Hungry, hungry, homeless. Double the hunger. Thank you. Oh, now we're talking. Be wise and save. You will be able to deposit money 
Anything stored will be safe and sound even upon being defeated in battle. As the saying goes, he will not economize, will have to agonize. All oh, right, if you lose a battle, I think you lose money as well. Right, you gotta be careful. Uh, I'm gonna get a lettuce sandwich. God, I'm actually. This is gonna make me hungry. Uh, I'll take this. I'll take. Should I take? No, we don't have that high of HP yet. Cup sake. Oh, I'll, I'll take a bit of this. Man, gotta gotta be careful with money, you know. a lettuce sandwich you would be surprised honestly don't you have moments sometimes where you just sit down eat a piece of bread and you think about how amazing this bread tastes even though it's just a bread with nothing I don't know but sometimes I have these moments I eat something by itself something plain and I just appreciate the taste If it's lettuce with cheese, Excuse me. that's perfect for me. You were told about this joint by an old guy hanging around Hello Work? Huh? Hello Work? Oh yeah, that was my doing. Oh, what does she need? Told Kanbei over there to recruit a couple of guards. Hamako-san, don't do things like that without asking me. I'm not made of money. 5,000 yen for a man to risk his <laughs> life is a hell of a deal. I'm just amazed Kanbei found two guys who took it. Hey, wait a second. We never said anything about risking our lives. What is this job exactly? Oh boy. I'll explain everything. Come over here, boys. <sighs> you see all these restaurants on the river? They're all bars, just like ours. We've all been getting hit by thieves for decades now. Burglars? Nope. These thieves don't steal physical items or money. They steal electricity. What? How do they do that? Look over there at those wires. Those aren't public electric. That? The thieves strung those up ages ago. Is one hell of a mess. You know who they are? Man, I've heard about this. Shit. It's the Komi Jewel. Uh, what's the Komi Jewel again? They're one of the Ijin Three, the Korean Mafia. Mm. And didn't you say how they got their name earlier? Yeah, it's not their official name. It's the neighborhood where they're headquartered. Well, it's still kind of hard to say, if you ask me, but I guess I see how they got it. Mm -hmm. They've been jacking our electricity for such a long time. I'm sick of them getting away with it. Each month it costs the bars here tens of thousands of yen. Each and every bar is forced to pick up the tab, and they don't reimburse us. Here's a solution. Can't have Not shit the police. in Yokohama. I mean, it seems obvious. True. Tell the cops exactly who's robbing you. They'd leap at the chance to take down a crime faction. I'm sure she has a good reason for not calling it in. Am I right? Of course. <laughs> Whatever the reason, this kind of stuff is why we have cops. The police wouldn't touch Komichua with a ten-foot pole. The area is too dangerous, even for them. I mean, how dangerous are we really talking? <laughs> you don't come back alive. Dude, it's cheap on. I swear to God, you gotta be exaggerating. I wish I was. Everyone who gets close to their HQ disappears. Everybody, yakuza, police, doesn't matter. Not even the other Ijin gangs are willing to go there now. The place is a graveyard. Okay, well. Do you know anyone in the Komi Jewel? Of course not. Thank goodness. 
Well, then we'll have to find one of them while he's away from HQ. <laughs> they gotta leave sometime. No, you can't tell them apart from civilians. They don't exactly wear freaking pins on their lapels like you Yakuza. There's no way to recognize them. Out of the Aegean Three, they're the most secretive by far. Okay, if there are no other options, then it's back to the original idea. Bro, it's Just go to their HQ. Again, that's suicide. Want another idea? I got one. Cut your power, Grams. I can't do that, and I shouldn't have to. People's livelihoods are at stake. Come on, there's got to be something we can do. Ichiban, let's forget this. Seriously, we don't need money that bad. Hey, crazy idea, but why not just cut the damn cord? Long as you know which one to cut. Don't be an idiot. He's not. I had the exact same idea. I cut their line yesterday. What? Hmm. You got a screw loose lady? I, I didn't like the idea. I tried to stop her. Yeah, I felt bad afterwards. Mama was crying, worrying about how they would retaliate. Oh, we've been arguing about doing it for so long. Yesterday, I strolled on up and yanked it out of there. Just left it lying in the dirt. <laughs> I guess I've hit that age where you stop caring. That's not an excuse. What happens now? Well, that's what I hired you guys to figure out. Uh, you can't be serious. Okay, so you cut the cord yesterday. Anything happened since then? When Mama showed up to open the bar this morning, this was on the floor. Someone threw it through the window. Fix the cable by tonight. So they want you to connect it again. What'll happen if you just don't you think their message might be an empty threat the thing is if it's not we won't know they're attacking until the last moment because we don't know what they look like plus no way is it an empty threat look lady i get how your bar must be very important to you and you don't want to close it but this is insane oh no this isn't even my bar i'm just the bar fly who buzzes around here the most i wanted guards because i'm worried about mama here what? So you don't even have real skin in the game? You should start minding your own business. Which is what I'm gonna do. I'm leaving. Good. Who needs a coward as a guard anyway? Get on out of here if you're gonna cry about it. Fine. Wish I could say it's been nice. Kasuga, let's go. I'm so sorry for all the trouble. Please forgive us. Hey, what are you gonna do for protection? I'll get their power cable hooked back up. Then if they're still angry, I'll offer them money not to bother us. I can take out a loan. What? That's ridiculous. We can't let them do this to you. You be quiet. It's your fault in the first place. Stop. She's right. We can't let them get away with this. What now? Paying off criminals just makes the whole world a worse place. <laughs> he used to be Yakuza. Josh still pays 5,000 yen? Yeah, I knew that's all Mama could afford. I don't have more. It's fine. I'm in. Hold on, man. It's too risky. Beggars can't be choosers, you said. And honestly, I prefer a job where I get to help somebody out. See? Now that's the right attitude. I could tell you were a good guy. Unlike some people. <sighs> you old battle axe. Are you sure about this? Yeah. I always mean what I say. We'll take the job. Wait a damn minute. We? <laughs> you're roping me into this? Look, if you're not in, don't let the door hit you on the way out. This brave man has a job to do. Uh, do you know how obnoxious you are? Fine. I'll do it. Is everybody happy now? <laughs> Good. So it's settled. There you go, Mama. I got you two guards. Now how about rustling up a drink for me? <laughs> They're all set up as creepy as hell. Looks like tentacles. Tentacles. That's what you think of, Ichiban? Why do they need so much electricity anyway? 
I have no idea. Whoa, easy, Tiger. I'm trying to get wasted. Dude, we're risking our lives for a measly 5,000 yen. Chill out, man. We're probably not gonna die. Probably. Probably. <laughs> I'm glad one of us is taking this seriously. It's hitting me for the first time how spooky the Komijo are. Hiding their faces. But then again, they've also stayed hidden in their headquarters <laughs> for freaking decades now. I don't see them coming out to this bar. Not for one power cable. So you think the note was an empty threat? Actually, no. I think he was trying to stop it, Yana. You know people are terrified of him. He even returned the money to the people who bought. Most people would have done whatever was written on that cinder block, no question. Ichiban is just a pure boy like that. must have believed that too. I doubt they actually plan to show up tonight and break kneecaps or something. But what will happen when they check the cable and see that they didn't scare us into doing it? I mean, maybe they'll just throw another brick or whatever. Then what happens after that? We basically decided we're never hooking it back up, right? How long are they gonna let that slide? Well, if that's the logic, what are we still doing here? Let's walk away. Let's just tell these women it was an empty threat and get out of here. I can hear you over there. Damn. She has good ears for an old bat. Quiet. What is it? Oh, you see him? I saw him. There's someone out there. I don't see anyone. I swear I saw. Whoa. What the hell? Oh, popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> You're making us jumpy for no reason, man. Good evening. Is this your first time here? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Namba, that's the guy who was at Hello Work. Sure is. Guess he's here to spend money while he's unemployed. Typical, isn't it? Huh? Yeah! Stop! Nice me to send you. Sus. Leave me the fuck alone! Why'd you attack us? I was hired to! Some guy said they paid me a million yen to wreck that bar! Were they Korean Mafia? They were, weren't they? I don't know! I'd never seen them before! They just came up to me in the park! I, I was drinking and minding my own business, but hey, I wasn't about to turn down an easy mill. And you? Don't even think about getting between me and that money. Bring it on. Yeah. Come on now. That's how you do it. That was quicker than I thought. Uh, uh, holy fuck. What's your name? I saw you in line at Hello Work. I remember what it was. That was it? Yeah, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> What's it to you? Listen, buddy. You didn't really think they'd give you a million yen, did you? Just for trash in a place? You think they were scamming me? Do you expect anything else from the Korean Mafia? You do know that's who hired you, right? <laughs> yeah? Makes you say that? They're the only ones who would want that bar messed up in the first place. Look, we're trying to help you. There's no way in hell they're gonna pay a million to some drunk bum. <laughs> like you're an expert. Hey, what did he look like? The guy who asked you to do this. Did you see his face? Uh, I don't know. Can't remember. Come on, we're not fucking around. Cut it out, Namba. If you really want to know, ask the bitch. 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 <laughs> 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 
Wait! Ichiban, don't chase him. Stop. They'll kill you if you go on their turf. Did you see that? He was smiling. <laughs> yeah. I'm starting to think he wasn't hired by the Komi Jewel. No way. He was a member. Oh, shit. This is going from bad to worse. I'm still stuck on the bitch thing. <laughs> you think there's a woman in the Komi Jewel? How would I know? Oh! You know, you can't bitch these days. <laughs> true, not but true. Can't hey, argue with that. Look. Oh, shit. Damn, how many crossbows is that? Three? Wait a minute. Oh no, don't tell me this is happening. Fuck, hold on. Yakuza, don't do this to me. Hold on. Yep, looks like we're gonna have to redo this. Hold up. Oh! Oh! Damn! Okay, okay, jeez! Run! We're sitting ducks. What are we gonna do? Okay. It's all or nothing. I'm glad I waited. <sighs> you and I both know is a huge pain in the ass. Would you stop? By the way, you know your little power cable? We cut it because it was like tying a noose around that poor bar's neck. If you hang him with it and they close down, you won't be getting that power anyway. So you need to give it up. You're the one who needs to give up. Look, you guys are real ass mafia, right? You shouldn't be doing small time shit like stealing electricity. So cut it out. Fine. I don't care anymore. <laughs> You're dead. Ichiban about to pull off that hundred speech. Are you satisfied? Damn. What? No way. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Thanks, guys. <laughs> hey, we're good here. Come on. Is this guy for real? <laughs> I say he earned that uh, right to be giddy for a bit. I mean, they it, it did work. That persuasion check, it, it worked. <laughs> Welcome back. Hmm? <laughs> Guess they didn't want to mess with our hired guns. They <laughs> saved me. Oh yeah, I mean, I guess it's taken Hold care on. of. Hold on. Why do you two think it's all settled? That's a good question, I was just gonna ask. You think Ichi's got nerves to steal like Kiryu, or maybe he's just too slow to react? Unlike Kiryu, I think Ichiban has a side of recklessness to him that Kiryu doesn't really have. I mean, sure, Kiryu can get emotional sometimes and barge into things, but not nearly as much as Ichiban. I would say. The man who was just huh? here? Well, but early, just leave the cable how it is. Oh. Mm. You did it, Ichiban? Was Matsu really part of the Kamijo, though? 
<laughs> Who cares? It's the problem solved. I did it all enough. It was nothing special. Just did what you hired me to do. Look at you, serving some humble pie. Oh, no. Here's what I owe you. Huh? Oh, 5,000 total. Oh, uh, not that. Okay. Yeah. I should get me more, but uh, I still owe Hamako some money, too. What's up? Just because we're homeless doesn't mean you can skimp this hard on us. We risk our lives to cool it, number. We help them. That's good enough. My life's only worth two thousand five hundred yen. Huh? <laughs> That's enough. But let me give you some more work. If you come work at my place tomorrow, I'll give you five thousand. We call the even. So, you run a bar too? How much? I don't song? think so. Uh. -huh. Small row of restaurants on okay. the okay. <laughs> Small restaurants on sound tasty. To clean one of them, and I won't accept anything less than sparkling. Got it. Got it. Okay. Should I ask, what are your names? Okay. Now I'm uh... Oh, um, Kasuga. You got a first name? Okay. Ichiban. Ichiban Kasuka. I swear it's not fake. <laughs> that doesn't sound very convincing, man. I hope you know. <laughs> it's a nice name. Wear it proudly. Thank you. Ooh, obtain silver, save skeleton key. This key will allow you to open all the say silver safes scattered. Ooh. Skeleton key though, straight out of Skyrim. Um. You can eat and drink at establishments, uh, experience points, certain combinations. Will not experience, so don't be afraid. Okay. Okay, so we're going back to the homeless place. Um, Piping hot. Oh, thank you, lady. Wait. Okay. Well, thank you. Golden moth. Okay. Color on this little guy. It's all gold, like pirate treasure. That is super rare too. I wish I could show him off to someone. Did I save? I need to save after what happened. Okay, so one, two, uh, okay. Okay. Approximate playtime. Good question. I guess it depends on how much you do uh, when you play through the game. I I don't think I can hey. give a good estimate, honestly. <laughs> Walks past the fridge and regains health. <laughs> okay. 
Moshi Moshi. Oh, you're here. Morning, ma'am. Get up. We're closing for a few hours. Is there any side quests? Yes. These games always have them. Hey, tell I can't remember how many side quests there are in this game, but there are some really great ones. Like, there is one that is basically a parody on Jason uh, from, you know, uh, Friday the 13th. And uh, that's like the one that comes at the top of my head right now. That is, uh, that could be of interest to someone who hasn't played the game. Up there to leave. And, uh... What time is it? Let me sleep a bit more, how much Jason, time. yeah. That's it. Having the plates clean! I need everyone out till tonight! Now it needs how to see it. How many customers did you get yesterday? I don't know, at least five. Where were you? I'm exhausted. Small restaurant. Small restaurant, right. <laughs> they cater to a very specific appetite. Time to clean up. Damn, it's too damn to even dust this thing. Hey, Chibon. <laughs> oh, no. Can you deal with these tissues? You do it. It's your job. Bodily fluids really aren't my thing. Cut me some slack. Why would you think they would be Ichiban's thing, dude? You want to get paid or not? Would you rather say broke and homeless? <laughs> no, but it doesn't mean I don't have standards. <sighs> don't be a diva. Oh, it's Fleet Japan. Constitution's got to go! Get out of Ichicho! Attention, all Riverside business owners! This is Sota Kume, president of Bleach Japan Yokohama <laughs> chapter! Bleach Japan! Constitution's got to go! Get out of Eiji Cho! Attention, all Riverside business owners! This is Sota Kume, president of Bleach Japan. What's all the racket? Oh, you don't know them? It's Bleach Japan. Constitution's got to go! Leave now! Get out of Eiji Cho! Yeah! What's Bleach Japan? Well, you heard you kinda got an idea from it's that if you group. What you'd call an NPO. Been around 15 years. Their slogan is bleaching the gray zones white. You know how some things fall into the gray area, neither black nor white? Like things that are technically illegal. There's not so much people for the protest. True. Crimes. They don't like that. They want to crack down on all crime, whether it hurts someone or not. They want to bleach the gray so that it's white. This town is just full of metaphors, huh? <laughs> the group's active all over the country now. Makes sense, considering their founder is Ryo Aoki. And that is... Uh, he's the governor of Tokyo? Oh, the one that was cleaning up the city with that, uh, Comrocho 3K plan. Oh, you actually got one right. Well, that plan made Alki real popular. The media adored him before he was governor. But they love him even more now. He resigned from Bleach Japan when he went into politics. But he still sings their praises. The young voters eat it up. Oh, later on. Okay, but... Why are they protesting right outside this building? This establishment here is registered as a restaurant. But you won't find a speck of food on the second floor. If you're lucky, a waitress might bring you some tea. Of course, you don't pay for that tea. You pay for something else. Let's just call it what it is. A brothel. Everybody in this neighborhood knows it. This is crime, pure and simple, happening right out in the open for decades now. The women who work...
orcs here have been brainwashed. They don't realize what they're getting into. And once they're in, they can't get out. We demand an end to this human tragedy. We demand it! Uh, unico Unicorn Uni. Thank you for joining the member fam. Uh, I hope you enjoy your stay. Oh, shut up, you whiners. These women are just working hard at their jobs. So working hard excuses a crime? You could learn from them. What right do you have to tell anyone how to live? And why be so dishonest? Registering yourselves as a restaurant. I'll tell you why. It's because the truth is so terrible. So this organization is no, literally It's because grown-ups do things they don't want. Not my Christian protect. server, yeah. The only people you're protecting are your loan officer and your debt collectors. You ass. You ever consider why a woman might do this job? Because they have needs. Some are caring for their parents. Some have little kids. This is a way for them to support their families. <sighs> Did you hear that? Not only are they criminals, they're raising children. How can those children turn out normal? At best, they'll grow up hating their completely unfit parents. They are good parents. They keep their children happy and healthy. And that's what truly matters. Show me one, then. Show me a child who's happy being raised by a whore! You aren't even trying to understand. <laughs> You're just Jeez. being an asshole. <laughs> Leave us alone! There aren't any happy kids like that, are there? No child wants a prostitute for a mother. I never minded it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> well, how about that? You all came here because you want to get rid of the trash. I got that right? Well, here it is. Get ready to catch. Oh, wait, hold on. Wouldn't that be the... Take this! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he scared them away. <laughs> Not bad, Ichiban. Oh, he's not gonna do- oh, there it is, yeah. There we go. <laughs> is there a way to keep Japanese voices? Yeah, you can choose between English and Japanese. It's been two or three years since League Japan started protesting in Asian show. <sighs> now they're marching around almost every week. A lot of places are shut down thanks to them. Wow. But you're holding up for all the girls you got there, right? Most of them don't have Japanese citizenship. They're children or grandchildren of illegal immigrants. Damn. <clears throat> if I shut down, where would they go? Uh. They will be falling some leeches that skim off most of their earnings. <laughs> what can I do? Oh, I do what I can to protect them. Sup? Think you can keep it up? Who knows? I own the place, but I'm just leashing the land. If the owner told me to leave, that would be the end of it. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, this fucker. Well, I hope we get True. to beat his face in now. We'll do the number on us this afternoon. We're still out protesting at this hour. Do you even have a permit? No, this isn't a protest. Believe Japan helps the downtrodden end the week, too. <laughs> Sometimes that means giving people like these guys our support. They were just hanging around the burger joint in front of the station. They've lived on cheap processed food their whole lives. They don't even know what a good meal tastes like. And that can stunt your growth. So we're trying to give them an opportunity here. Tonight, Bleed Japan will cover the oh, yeah. What are you getting at? Oh, I thought I'd take these boys to feast on some high-class cooking from this fine establishment. <sighs> so that's your angle? Uh. Hmm. Yo. Hold up, what's the point of taking him somewhere with no food? That's exactly what he wants to hear. Right. Her permit says that she has a restaurant, but... <laughs> stale crackers, 10,000 yen each. Eat up. <laughs> <laughs> Not a fan of crackers, have some cookies. They're a little moldy though. <laughs> I 
I wouldn't eat it, it, but I think it's appropriate for the occasion. Oi. Hey, you take us for fools? Hold on. Calm down, fellas. We're perfectly allowed to be dissatisfied customers. Yeah, I get us some real food. Hey. Oh, shut up. Stop complaining and get out of here. Soka. Oh, I see. You're planning to... You're saying this place doesn't serve... have anything to eat. Right. Hmm. <laughs> you're gonna pretend that wasn't your goal from the start? That sob story was thin as paper. Wait, what? What? <laughs> oh, hey. The old guy is getting violent with us. Wow, okay. Self-defense. Okay, that works for me. I get an excuse to beat you. Alright. Have fun with this. Watch this. <laughs> he was the first to go down too. Oh, I want to spice things up a bit. So, I'm not gonna finish that guy off with number. What I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna heal with a power nap. And now, I'm gonna make this a bit flashy. This move gets better the more people you get in the party. I feel the stats going up. <laughs> Headbutt barrage. Oh, Hell yeah. yeah. Pyro belch. Man sleeping in the middle of a fight. Hell yeah. Uh, how can an old guy be so strong? Uh, whatever. I'll see you around, Grandpa. <laughs> You kids have a lot of spunk. Why don't you use it to help your parents for once? <laughs> I never thought Bleach Japan would resort to this type of thing. Bunch of dreamers. They really think they can bleach the gray zones? Come on. <laughs> Grandpappy number two. Like they've got some noble well, but all they really want the guy in the red suit, Ichiban, is well, 42, it. so. But and the guy next to him is 41. Whatever happened to good So, neighbors. I'll leave it up to your judgment. Yeah, well... It's pretty late now. Let's go home. Sure. Sorry you had to rescue me twice. Don't sweat it. Call us if you need cleaners again. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Oh. Mm -hmm. To are homeless, right? Yeah. We about to get a home. Well, here's a proposition. What if you just lived here, in one of the rooms upstairs? What? Huh? Really? I mean, that'd be a huge help. And then we can Do have jobs. Have a room to spare? Don't the girls need them to work in? <laughs> well, I'm not making the offer out of complete selflessness. Hmm. Well... I'll still take the chance, I guess. Is this the cutscene where they do a belly flop? Oh wait, no, not yet. Oh, they're packing, I guess? If you live here, you get something called a right of residence, which would benefit me. What's a right of residence? You 
means that you can legally assert that you have the right to live somewhere. I don't get it. How would that benefit you? Well, I live in a different building. This is my business, but since I don't live here, I don't get that right of residence. Oh, I think I get it. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm leasing this building, you see? And if Bleach Japan really wants to get us evicted, they might pressure the owner of the property. Wouldn't put it past them. But if someone here has right of residence, we can fight back. Once you have that right, the owner can't just evict you for no reason. Oh, so us living in the place would be a line of defense for you. Exactly. You get it. Big brain it sounds like a great deal. But you don't mind a couple buns living here? Well, you two are really my only choice of renters. The women who work here aren't citizens. So I can't enter into a lease contract with them. But boys, that's not the only reason I'm making this offer. I'm impressed with what you two did. Sounds good to me. I don't mind being your live-in security guard. Oh, wonderful. Just promise you won't break the lease. I want your eyes on my shop for a long time. Till Bleach Japan finds someone else to buy. You got it. Thanks a lot. Yes! yes! There we go. <sighs> look, Ichiban. A roof. A real <laughs> roof. Yeah, look, man. It's freaking amazing. This is our castle. <laughs> a roof, four walls. Uh, and a soft throne. We did it, boys. We got a home. Actually, this throne's kind of damp. Nothing wrong with that, is there? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not water. Oh. Well, just think of all the history you're sleeping with every time you drift off on that mat. Always a silver lining with you, isn't there? And again, <laughs> I guess that's how you got us here in the first place. Okay. Mm. Thank you. Ichiban. Come on. I should be the one thanking you. I'd be dead and rotting in a trash can if you didn't save me. <laughs> hey, why'd you quit nursing anyway? <laughs> I don't know. You must have been good if you saved me. Truth is, I was smuggling drugs out of the hospital and selling them money was pretty good. Eventually, I expanded to dealing drugs from overseas. But I got too big. And it all came crashing down. I lost my nursing license, if that wasn't obvious enough. Yeah, he was a nurse. Yeah, man. What were you thinking? Kind of a boneheaded move. What? You don't think I regret it? Okay, well, why not start over? The whole nurse thing is probably out, but you can apply your medical skills to something else. Easier said than done. What about you? You got another job in mind? Uh, uh, not really. I've been walking in someone else's footsteps for years, and now they're washed away. I don't know where to go now that I can't see them. I'm pretty lost. You talking about your patriarch? Yeah. Watching this on the way to school. Oh, good luck surviving at school. Thank you for dropping by. What makes you so sure? I'm over 40, you know? <laughs> Weren't you the one just telling me I could turn it all around and find something? Yeah, my bad. Sorry. <sighs> Look at those stains. Life is work. Hey, tell me this. What'd you want to be when you were a kid? Uh, oh. <laughs> you really want to know? The inner <laughs> child is going to come out. Spit it out. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you. You wanted to be a hero. When I was a kid, all I wanted to be was a hero. Huh? A hero? What do you mean? You know, a hero who could save people. Like in Dragon Quest. <laughs> the video game? 
<laughs> How would you do that? <laughs> Dude, come on. <laughs> Don't laugh at him. Don't bully. What? I can have a dream, can I? You don't have to laugh at it. A dream is what keeps you going. For me, anyway. Ichiban, you're right. Uh, I am? Yeah, so I see you do it. Become a hero. Just like you wanted. Come on, I was just a dumb kid when I wanted that. It was silly. It's not like you got any other goals right now. So why not go after the first one you had? Live your life's dream. You're crazy. It's not like being a hero puts a roof over your head. Sure, it's not a job. But if the hero destroys lots of slimes in the game, he levels up fast, right? You see what I'm saying? Leveling up in life. That could work. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Why not become a hero at 40, right? It ain't the best age to start grinding, but... <laughs> All right, then. I'm ready to level up. Let's start a brand new age of heroes! Yeah, I'm with you, Ichiban. Let's have a toast to our new era in our new home! Yeah, to the heroes of tomorrow! Cheers! First step. Oh! What are they drinking? I think it's uh, sake. Please! Let me go! I swear! I'll tear that fucking bar down! Look! I know I messed up! I, I don't even want the money anymore! J just give me another chance! How about this? I could kill the two guys who got in the way! I already know how to do it! Oh, you'd like that, yeah? You want them dead, don't you? Bro, he dies within like three yeah, seconds. I'm not gonna do that. Oh. Oh, wait. I didn't catch that. Yeah, me neither. I should have known not to rely on trash like you. Damn. Oh, okay, that was a chapter finished. Uh, we didn't have a boss, right? I, I don't think we did. So I'm gonna save here, I think. Wait a minute, I just noticed it says... I used to be an Arakawa loyalist, and then I became a deadbeat. <laughs> okay. Alright. Alright. Uh, okay, I... I guess I'm gonna save on this. Right. I'm surprised they put the romanization. Yeah. That was something. Oh, I think this is the scene where a certain someone joins us. Metal Gear Make time. Make sure you stash some of that cash, okay? Thank okay. you. Have a See you tonight. <laughs> it's me! It's me. Uh, uh, Dachi son. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoa, who's there? <laughs> Man. 
you get an intruder and the first thing you do is look for your glasses. So, you actually know this guy? Yeah, he used to be a Kanagawa police detective. Detective? Yep. And I went to work for the driver's license center. How in the world did you find me? I figured you didn't make it out of that building alive. Oh, I was fine. I, well, not completely. I uh, lost my job. Let's go. What? Unemployed gang. And I was just a few months shy of securing the maximum pension payment. Well, that stinks. Also, does that mean you found this place all on your own? <laughs> Remember how I gave you that smartphone? Yeah. Hey, G. I wish you would have yeah, still going. Before you just showed up. Well, I did, but your phone was dead. Well, I uh, guess when a guy gets shot and left for dead, charging his phone isn't exactly priority one. Yeah, I can't say I cared much about the phone. Sure, I get it. But when it's completely dead, I can't track <laughs> you. Track me? With GPS? Oh, right. <laughs> I guess you wouldn't know what that is. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Smartphones have a system that pinpoints the phone's location. That's GPS. You can put apps on a phone to send its coordinates elsewhere. That's what this guy did. Get it? Uh... Kind of? No, you don't. <laughs> you know, you never said why you got fired. Oh, a whole sheet of charges. Opinion on other she's dead? Assault? It sounds alright. But what I didn't like so far is his singing. It's not really that good. Was any of that my fault? Of course it was. How did it happen? Are you aware that Kasuga was shot in Kamurocho? Yeah. Sad story. Sad story, he says. Did he mention was at a meeting of Omi Alliance officers who were in bed with Tokyo PD? I was the one who snuck Kasuga into that meeting. Well, Tokyo PD had some choice words about that. Absolutely disgraceful, two of them. Kanagawa police agreed. They gave me the axe and themselves a nice pat on the back. <laughs> I'm sorry, Adachi-san. No, I didn't do English karaoke yet, actually. Up to me by helping me out again. I haven't given up on nailing the commissioner. Who's that? He means the police commissioner. Important guy. Why him? He took bribes from the Omi Alliance while they took over Kamurocho. I'm sure he did. But I still need proof. Okay. And how's Ichiban supposed to help with that? By getting me closer to Arakawa. The only person I know of with ties to the commissioner. Kasuga used to be one of his boys. At least, until the man put a bullet in his chest. Doesn't show how long I'm streaming. Well, now that you bring it up, let me take a look. We are 13 minutes away from this being a six hour stream. Not up until. <laughs> I still am. You need more self respect. Why do you care so much about exposing the commissioner's corruption? Well, it's not out of the goodness of my heart, it's revenge I'm after. Revenge? That story started 20 years ago. A rich old couple had been murdered during a home invasion. The suspect was a neighbor with priors, a guy named Kasumi. I made the arrest myself. Before the trial, a witness claimed to have seen Kasumi in a different place at the time of the murder. I interviewed the witness, and the alibi checked out. My clerk was innocent. Huh. What'd you do? I reported it to HQ, of course. Kasumi needed to be released immediately. I take it he wasn't, though? Well, all of us detectives and officers knew the alibi was pretty much airtight. But the captains were skeptical. They questioned the witness over and over, and they were relentless. Finally, he said he wasn't actually sure he'd seen the suspect after all. Why'd he backtrack like that? He was coerced chief of Kanagawa police, Juro Horinouchi. That's who the commissioner is. But what was Horinouchi's reason? 
Well, by that time, he'd been offered a transfer to Tokyo Police. The last thing he wanted was a big scandal. Which is what it would have been if Kusumi, who'd been jailed for months, turned out to be innocent. That reveal would have put his Tokyo PD offer at stake. He couldn't have that. So, he resorted to witness intimidation. Man, what the hell? Well, he tried to justify it to us. Said if the guy really was innocent, there'd be other evidence of that. But there wasn't. And in the end, Kasumi was convicted. And sentenced to 17 years. His wife and child were still reeling from it. But he hung himself in prison. Where was Hori Nouchi when that happened? In his cushy new Tokyo PD position, played dumb. <laughs> Makes me sick. Kanagawa's had this problem for a while. Too many cops in the EG and Three's pockets. They're always teetering on the edge of scandal. So everybody who can is always trying to get transferred. Especially the high ups Rats. Leaving a sinking ship. And some were willing to convict an innocent man to save their careers? That's fucked up. I felt the same way when I was a young rookie. So I leaked the original alibi to the media. Whoa. Yeah, but unfortunately, Hori Noruchi wasn't as clueless as most bureaucrats are. He found out about the leak immediately through his buddies in the public security division. The info I gave them never saw the light of day. And next thing you know, I'm stamping driver's licenses. Not sure why I was transferred instead of fired. Hori Noruchi must have figured he was safe. And now he's the police commissioner. Can't look at the dirty I'm socks. A smarter guy, I just forget the whole damn thing. But when I get to the pearly gates, I want to be able to look Kasumi in the eyes. Wow, you boys are talkative. What are you yakking on about? Good morning, Hamako-san. Uh, this guy's a former Kanagawa... Don't good morning me. It's already 10 o'clock. You're all supposed to be at Hello Work looking for jobs, not lazing around here. Oh shit, that's right. If we don't get there fast, all the good jobs will be gone. Time to go get a job. Sorry, we gotta go find some work. <laughs> I'll go with you. Huh? Get your what? asses up, get a job. Broke as you now. Broke? <laughs> don't you have savings? After working all those years? Nah, I didn't save it yet. I thought I'd have my sweet ass retirement pension. Never was much of a saver, honestly. I can relate to this guy. Yeah, the pension was all I had. It's gone now. <laughs> Shit. You spent it all. They let someone so irresponsible issue driver's licenses. Yeah, that's an important hey, gang. Part of it is just bad luck. It's not my fault booze and women are expensive hobbies. Come on. Let's get over to Hello Work already. Uh, this is on PC. Welcome back, Adachi. Kasuga's job changed from deadbeat to freelancer. <laughs> Alright. Adachi's... wait. No. Uh, professional great defense against rage, fear, and sleep. So, whereas Namba is Im immune to poison and... Ice, I think. Adachi is immune to rage, fear, and sleep. That is actually amazing. I like it. Uh, okay. You know what? This calls for a picture with the boys. Uh... There we go. Alright. Smile. Wait. Ooh, 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 ooh. Perfect. Yes, yes. Pose. There we go. Alright. Wonderful. Uh, let me... Oh, there we go. A commemorative photo with the boys. Nice. I'll treasure this picture. Are they using Snow App? I don't know what Snow App is, but I think so. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, it's time to get the hero job now, I think. Oh, this is gonna be epic. Hmm? Hey, what's that thing? 
<laughs> it's time to become the second coming of Thor. I think it's a bad. Why the hell would there be a bat stuck in the ground? <laughs> Who knows? Probably some kind of lame prank. I'll just. What's up? Hey, what are you doing? Isn't it obvious? I'm trying to pull the stand bat out. I bet if we pawned it, we could get a few hundred yen. No dice. Damn. Yeah, it's really stuck in there. <laughs> I thought you saw you're strong. Give it a shot. Listen. Sure, let me add it. <laughs> Tired of this shit! Damn, it won't budge. Must be pretty wedged in there if my guns can't do it. You two are pathetic, I'll show you how it's done. Right, where it flex it, you bum. <laughs> oh, this guy. <laughs> Woohoo! I'm the man! Really? Damn. Credit where it's due, I guess. But what, what did you do differently than what I did? <laughs> I bet only the chosen hero could pull it out. <laughs> oh, of course. I forgot where we have a hero in our midst. A hero? Him? You know how in RPGs there's always some holy sword only the hero can pick up? Kasuke here has been on a quest to become a hero since he was a kid. Uh huh. I mean, kinda. Oh, well, that dirty old bat isn't exactly a holy sword. Leave it to reality to crush the fantasy. <laughs> the holy sword of the hero. Ha! <laughs> I will be the savior of this world. <laughs> That's the spirit, Ichiban. You actually look the part. Hey. If you knuckleheads are done role playing, shall we go find some damn jobs? <laughs> yes, Sadachi, we may. Oh boy. No. Dad Hunter? You guys having a good time? Well, sorry, but we're dad hunters, so make this simple and fork over all your cash. We don't actually have any. Three middle-aged dudes and no cash? Yeah, right. You'll need to lie better than that, you old bastards. Damn, the truth really hurts when punks call you out on it. What's up? Hey, Mr. Hero, feel like using that holy sword to smite some monsters? <laughs> Good idea. Come on. Whoa. What just happened? What just happened? Did you see those guys freaking transform? Huh? <laughs> what are you raving about? Uh, you know this isn't a video game, right? Come back to Earth. Hmm. No one else sees this? Well, whatever. <laughs> At least it's more fun for me. Cool. Let's go. Make a swing. Get serious. <laughs> Woo! Let's go. Okay. Uh, reckless charge. Let's go. Whoop. Damn. All right. Okay. Check this out. Okay. Come on. Oh, fire bell. Let's go. <sighs> Fucking hell. What's even the point of shaking down guys as broke as us? <laughs> For real though, neither of you saw them transform? Not even a little bit? Huh? I, I swear they freaking transformed! 
Your imagination is officially off the rails. <laughs> it seems so real. Uh, how could it just be imagination? I mean, as long as we win, I don't care how delusional you are. You know, I think it's just all that hero talk of yours. It makes you see trolls and golems everywhere. You think I'm crazy, don't you? Well, as far as I'm concerned, it takes a certain kind of crazy to want to be a hero anyway. Hell, I don't care if you wear chainmail around town. If you feel like it'll give you some oomph in a fight, <laughs> maybe I will. <laughs> All right, fellow adventurers, our great journey has begun. Kasuga's job changed to hero. Enemies throughout the city will change their appearance according to Kasuga's wild imagination. Oh sure, Mr. I'll Hero. take it. Lead on to the bountiful coffers of Hello Work. Yeah, this party is sorely lacking in coin. Pretty soon we won't be able to afford any booze. I mean, uh, <laughs> that medicinal herbs. Right, yeah. herbs. Need to grind for some cash, huh? Just like in Dragon Quest. Life really is an RPG when you think about it. Oh man, what an exchange. Uh... Right, so we have a side quest over there. And, uh, oh, there's actually three of them. Oh, and there's more away. Wait, why am I coming here? Karaoke? Okay, okay. I think we can't go there yet. We're gonna have to unlock it uh, as we progress with the story. Can't explore other parts of the city yet. Uh, I think... Yeah, it gradually unlocks, especially since the further you go away, the stronger the enemies are going to be. See the uh, thing on the top right? Threat level. So you gotta watch out. Let's go! Let's go! Watch the Cool! Nice. Waiting for next up. So itchy. Alright. Uh, time to apply. Oh, right. We gotta fight these. Oi. <sighs> Another day of no work. Hey! Poor bike, dude. So I might have taken the cake, but a lot of these people are pretty rough around the edges. Okay. Hmm. Isn't that other chi? Oh, huh. Ah, <sighs> funny guys. Can't say I remember them. We ruined our lives. Did I? I take it I arrested you at one point. Yokohama Pink Panthers? A Jincho's top bir What? Is that the best name you could find? 20 years criminal records. Hold on! You're a cop, bro. Hey. my job at the station obviously you quit that means you can't arrest us anymore right <laughs> right <sighs> let's go then reckless men oh damn look at that transformation out of battle cannot be selected left trigger to turn out of battle 
Okay. Have fun with this. Pro pickpocket. Soup. He stole it. Have fun with this. Give me back my soup, please. Cool. Okay. Check this out. Wow, this Mike. is gonna be. Oh, there we go. Nice. Get alive. Let's go. Yes. All right, I got my soup back. I feel the stats going up. <laughs> Moving up in the world. Look at me go. Heavy beat down. Nice. Tame you. We'll get you back for this. Right. We'll see. Yep. Talk about taking it personally. Ancient history. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> I'll take as many as they can throw at me. Well, hello, work awaits. Let's go. Right, I think there's a save right when you enter this place. So if you play the game, be on the lookout for it right over here. Should I open it? Yes. Sweet. Rugged cane. I can use this key to open up the safes. I should probably keep an eye out for these safes if I find any more keys. Right, I think that's a weapon for Namba if memory is not failing me. Yeah, look at that. Um, damn, that's a pretty good upgrade. <laughs> Waiting in line. Next, number 68. Yes. Yeah. The name's Ichiban Kasuga, 42 years old. I'm strong, I got a home, and I need a job. <laughs> Help a guy out. Alright, tone it down. No need for the theatrics. Huh? Weren't you the janitor? Yo. Oh, aren't you that homeless guy I sent over to the bar for a side gig? So you've got a roof over your head now, huh? Thanks. Oh, thanks to the job you helped us get. Glad to hear it. So why are you on that side now? What do you mean? This is my job. Huh? Director? Oh... You're the director of this place? Director? Hey. Oh, you made some friends? Yeah, my party's got three people in it now. <laughs> party, huh? Play games, Kasukaku? Yeah, I'm a big Dragon Quest fan. Dragon Quest, that's a good one. I play it myself. Nice, job secured. Uh, for the hero in this retinue. I made an exception last time, I was trying to see if a couple homeless guys could stand on their own feet. And now that we're doing this legitimately, I have to follow the rules. Mm -hmm. What rules? The golden rule, I can only assign you jobs that you're qualified for. Even in Dragon Quest, some jobs are locked until the character reaches a certain level or skill, right? Think of it like that. Life is just a big RPG when you get down to it. Man, this old dude knows his stuff. Um... Mm. An ex-con, a bum, and a fired cop. <laughs> oh, here's the best I can do for you right now. A special bathhouse. Oh, so so planned. Hey. Hold on, maybe that's the best you can get these two, but I've got years of service to lean on. According to your documentation, have you never been married? What's that got to do with anything? You're telling me you got, you've got gone this long 
as a lonely single man without resorting to paying for it, this seems right up your alley. Huh? How dare you? I mean, it's not even that illegal. Damn. Don't think this bad house gig is gonna be a walk in the park. The owner there is a little eccentric and it's totally up to him if he takes you on board. Good luck. Hey. Okay, let's go nail this interview. Okay. Wait. Oh, we can't interact with them yet. Right, let me save first of all. Uh, uh. Right. <coughs> okay. So. We are about. Uh, at that time, we're gonna take a break, a short break of 10 minutes, and I'm gonna see you guys um, afterwards. We'll continue, I think. I'll be back in a bit. Uh, there we go. Wait, no. <laughs> okay, there we go.
Okay, we should be back. Alright, the first thing I want to say after coming back is... I appreciate every one of you being here, and especially for those who are still here from the beginning. Uh, hold on, let me crack open this gold one. Okay. There we go. Right. So, thank you all for being here. I just want to say that. And, I don't know. I <laughs> to be honest, I'm kind of thinking of ending the stream, because I know some of you are staying past their bedtimes. And I kind of feel bad about that, but... I don't know, man. This game is just good. Uh, wait. What are you drinking? Uh, it's ginger ale, I guess. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. I don't know if any of you know this brand, but... But yeah, that's it. Uh, this is not really my go-to drink, but I wanted to get something new, so I got this. <laughs> okay. When would you continue? Probably when I wake up, but hey, I guess it's too late to back down now, because I actually put in an order for some food as well, so we might be staying for a while. I don't know. I think we need to go to that bathhouse or whatever, right? Or something like that. Oh! Oh, that place. Having fun watching. Oh, thank you. Rare flavor here. Yeah, I don't drink ginger ale often, but I think the one one time that I tried this before, I liked it. Opinion on George Take as Masami Arakawa. I'm indifferent to be honest. I've never really been a fan of. Oh shit. I've never been. A particular fan of uh, uh, Take. Jeez, the hell's up with this guy? <sighs> Just another crazy off the streets. Nothing out of the ordinary. Okay, guys, let's do this. <laughs> Roger. Oh, this music. I didn't expect to hear this track against this guy. I love it. Degenerate. Well, that's not very nice. Well, yeah, you know what, what wasn't nice either? Him flexing his boxers on us in public. I do not appreciate that, mister. Wait, let me be down. Damn. <laughs> I thought she was silenced? What? Resisted. Boom. <laughs> oh, awakening dragon. Nice. I'll take it. What does silencing do? I don't know. I'm assuming it's. It probably prevents you using from your. Uh, what was this problem? Using your skills. I swear. That's my assumption. Sometimes this city gets uglier and uglier every step. Uh, you'll get used to it. Really, rather not. <laughs> uh, looks like we've got ourselves quite the specimen. Huh? I knew I'd run into an unclassified sooner or later. Now let's see what data you're hiding. <laughs> Scientific name. What should that be? Hmm. Turncoat titillator should do it. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Huh? 
Oh, sorry. I've been tracking a rare specimen around here, and I might have gotten a little carried away. You're what? Some kind of research? Uh, what do you think of Taki's yes, voice performance? I think it's pretty good so far. But most people call me the Sujiman Sensei. Sujiman Suji Suji Sensei? What is that exactly? <laughs> I get your interest. By the way, is it just me, or does this guy sound like Nazim from Skyrim? I could be wrong. I, I, I think I posted about that on Twitter, but someone told me it's not Nazim, so it's I don't know. By my lab. I can explain more there. And as thanks for helping me subdue that specimen, I'll make you some tea or snacks or whatever you like. That sounds great. Hey, Ichiban, let's go. Free food. Oh, no. Doesn't he seem a little sketchy to you? You won't make it in this city if you bite the hand that feeds you. Besides, I take free over sketchy every day. Now let's get a move on. <sighs> Fine. This place I call the Sujiman Center, it's a fully functional research lab. Mm -hmm. You mean you're fully random officer? Anyway, you came here to <laughs> learn about Sujiman, did you? Allow me to explain. Sujiman are monsters of men that make you super jittery, but super jittery men didn't have much of a ring to it. Hence, Sujiman. Uh -huh. Okay, sure, it's a stretch, but all you need to know is that they're the definition of bad. Society needed a concept for men that give you the creeps and attack without warning, and that's a Sujiman. Then you're going around collecting their data. Why? I do it for the sake of world peace. World peace? Uh -huh. Think about it. This planet teams with all manner of degenerates and criminals. Just take a look around you. Now tell me, how many bad guys are out there wandering around? And how are they classified? Can you give me an answer? Um, not when you put it that way. Indeed. The world of peace. People ask themselves, what kind of bad guys are out there? How can I identify them? And they're generally left to wonder. And because they're left wondering, they go up to one of these bad guys out of sheer curiosity and often end up paying the ultimate price. That's why I'm recording who these monsters are and where they make their habitat. Mm, okay. By doing so, I can lessen their impact on society by keeping people out of harm's way. That makes sense. Guess it takes a sketchy scientist to research sketchy people. But what made you decide to do this in the first place? Let's just say I had a rough past. The takeaway here is that I'm contributing to a peaceful world, and I take that very seriously. I'll see you so later, Mr. Devil. How much data have you collected so far? The thing is, every time I run into a bad guy, they always rush over to beat me down before I can gather data. You might say that's hampered progress. Yeah, but that would. I'm at my limit here. If only I could find an honest, maybe even slightly reckless guy who wouldn't shy away from Oh boy, boy. I wonder where he's gonna find that person that he's looking for. Hmm. Well, hope you find your guy. Let's roll, Namba. Come on, hear me out for a minute. Hmm. What? Don't tell me you want us to collect a bunch of weirdo data. <laughs> you hit the nail on the head, buddy. Now, I'm not asking you to go fight everyone you see. Right. All I need is a little battle data whenever a battle does happen. Besides, I imagine two tough guys like yourselves get into brawls fairly regularly. Two? Yes. So, I was thinking, why not gather data while you're at it? Easier said than done. Perhaps. But a comprehensive Sujiman encyclopedia is what this world needs. How about I throw in some completion rewards? Oh, now I see those ears perk up. You hear that? Stuart Ichiban. I guess I do like completion rewards. Fine, we'll do it. 
This really does help society. I guess we all reap the benefits. Exactly. Glad you understand. Let's hop to it then. So, how do we go about recording your data anyway? Ah, that's simple. This custom application I made does all the work. Hmm, <laughs> nice. Oh, I thought you left the part true, now that you mention it. What As the hell is up with that? It operates. Well, I think a live demonstration might best get you up to speed. Hey, time to earn your keep. <laughs> Who are these goons? Let's just say they're assistants who specialize in field work. Now, what's your favorite color? Red, blue, or green? <laughs> I'm not sure where you're going with this, but... Uh... I think I'll go with blue. Let's go with blue. Okay, then. Blue it is. All right. You two give blue here some backup. <laughs> now. Give them a taste of what I pay you for. Huh? Don't tell me you want us to fight. Yes, in fact, I do. Every time you wallop an enemy, the Suji Dex app kicks in. It records battle data automatically. That's freaking nuts. Gentlemen, I choose you! Get ready for a Sujimon battle! Okay. Wait, I thought she's back now, I, I realized. <laughs> okay. No wait. Observing the area. Cool. Check this out, fight. This guy just got attacked and he says cool. Nice. Oh, that's not nice. Impressive. Clearly, I chose the right people for the job. Keep that up, and you'll be the best, like no one ever was. Yeah, that's kind of you. Totally not the so reference. So where's the data at? Right. Why don't you tap that app and see for yourself? There we go. That's the idea. <coughs> Defeat lots of Sujimon, collect lots of data. And, as promised, I'll reward you for the job. Expect to get some emails as you hit completion milestones. Hope it's not more trouble than it's worth. Well, there's something in it for us, so we might as well give it a try. We're in no position to be picky. Yeah, you're right. Don't forget, the world's counting on you. You gotta dispatch them all. Then you'll be the next Sujimon master. I like how he shifts and looks at the screen at the end. Yeah, the fourth wall breaking is uh, immense with this game. <laughs> yeah. 
here we are. Wait a minute. If only I could be reborn as a sexy lady. You know what I'd do? I'd get a job at this club right here. Okay. <laughs> Understandable. Have a good day. Mizuki-san, their time is oh, up. Oh boy. Okay, go ahead and clean up the room, then count today's take. Hey, Aurelius, Aurelius what's up? Front desk. <laughs> Thank the you. The faucet's stuck? Well, just use the same bath water for the next customer. Sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> yeah, I know it's dirty. Just use a bath bomb. They're behind the sink. Make it cloudy enough, we'll notice. <laughs> Hello, this is Odo Himelan. Oh, Nanaha-chan. Hmm. Oh, really? So you're taking the day off. But didn't you have your period two weeks ago? Oh. Okay. You're missing too much work. <laughs> and if your excuses are true, you should get that checked out. I mean, it sounds like a serious medical issue. And if it keeps you out of work, how are you going to pay for your dear old dad's care, huh? Seems like your life would be easier if he just died already. But I guess that's out of your control. Jeez. Are you crying? Oh, come on. I only say these things because I'm your boss. I can't be your therapist, too. But come back in as soon as you feel better. Okay? Bye. Jeez. I tell you, <laughs> girls these days. So, you folks are here about the job we posted, I assume? Sorry. I don't think I want to be employed here. My man. Not a fan of anything. <laughs> My man. You out too, Kasuga? <sighs> so, you came all the way here just to insult me in my place of business? I'll have you know, Hello Work practically begged me to hire you three. They told me you'd be willing to do anything. I don't care what they told you. We've still got principles. Yeah, I'm grateful that Kanbei put in a good word, but uh, I pass. Plenty of other jobs out there. Let's go, Ichiban. He's not done yet. Ichiban, what's the holdup? Come on, let's go. <sighs> you heard him on the phone, didn't you? I've been to my share of back alley soap plans, but this guy's got to be the worst I've ever seen. The girls don't deserve that kind of treatment. Hey, there a problem? You better not cause any trouble here. I'll call the Yakuza. We're with the Seiryu clan, you know? The Seiryu clan? You really sure you want to start something? <laughs> this is Seiryu clan territory? Well, this just got complicated. Hey, Kasuga, we need a scram. Well, uh, well, why Come are you on. looking at me like that? I'll call them. I will. Copy uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> on time. I'll take the job. I'll start any time you want, boss. Oh, huh? huh? Wait, wait, what are you doing? Based on what I just heard, you got a lot of issues here, from plumbing to personnel. You need a hand, and I've got 16 years of direct experience in this industry. I know what works in these places, and I can even go scout some fresh talent for you. What do you say? Yeah, but what about those two? Prostitution's gotta go! Oh, they're no back. More <laughs> You see what Ichi's up to? Mm -hmm. I'm afraid I'm missing the point. If I'm frank. <sighs> Same guys the other day. Right. Oh, hold on, my food is here. I'll be back real quick. Give me just a wee second.
All right. Sorry about that. Let us continue. No, no, let's not skip. <clears throat> oh, right. Uh, well. Thank you, thank you guys. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa to you as well. Listen. Tried complaining to the Syria clan once. They had some lame excuse, then they showed up. Right. Types who read up on anti yakuza laws. Oh. I can't go to the office, I can't go to the police. Who do I turn to? Well, damn. Even if my employees are quitting. Oh. Right. I think as long as the girls stick around, you can run your business. Oh. <laughs> what do I get? Well, potato wedges. With sauce and hash browns. Uh, yeah, this guy's a dick. Okay. Yep. Thank you, Hana. Uh, hey. up yo damn <laughs> thank you Yana I can't afford to turn that down You like the dub so far? Yeah, it's pretty nice. Friends, the accomplices of criminals, the purveyors of prostitution have made themselves known. Mm -hmm. Man, this guy gets more punchable by the second. Yo. What about you? You think you're some kind of pure and clean soul yourself? Never committed a single crime. True. That is a good point. Always outside. That's technically a crime, you know. No. Never once, not in my life. <sighs> Seriously. Speeding. Hey. <laughs> Have to have done that. I'm afraid not. 
He ducked me, then prove it. Prove I've committed these crimes. Yo! Uh, all these people blocking the road has got to be some kind of crime, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, they got a permit to be assholes? Oh, Kanagawa police, of course. <laughs> Ten of you. Hey. I'm no mathematician, but this looks like more than that. That is true. Actually, let me count them. One, two, three, four, five. 6 with Kume, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 of them! That's illegal! not allowed to stop moving. If you stop and start giving speeches, that's obstructing traffic. Uh, right. <coughs> Sup? A gray zone. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Relying on a gray area to criticize a gray zone. Man, that's irony. My friends, let's keep going. We're marching. Watch where you're going on your trip. Let's see. You first have Ichiban Kasuga, age 42. Oh! Addresses. Oh, wasn't this the one Hamako runs? Is it? Oh fuck, hold on. Yes. Huh? You number? You mean number was your real name this whole time? <laughs> what was that? Adachi? Wait, age 59? Yes. Yeah. I only have two months to go until I hit retirement. Damn. What? No. Day off, and you blew up at her, right? Yep. Hmm. She's a top runner, huh? You weren't kidding about these girls being on the. Uh... Never mind. <clears throat> um. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is quite the conversation. own anymore. She quit her job at a big firm and fell onto this world. Wow. Yep.
Hmm. What? A hand like on the customer's <laughs> listen? <laughs> okay. No, you idiot. I want you to look into why she's taking time off. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, side piece. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, she could be meeting someone without going through the store. No money customer pays for the service, and that money gets divided between the girl and the shop. But if they meet in private, the girl can offer a discount and still come out uh, on top by cutting the shop out. <laughs> Uh, once they start doing that, the girls start to wonder why they need the shop in the first place. Of course, all the shops have strict rules. Right. Um. She's seeing someone on the side. Sup. Right. Never wants to go. Right. Hold on. Shouldn't you be using Siryu for this kind of thing? Think of them like car insurance. If you use them the wrong way, they create... They increase your premiums. <laughs> hey. Pocket Cafe. Um, See you later. Okay, so we're looking for that cafe. Hired as chief detectives, right? That does sound, yeah. Mm. Not true all the time, but yeah, most of plants profit out of the work is misfortunes. I'm not cool with the way Nonomiya talks about people, but he's no sugar not sugarcoating anything. He understands the reality of the business. Mm. I grew up surrounded by every kind of sleaze back how much you could throw in those doors. I bet this guy's actually got a lot of love for us. Go. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> for a second, I almost wait. I forgot you were playing this in the dub on the street app and I heard see you later in English. <laughs> Don't worry, the stream is not going anywhere for now. Okay, so we have a place to go to. Hold on. Have fun with 
this. Watch this. I got this. <laughs> it worked. Was I the only one that saw that? What did he do with that car? Fearless command, nice. I think that's the attack ball. There we go. Damn, it's full. Hey, look over there. Oh, there she is. That's Nanoha. Let's get some answers out of her. I seriously doubt she'd ever admit to it. We should only interrogate her after we have proof. I say we trust the former detective on this one. Fine. Sorry, we're full right now. Oh, I'm meeting someone inside. Isn't that the police commissioner or whatever? Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. He's I think I know who it is. Nama. Maybe she's dating him on the side. Maybe. Let's try an eavesdrop on their conversation. How do we do that? Can't hear anything out here. I got this. Kasuga, call me on your phone. Okay. I'm very sorry, but we're full right now. Oh, please, can I just use the bathroom? Seriously, man, I'm about to piss myself. <laughs> uh, sure. Go ahead. You had to come all the way out here. Oh, wow. Are you all right? You look really tired. Oh, it's my health problems <laughs> these days. We should get down to it. First of all, the money. He said, Money. He's got to be her other man. Hold your horses and see the transaction go down. That's a lot of static. What kind of tone? Your father deserves to be at peace. You said it yourself. After all this time, don't you want that for him? No, please. I want Dad to have peace. But does it have to be? That's true, but you shouldn't cheap out. After all. That's what you're paying us for. Oh, okay. It's just my father's. Oh? <laughs> First timer, huh? She give him money. And it was two million. Nothing to sneeze at. You think Nanoha-san's wrapped up in something bad? Like what? I don't know. We we'll just have to ask her and find out. Oh hey! No! <laughs> oh boy. Uh, sorry. 
Hey, old man. Apologies don't fix much, you know. Yeah, how are you gonna make this right? He's got a broken bone. Come on, not this shit. Sorry, we're in a hurry. If you don't got time to do the right thing, get out your wallet and hand us a couple grand. Leave us alone, man. See ya. Not so fast! Oh boy. <laughs> You're going down. Get oh, dying that sure. <laughs> okay. Ordinary Yakuza colored gangsman. Watch this. Are all the chimpers gonna call each one old man? That's the norm at this point. Yes, that was a soda bottle. If I remember right, Akiyama as well got called old man, even though he's like 32 in Yakuza 4. Nice. So yeah, every protagonist is called old man. Damn it. They lost her, I guess. Go. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Akiyama looks older than his age. Social Welfare Corporation? Sounds like an old folks home. Pretty classy building, huh? It's from the Meiji era, as I recall. It used to be a bank. But I thought some non-profit foundation bought it decades ago. It sure looks luxurious for a non-profit. I can smell the money from out here. Okay, so... We know Nanoha's been working at the soap land to pay for her dad's care, right? Yeah, so maybe this is where he's being taken care of. And also, maybe that man she met at the cafe is employed here. And then it would all make sense. She's paying that guy to keep her dad in a nice place. It's hardly shady. I don't care how classy the joint is. Nobody would pay two mil in cash. Plus, why would she pay her dad's rent at a cafe? Yeah, that's a good point. Remember what they said when we eavesdropped? She begged to see her dad, and it didn't move him at all. He just said no. Yes, this is the front desk of Sunlight Castle. Uh, is there a man living here with a daughter named Nanoha? Do you mean Nanoha Mokoda? Yes, her father is a resident here. How may I help you? We work with Nanoha at the same place of business. Can we come in? I'm sorry, but only family are allowed to visit. That was predictable. We're not here to see him, actually. Truth is, 
I'm looking for a home for my own father. <laughs> Nano Hassan said your facility is great, so I wanted to check it out. I'm terribly sorry. You can't come inside unless accompanied by a current lessee. Really? Yes. If you wish to explore the layouts of our rooms, please visit our homepage online. You can submit questions on that page as well. It's very convenient. Goodbye. They don't even let you tour a room? Something's definitely shady about this place. Oh, cameras. Big dog. Okay, so I'm going to save right here, not because I'm gonna take a break or end the stream. Hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna save here, and I'm gonna save again here. to get to the station. Huh? What nonsense you speaking? Would you tell me how to get to the station? Oh shit. It's English. to brush up on their English. Huh? <laughs> Can you tell me how to get to the station? Go straight and turn right. Go, go, go. Go your way. And believe in yourself. Oh, all right. Thank you. You are welcome. <laughs> Not bad, huh? Guess that English certificate really paid off. Yeah, I guess so. My English sucks ass. <laughs> what can I say? If you can't handle English at that level, how do you expect to survive the effects of globalization? Can you repeat that? <laughs> I'm saying you need an international mindset. Haven't you ever wanted to work overseas, broaden your horizons? To do that, you need to study. So I started going here. Oh. 
This is a school? Oh, Una Barra Vocational, huh? Oh yeah, Yana, you were asking earlier well. if there are side quests, right? This is one. Many certs I've Wait, hold on. Okay. I doubt. Fifty. Fifty? <laughs> For real? Hmm. That's crazy. I have, like, none. <laughs> you gotta change that, man. Now's the time to build yourself as an individual. If you're the only one without certifiable skills, I'm afraid you'll get left behind. Hey, I know. Why don't you sign up for a free trial? What, for vocational ed? Yeah, for a limited time only, they offer the first lesson free. Might as well give it a shot. I mean, you do want to develop your personality, don't you? Well, when you put it that way, sure. Great! Then let's get you signed up right away! Uh, okay. Huh. So this is a vocational school. First time being in one. Yep, it's one of the best in the industry, too. Anyway, the front desk's right over here. Oh, hello, Ikari-san. Uh, hey there, Miyakoshi-san. <laughs> Pretty nice weather, huh? I mean, not like it affects us indoors, but... <laughs> <laughs> Say, who did you bring along? Uh, hold up. Let me just... Okay. <laughs> oh, right! He's a buddy of mine. Said he wanted to do a free trial. Yeah, and of course, I was the one who invited him. <laughs> so that's what this is. You just brought me here so you could impress a girl, you sly dog. Oh, well... Thanks for the referral, Ikari-san. Uh, it was nothing! It's not like I was up all night thinking what favors I could do to impress you or anything. Well... <laughs> so my name's Miyakoshi, and I'm the school receptionist. It's very nice to meet you. I'm Ichiban Kasuga, and the pleasure's all mine. Kasuga-san. Noted. Okay, well, why don't I give you the rundown on how we do things here? Better clean the wax out of those ears! Miyakoshi-san is lending us her precious time, so don't go spacing out. You're not helping. So what we aim to do is provide oh, thank you, training Jeremia. for all kinds of I hope uh, your online classes life. go well. Just so you know, our pass rate is second to none. We are here to help passionate people find their footing. And that's why, here at Onabara, knowledge is yours to own. Whoa, so you guys are number one in the business? That's awesome. We certainly do our best. And while we do want you to pass your exam and get your certificate, there is more to it than that. What we emphasize here is gaining life experience. You know, personality development. Getting a grasp on who you are is the crux of higher learning. After all, what's the point of earning a piece of paper if you can't apply what you've learned? Well said, Miyakoshi-san. Poetry to the ears. Can you just be quiet? <laughs> anyway, I think I got the gist of it. I'm actually more interested in that personality development part, if anything. Excellent. Then I'll put you down for a trial lesson. Let me know whenever you're ready, and we'll go ahead and start your lesson. <laughs> you got it. All right. Kasuga-san, are you ready to start your trial lesson? Yes. Yeah, let's do this. Perfect. Right this way. It's gonna feel so good being able to understand the tests now in uh, English. I struggled with this in Japanese. Which exam would you like to take? Passion, charisma. This one? Good luck! Oh boy. Basketball is a team sport. Uh, uh, I think it's. Is it a two? Fuck. Skiing is a sport, aside from the components, the skier, the ski. Uh, wait. Mm, fuck. Mm, I'm bad with this. Uh, breaking ball. Which of the following is not a type of breaking ball? Mm, slow ball, I think. I don't know, dude. 
what is the term for a, when a hole is reached? Three strokes below par. How the fuck am I supposed to know? Wait. Three strokes below par. Is that eagle? A triathlon is completed by consecutively overcoming three different events while completing. Uh, competing. Uh, fuck. <laughs> I probably failed. I failed. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Three. Holes is right. Uh, volley. Albatross. Okay. Cross country. You play video games to escape tests, but they come right back for you in this game. Thanks for trying us out. Whew. Not bad for your first time. But long and treacherous is the road to mastery. Just as this guy. This guy never shuts up. Wait, no, the camera screen? Hold on. Oh. Oh, does he? Oh, you mean for the, uh... What did you think right. of your lesson, Kasuga-san? I can say with confidence, I've never studied so much in my life. But hey, it was fun. It was kind of nice being in a classroom again, too. I think I got a lot out of that. I'm so glad to hear that. Each program here is dedicated to helping you become the person you've always wanted to be. <laughs> that said, would you be interested in full enrollment? It's free to enroll, of course. You only have to pay per class. Basically, it's a certificate fee. So what have you got to lose? Besides, you can trust me, Akoshi-san. I know I do. Okay, you made your point. But I am curious which aspects of myself could use some fine-tuning. Might as well find out, right? That's a good attitude to have. Sky's the limit, you know? All right. My man is uh, part of a school at last. Additional certification exams. I need. Okay. Please let me know when you've found a course that interests you. Sure. But once I figure out where to start, I gotta say, there's a lot to choose from. Any advice for a newbie? Hmm. I suppose some guidance would be in order. <laughs> then allow me, master of 50 plus certificates, to be your faithful guide. You? Oh, looks like we found ourselves the perfect volunteer. You sure you want to handle this, Ikari-san? By all means. If it puts a smile on your face, then leave old shrub head to me. I'll show him the ropes. You really have no filter, do you? Well, by this point, Ikari-san has the most insight out of all the students here. Though he can be a bit of a handful. You could say that again. But hey, I'm determined. You hear that? I'm counting on you, senpai. <laughs> then I shall illumine your path. How about that, Nikoshi-san? I'm smart, and I look after my fellow man. Fellow uh, man. say so. <laughs> anyway, Kasuga-san. Welcome to the start of your future. Can I help you? Can I take that course Which again? Which exam would you like to take? Oh, fuck, it costs money. Okay, I'll come back for these later, I guess. Come back when you're ready. Wait. There was another option. Can I help you? Chat with me at Goshi. Oh, huh. Come back when you're ready. Alright, skills. Intellect, dumbass. Style, tasteless. Passion, lifeless. Confidence, pushover. 
Charisma, repulsive, kindness, callous. Hmm. Progress, I guess. Okay, where the fuck am I? Oh, oh, jeez. Right. Chinese mafioso, pressured cooker. Healing powder, cobble together medicine to restore an ally's HP. Okay. Watch this. I got you. Damn, they do a lot of damage. Okay, this might be a little much for this uh, for my current level. I'm kind of under level for this. Wait. Uh, oh, there we go. No, wait. Okay. There we go. I guess first things first. Oh, okay, that's cool. We can use uh, skills here. There we go. But with Joe Star's secret technique. <laughs> right. Oh, I keep forgetting. God damn it. My LB is kind of busted. Oh, there we go. Oh, fuck. Weak. You're in it now. Take your crap shot. Well, go up. Ooh. I'm saying, we're done here. Shit. Cool. Later, guys. Jeez! <laughs> I can't believe numbers that yeah. So I don't think you get a game over when you uh, die. You just get you just lose money. Yeah, reduced by half. Damn. Hold on. Uh, yeah, we weren't that far off. I'm just gonna skip that dialogue, and hopefully, I pass the test this time. And then, uh, I'll go back to what I was doing. I'm glad I saved here. Huh? Would you? Huh? Would you? Oh, sh <laughs> don't. That didn't. Looks like. Huh? <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> Jenny. Oh. Fifth. You got. What for? Yeah, I mean. Oh. Great. Uh, do you remember the answers? 
Yeah. I think they change the questions sometimes, so we'll see how that goes again. Huh. Wait. Oh, there we go. I should have said this. Yeah. Perfect. Which exit? This one? Good luck! Marathon. Yeah, see? Gets randomized. That became the origin for this distance. 42. Invasion. What, what the fuck? The Battle of Marathon? <sighs> Uh, right. This one was Albatross, right? Was it? Mm. Ten objects that must be knocked down. Yes. Uh, metal ball as far as they can. Okay, don't spam, please. Please don't spam. There we go, we did it. <laughs> okay, so the one that I got wrong was shot put. Okay. This one was completely uh, with luck, and this one I remembered from before. Well, that was worth it. <laughs> is there a bonus if you perfect it? I'm not sure, actually. That should just about wrap it up. Thanks for trying us out. Ooh, not bad for your first time. This kind of what did you think of your life? I can say with confidence. I okay, I think this is the same. Basic okay. That's a good attitude. Right. Please let me know. Sure. Hmm. <laughs> then allow. Oh, bye. Really? Oh, well. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make a separate save now. Here. Okay. Wait, I think there was a save around here. Should I open it? Got it! Millet- oh, hell yeah, look at me. Damn, look at that defense. Is there another one I can't remember? Oh, yes, we have two. Should I open it? Sweet! Safety shoes. Should I open it? Got it! Soft hat. Defense and magic. Defense, magic, agility. I'm thinking of giving these to Number. He needs the defense. Chat. <laughs> right. Damn, that's a lot of enemies. If I remember right, I think you can buy like smoke bombs to escape from fights 
uh, guaranteed, but mm, I forgot where you buy them from. Slugger. Get out, okay? It's not unlocked yet. I sleep at 1 a.m. and now it's 9 a.m. You're still playing. Okay. Yep. Have fun with this. Still playing. We're gonna get introduced to summons now. Please take one. Huh? Trip to Pound Town. Hey, what you got there? <laughs> Who knows? An app or a sex shop or something. Nothing a couple of penniless mooks like us need to worry about. Wait, what is that? 
Oh. Still, Still going, going strong, strong Icy. Keep, keep up the good, good work, work champ. champ. Thank you, Nashi. Really appreciate uh, having you with us. I hope you're doing well. Hold the phone. It says the first person to call gets free service. What? That sounds way too good to be true. They'll find some way to squeeze money out of you. I guarantee. Yeah, well, uh, we won't know until we call. Take it from the guy born out of soap land. It's a scam. Hey, now, things might have changed while you were locked up. Give it here. Yo, hold on. First person to call. <laughs> you snooze, you lose. <laughs> Hello, how can I help you? Yeah, I uh, saw your ad. Said something about the first caller being free. Oh, yes, thank you. You are the very first. So this one is indeed on us. <laughs> All right. And uh, you're, you're sure it won't cost anything? <laughs> no, nothing at all. Now may I please have your oh name and God. current location? Oh, right. It's uh, Koichi Adachi, and right now I'm kind of near Ohama Street. Oh, and that place can be quite dangerous, too. Understood. I'll send over our most popular employee right away. Your most popular? <laughs> I know how this is gonna go. This first free collar thing, huh? We want you to know how great we are. Now then, we have them en route to your location. Huh? Well, you're sending someone to me? Like, not a hotel or something? <laughs> is this one of those meet-up deals? So, how to go. <laughs> Get this. They're sending their most popular girl over here. For free. Whoa, really? Oh, really, I swear. Sex shops will do anything to stay competitive. They said she'd be here soon. Sorry for the wait. Who? <laughs> 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 oh, what the? Who the heck are you? Are you uh, Daki Sama? Uh, yeah, that's me. Sorry for the wait. I'm Gary Buster Holmes from Poundmates. Poundmates? Is is that a sex shop? <laughs> no, no. Poundmates sends people to help you fight. Help us fight? Hey, you shitheads are making way too much noise. <laughs> That's it. Now shut you guys up. Oh, a handy group of punks. Just in time for your first call. Okay, I don't know what's going on here, but let's go, Kasuga. Yeah. <laughs> All right, time to try out our first summon. Yeah. On duty. Power mates are powerful allies with a wide range of abilities, but calling them in costs money. The price depends on the power mate. Although your first call to each power mate is free. Get Get Gary Buster Homecoming. Call on the services of Muscle Bound Champion to pound enemies into oblivion, occasionally stunning those who survive. <laughs> they did just nice. <laughs> Holy shit. They're too strong. Now for the finish. Sudden death. Or suds on breasts. What's it gonna be? <laughs> <laughs> We're sorry! What the fuck is a suds on breasts? Your free trial is over. Next time will cost money. Looking forward to it. Yeah, sure. Okay then. Thank you, Gary. Good Very cool. What the hell 
hell just happened here? Fuck if I know. Man, why's it gotta be so hard to get laid? Hound mates, huh? Well, it ain't free, and I'm not sure it's sexy, but I think I can see the appeal. <laughs> You now have access to pound mates. Let's go. <laughs> uh, need help pounding your enemies? You can call pound mates for a fee. All right, sounds good. <laughs> Formula. They're shaking the guy down for baby formula. I don't know what the hell's going on here, but it looks like he might need some help. All right, guess I'll give him a hand. Hey, not sure what the deal is over here? That formula's his, right? Huh? Who the hell are you? You his buddy or something? Nah, never met the guy. Just passing through. Someone's always got to poke their nose into this shit. Okay, fine. We'll take it by force. Yo. Hi. Arigatou gozaimasu. Hmm? Eh.
それでは。A cafe. Let's do it. Hot water, sweet. Yeah. Perfect. Hey, are you all right? Is there anything we can do to? Huh? Oh, Susumu-chan, you're so needy. Okay, time for Baba. <laughs> what the? with the baby formula. Oh. Sorry to bother you boys. Uh, yo, let's go. <laughs> yes, <laughs> goodbye. Not so fast, chief. It's the same angle with You're as with Kiryu. You're stepping into my big comfy crib. Think you can waltz in here and spoil our fun? Come on, boys. Let's pacify this bitch. Sir. Oh, this theme again. I'll take it, I guess. Yeah. Don't get caught in this. I'm up. I got this. What a fight! Oh, jeez. Okay. Watch this. Have fun with this. <laughs> The baby. for barging in here, but this, this is all just a huge misunderstanding. Huh? I'm listening. Well, actually... I get it. You thought my crying was from a real baby. Yes, we're really sorry for ruining your, uh, fun. 
No, no, I wasn't aware. I'm the one who's sorry. Huh? These days, a crying baby's more likely to get scowls than anything else. To think you'd do that for a baby you don't even know. <laughs> what are your names? Ichiban Kasuga. Uh, Masato Oshima. I see. Fine names, both of you. My name's Susumu Gondawara. Seems my men troubled you for some baby work. Boys, get these two some new baby formula on the double. I yes, sir. Oh, well, we're actually quite all right on the baby formula. Please, no, no need to trouble yourselves. I step out of the house for a quick errand and I'm gone for an eternity. My wife's gonna kill me. Ah, oh, come on. You'll just be a little late. <laughs> Your old lady that scary? Mm, no, she's just been a little strained lately. I've been working my butt off for the sake of our child. But all she does is nag at me. Masato-chan, do you understand how hard it is to raise a kid? Have you ever bothered to help your wife, even just a little? What? Like, just holding a baby's a lot of work. You have to support their neck until they can keep their head up on their own. Lots to look out for, no matter how small the task. Babies are weak, delicate creatures. Very fragile. You can't blame your wife for being a little stressed out. Huh. That's right. Zaya-chan's telling the truth. When us babies get our milk, we gotta burp. When us babies. <laughs> Alright. Like Understandable. Have a good now day. Now you mention it, she is always doing those things. When they start crying in the middle of the night, I have no clue why, nor do I know how to stop it. Hey, it's our job to cry. Doesn't matter if it's the middle of the night. We'll cry when we feel like it. <laughs> I see. And here I was, jealous of how she got to sleep while I was out working all night. Your wife probably hasn't had a decent night's sleep since the little one came into the picture, you know? And even if she does get a sec to rest, you never know when she's gonna have to get back up. Sounds pretty friggin' exhausting. Oh. <laughs> Masato-chan, you should sit down and talk with your wife. I'm sure it's hard for both of you, but your relationship's probably strained right now because neither of you have taken the time to hear each other out. You're right. I guess at some point I started to think <laughs> I was the one having the tougher time. But I never thought about how my wife was feeling. I'm gonna talk to my wife when I get home. I'll make sure we raise our kid right. I'm a father after all. <laughs> yeah, that's the spirit. Just don't try to do everything yourself. Family's gotta support one another. Go on. Hurry back to your wife and make things right. You got this baby's approval, so I'm sure you'll do just fine. Okay. Thank you. Well, I'll be going now. <laughs> Best of luck. Well, all's well that ends well, I guess. You bet. Uh, boss, sorry we're late. We bought the formula. Ooh. Well then. Why don't we drink to the man who became a proper father? Join us, why don't you? Huh? Me? <laughs> That's right. No need to be shy. Well, I guess since they offered. You know. Sure. What the hell? Yeah, baby. Say we enjoy this second bottle good and proper. Huh? Boys, get this man a diaper. Oh no. Yes, sir. It's your bond, it's time to bail. 
Yo, hold up. I didn't say shit about wearing a... Hey, what the hell, man? Let me go! Yo, if you don't cut it out, I'll... <laughs> What do you mean? Oh, what happened? Well... I guess we can summon him now, at least. <laughs> Seriously, though? What, what, what do you mean? Oh, something had to have happened. Wait. There's quite a bit of sub-stories, but I think I'm gonna proceed with the story for now. Wait. Uh... Charge five million yen just to start a lease, and then it's five hundred k every month. Even on soapland wages, how the hell can she afford that? And take a look at this. They've got a program called the Excellent Course. Entry fee twenty million, then a million a month. What in the actual fuck? Yeah, I hope that's one good VIP room. Don't tell me her dad's enrolled in the excellent course. I can't imagine he is. Oh, <laughs> I could see Nanoha signing him up for the most expensive option. She'd totally do that. Her father is the only family she has. He's the reason she got a job at a big corporation. And he's the reason she works for me now. He raised her all by himself. He means everything to her. It doesn't surprise me at all that she'd pay any price to keep him comfortable. I mean, I knew she put him somewhere expensive, but this is just crazy. No matter how much you love someone, you've got to set some boundaries. I'm starting to think this was never about a guy she was dating. You wanted us to investigate her because you were worried about her. Am I right? Yes, I was worried. I worry about all my employees. But once they clock out, I can't help them. But I hate that. Especially the girls who have such troubled pasts. You never know if they're doing okay or not. That's why I'm strict about how much time they take off. I worry. So you have a good reason to keep them working so much. But here I thought you were just a huge asshole. <laughs> I guess you can stop your investigation now. She might be putting herself in danger. But if she's doing it for her dad, I really have no right to interfere. It's her life. In any case, I don't think she's seeing anyone on the side. No? I mean, when we saw her today, she looked miserable. She was definitely telling you the truth when she said she wasn't feeling good. My guess is she's suffering from a ton of stress. From work? Oh, I think it's something else. <sighs> Nanoha is her father's guarantor. I'm sure of that. It doesn't make any sense that she wouldn't be allowed to see him. And you guys saw her pay two million to a rep from the home? Maybe that wasn't the entire bill. Maybe she still owes them money. And until she pays, they won't let her see her dad. That's fucked up. Yeah, but it might be true. Nationwide? More than one out of every five people is elderly. And there are lots of crooked businesses trying to cash in on that. Even if an establishment looks legit on the surface, you never know what might be lurking underneath. I think I know what happened. They accepted her dad, told her she could pay the entry fee in installments, and then once he moved in, they wouldn't let her see him until she paid it off in full. Why pull that shit? Just to get her to pay it off quicker. They don't care what she has to do to earn it. They just want their money as soon as possible. That's just... so cruel. Plenty of bastards in the world who do it without a second thought. No wonder her health is bad. Who could deal with that kind of pressure? And by taking time off, she'll lose income. 
She'll end up being late on her payments. Damn. At that rate, she'll never get to see her dad. Nope. And there's another thing that could happen that's even worse. What's that? Well, depending on what the contract says, if she misses a payment, they could kick her dad out and not return any of her money. After she's been working herself to the bone just to pay them? And honestly, who the hell knows if they're really providing good care in that place? Hardly anyone's allowed inside, so there's no oversight. That sounds to me like they can do whatever they damn well please. Even to the residents who are paid up. I don't understand how they get away with this shit. Please! None of us needs to understand it. All that matters is saving Nanoha's dad. Boss, we can't save him. There's no way. Sure, we all want to, but... I mean, they won't even let the guy's own daughter in. The place is pretty much on lockdown. I just don't see a way around that. I think I see a way around it. What? Boss, you okay with us working a second job? Uh, huh? The three of us could work at Sunlight Castle for a bit. You want to infiltrate the place by getting jobs there? How do we get them to hire us? Well, we're sort of buddies with that guy Kambe over at Hello Work. Let's get him to help us. Yes! It's a great idea. I'll call Kanbe and make it happen. I think we can do this! We can save Nanoha's father! Go to Hello Work. Alright. Oh, I just remembered. When you play the game for yourself, any taxi that you see for the first time, interact with it. That's going to unlock the taxi for you to quick travel with it. Wait, did it speak Japanese too? Okay. So now I have, yeah, two taxi points. Okay. <laughs> yeah.
Bro, you still here? I got breakfast, class, finished eating, and you still here? Yep, still here. Hey, Sunny. Don't recall seeing you around. Are you new? Yeah, I'm from a temp agency. Name's Nanda. How nice to have a new doctor. Wonderful. Actually, I'm a nursing assistant. Then just temporarily. Yeah, I did have some food. You you do <laughs> Thank you for therapy? asking, though. Good to see you, by <laughs> the way. Sounds fun. Uh, listen, Granny. Let me ask you. Well, there's a guy living here named Makoda. You know him by any chance? He's pretty old. Has a daughter. Oh, what time are we having breakfast? Uh, well, it's already past noon. Oh, here is fine. Thank you, officer. Officer. Robbie Damon donated great stream. Now go buy some tasty hot pot. Love it. So. Okay, well, uh, I don't know if that was the real Robbie, but thank you so much for the donation, and uh, I will go and do karaoke as soon as it opens up. Uh, thank you for uh, for the donation. Hey, did you find anything out? Nope. I haven't seen any guys who were likely to be Nanoha's dad. I gotta say, if that was the real Robbie, I don't know if it is, but. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and assume it is real, but as soon as we get Zhao, I will get on that shit. You rest assured. It's good to have you here, dude. Uh, I love your work on Zhao. I listened to a bit of it, and it's just great. <laughs> Keep it up. The care in this place actually seems pretty damn good. There's plenty of staff. The medical equipment is top-notch. <laughs> They've got a security system. Guards, too. They ain't skimping on safety. How many times do I have to tell you? I want these toilets so clean you let your mother drink out of them. Whoa. Put some elbow grease into it, for goodness sake! Stop slacking off! Why am I the only one on toilet duty? <laughs> Why do you think? Well, you're not qualified to do anything else. Did you find her dad? No, not even a lead. You find anything? The only thing I've seen all morning is toilets. That woman's a slave driver. Maybe her dad's in a special room for the excellent course residents. Oh yeah, that crazy expensive program. Doubtful. I found out more about that program. It has super strict requirements. I don't think she would have met them. For example, you have to do a bunch of interviews to qualify. Interviews? Yeah, I don't know exactly what they ask, but I bet it's all about your family and social standing. You've been playing for eight hours straight. Let's see, eight hours, twelve minutes. Yes, has it. close the enough. The program only lets in big shots from the financial sector. So even if she had the money, I don't think she would pass the interviews. Still, none of us have seen this special room yet, right? <sighs> no, because how are we supposed to do that? Obviously, they're going to have their best security on the excellent course residents. I heard only full-time staff are allowed to work with that clientele. But where the hell are those residents kept? Top floor. And to get up there, you need one of the full-timers' keycards. Hey! Quit chatting and get back to work! <laughs> yes, ma'am. Right away. <laughs> Leon's go to his chair. Yes, I am. I sleep with my chair. I, uh... You didn't go outside with my chair, you know. Day, did you? That's just so, how it is. <laughs> That's what you need in a place this big. What is Ichiban's stylish haircut? Looks a lot. Looks like a lot of things happened while I was away. Ichiban got one hell of a makeover at this barber. She messed up his up haircut. The pace tomorrow. We 
we still need to do the top floor, don't we? That floor is for excellent course residents. It's uh, off limits to us contractors. Oh yeah, this scene I thought was always weird, but I guess we'll find out soon online. Well, it's not this scene, I think, but it's going to be soon. I think it's going to be a full cutscene. Oh, damn it! I, I think I forgot something in the bathroom. Mind if I go get it? Fine, but get it together. You're a mess. I'm so sorry. Uh, you can go on ahead and I'll catch up, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, just hurry up. I think this is the cutscene. Excellent area, there we go. Good night now. Okay. Okay. Still working. <gasps> I'm so tired, I could just die right here. Kasuko is just saying he caught some onto something suspicious. Hold on. Can you put off wait, did he say can you put off dying for a few minutes? Damn, okay. Uh, I'm tired as fuck and they want me to come in early tomorrow. This old woman just passed away, so I have to do all this crazy stuff. What was that? What? Oh, okay, so. Was that the woman with the purple hair? Wait, she had purple? Hmm. It's crazy to th even think this, but it has to be. That woman was killed in the excellent room. What? You sure? I didn't see it happen, but that has to be it. Why would they kill their own customers? And death just means no more income, doesn't no. it? No. Not necessary. Wait, I have a... They take the money from people, they don't allow them to see their parents, and they sell their organs. That's my guess right now. Scan the pension payments. Hmm? Don't report the death, just keep going with your life. You hide the body somewhere. Pension, medical insurance keeps... Oh, hmm. Institution can be stealing money. Can they do that? Look at this. I checked it out. There's a safe in the back of the security room that has all the residents' bank books and seals on it. Right, yeah. Mm. To know they're kept under lock and key. Mm. But if they have that stuff on hand, it's easy to get that money. If someone dies, it frees up the room for the next sucker. Every time a patient dies, they increase profits. What? I recognize those two. They're both Yakuza from the family that runs this place. The Yakuza? Hmm? And that means they'll save you time. Yep. 
Ryuto family, one of the families serving Seiri clan. They used to come by and harass my girls all the time. But about four years ago, they got their hands into another business, and another family took over my... Mm. What if Sunlight Castle is the Seiri clan's business? In that case, it would make the perfect sense for them to be scamming pensions. Hey. Mm. Not, not how's dead as long dead. <sighs> no. Still alive? How do you know? Um. Yeah. Three million left to go. Then, if you just remit that amount. Ten days from now, we can start to carry out the procedure. Yeah, this guy is 42, Alina. And the, this guy next to him with the blue jacket, 59. And the homeless looking guy, 41. So yeah, we're playing as a, a bunch of old oh. unemployed men. That would mean. If she doesn't pay the three mil in ten days, they'll execute her father. For real. Uh, if she doesn't want him to die, then she needs to pay off. I see. So her dad's a hostage. She's got to be able to take this to the cops. Uh, I guess I'm just going to look the other way. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Hold on. Oh, shit. Ten. Is gonna be killed tomorrow. Three mil. No way, no. I get scraped together. Ah. Hmm. We have to save him, no matter what it takes. Damn, he's fired up. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Everyone, when everyone's safe, I'll be expecting a full house bonus. Sure. What's a full house bonus? Is it big? It's an old soap land custom. If they fill the house, everyone, everybody gets a bonus. Oh. Everybody gets a bonus. Everyone from the ladies to the staff goes home happy. How big is it usually? Well, the rate is about 3,000 yen. What? Gotta risk our lives for 3,000? I'll have it stuffed and ready for you. When you get back. Right, we gotta come back alive. <sighs> Waiting for someone to take me to excellent room and finish this suffering called online school. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, I have to deal with that. Hey. I make a quick side trip on the way. <sighs> Oh, we're gonna mock karaoke, let's go! Tomorrow's gonna be messy, you wanna throw one back and get the proper... Let's go! <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go, karaoke hype. Oh god, stop getting in the way of... Oh. Come to love magic for all your adult weapon needs. Weapon. <laughs> okay. Whips and canes. Sounds painful. Might be worse before you get by. It's funny because Ichiban is not in the same wavelength, you know? He's literally going to use them as weapons. Can I change my job now? I'm kind of wondering. No, not yet. Oh, one of the taxi to unlock. Ichiban is so innocent. He is. Okay, that's another one unlocked. 
Did he fall the bike? Damn. Okay, let's see if I can find money. Hmm? We found 10 yen! Let's go. Wait. Hmm? Cheap plastic. I'll take it. Hmm? 100 yen. Hmm? Nothing. How lame. Right, so I'm gonna refill here. Let's see, last time I saved, was that for something special? I don't think so. So I'm gonna... Hogger is 10 yen, hell yeah. there I believe <laughs> right if I mess up the button inputs forgive me because I'm not used to playing on uh, the Xbox controller <clears throat> This the place you're a regular at? Yep. Huh. It's just you. <laughs> yeah, such great customer service, huh? No wonder this place is always empty. This place? I only run it for fun. Kind of prefer it empty, in fact. <laughs> so I heard David Hater hey voices that bartender. Hey, you were hot, John. And who are your for those who Kasuga played some of the other games, if that guy looks familiar, you're probably right. You never bring anyone with you. In fact, is this a first? <sighs> I guess it is, now that you mention it. That must mean you actually like them, huh? Hell no. You wouldn't catch me hanging with these knuckleheads unless I had to. <laughs> you're so cute when you're embarrassed. Uh, <laughs> give me a break. Anyway, listen. I've got a request. Hang on. Let me guess. You want me to add their drinks on your tab. <laughs> Hopefully one day you'll <laughs> oh, find Tenny in the soda so machine. Well. I... You mind, though? I wish you the I best in your endeavors. I promise come back as paying customers. Oh, good grief. You really an ex-cop? <sighs> you win this time. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right, let's get to drinking. The karaoke bar survive has become the new hangout spot for Kasuga and his party. It's time to sing. Soon. Hey, what's up with Namba? Barely get started and he passes out? He's probably just tired. Can't blame him after everything we did today. Tomorrow's only gonna be worse. You know, for some reason, being around you makes it feel like it will work itself out. Oh yeah? You must be pretty wasted if you're handing out compliments. But I'll take it. <laughs> Ah, I'm barely even feeling a buzz. Oh, he's drunk all right. Drunk on the rush of a hot and steamy friendship. <laughs> Iroha chan That was two feet over the line, and you know it. Don't poke an old bear. Huh? <sighs> all right. Oh, we can bond with Adachi. Cool. Oh, wait. I guess I can't sink yet. Hmm? Listen.
drink links. Dining and fighting alongside your companions will fill your bomb gauge with them. Once it's full enough, talk to said companion to trigger the special side stories. Right. Listening to your companions' troubles and lending them a helping hand can greatly strengthen your bond with them. As um, your relationships relationship grows, uh, your bond increases. Right, number of job skills available. All right. Yo, a dodgy son. What's that you're drinking? <laughs> hey, keep it down, will ya? Why? Oh, is that convenience store sake? Shh, you don't have to announce it to everyone and their mother. You brought your own drink to a bar? Hell yeah. It cost an arm and a leg to get a good bus going here. That's why I got this little lovely at a store down the street. <laughs> you ought to do the same. Show your wallets. Tender love and care. Yeah, but I'd be... I'd rather make my own. A good drink's worth a little debt. Uh, no. Not worth the debt, so I'm gonna... Hmm. Sure, I don't mind bringing my own booze, but I wouldn't be hiding it. But then the bartender might find you out. Eh, I'd take the risk. I don't want to bother with trying to hide a drink while I'm having fun. Wish I could be so carefree. <laughs> well, now I have to buy you a drink, pal. That's what carefree people do. Hey, thanks. Confidence. Nice. Speaking of money, what they did to you was fucked up, man. Discharge right before your retirement? Ah, it ain't so bad. At least I get to know I was canned for sticking it to fucking Horonouchi. My opinion? That's better than just staying on the force and turning a blind eye. Well, let me see if I remember this correctly. You and Horinouchi first crossed paths during a case 20 years ago. Yeah, and it was a nasty one. Robbery and double homicide of some sweet old couple. My team found a suspect and made an arrest. A man by the name of Kasumi. He had a mile-long rap sheet, burglaries and shit. Plus, he had no alibi for the time of the murder. But in the end, he was innocent. Yeah. I finally figured that out from his son. His son? Kasumi had a wife and kid. The kid was five years old at the time. His name was Takashi. The little guy told us he'd been on a walk with his dad at the time the homicides were committed. Of course, there's... There's a chance that the relatives will lie in hope of saving their family. So HQ was prepared to ignore Takashi's testimony. I was too at first. But the more time that passed, my thoughts kept coming back around to what the little boy said. And even after Kasumi was arrested, I kept looking into it. I finally found the owner of a cigarette shop and told me he saw Kasumi walking with Takashi at the time of the crime. Takashi's testimony was legit all along. I contacted HQ right away and requested Kasumi's release. But Horonouchi made sure it never happened. And he was able to do that because he was top dog at the Kanagawa police back then, right? Yeah. And don't forget, he'd just been offered a job with the Tokyo police, so... He was desperate to cover up any recent blunders like a wrongful arrest. He shipped poor Kasumi off to prison knowing full well the man was innocent. Next thing I know, Kasumi's killed himself in his cell. So Horinouchi was willing to sacrifice people's lives just to advance his own career. Yeah, I'm starting to understand why you got so much beef with him. Uh, I got beef with myself, too. I'm partly responsible for what happened. If only I believed Takashi's testimony from the start, the arrest wouldn't have happened in the first place. You don't know that for sure. No one else believed the testimony either. Yeah, but I'm the one who interviewed the kid. Let me tell you, even after all this time, I still can't forget his face. Man. But couldn't you have just leaked the fact the charges were false? You know, well, to yeah, the news? I see the sun shining. I assume that'd be your way of atoning for Takashi-kun, right? <laughs> well, you're not as dumb as you look, Kasuga. That's exactly what I thought at the time. But I screwed it up. Didn't choose the right people to leak to, so 
I got swept off the license center faster than the leak got swept under the rug. Worst fuck up of my life. Don't be so hard on yourself, Adachi san. Sorry. Really killed the mood, didn't I? <laughs> it's okay. A true friend doesn't care how many moods you kill. <laughs> you know, for an ex-Yakuza, you can say some cheesy shit. But it's sweet. What do you mean by that? Yakuza's all about brotherhood. Well, all I know is if I'd had a brother like you on the force with me, my life might have turned out different. Ah, but if the cops were anything like me, this whole country would be fucked sideways by now. <laughs> Can't argue with that. <laughs> you weren't supposed to agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's have another drink. On you, if you don't mind. Fine. Hey, bartender, can we get another round? <laughs> nice. Kausuke feels his bond with Adachi grows stronger. Adachi will now gain more experience when he's not in the active party. Nice. I'll take it. Well, it's about that time, I guess. Aww. Leaving already? Sorry, Hirohachan. We got a big day tomorrow. <laughs> Yo, Namba. You gonna crash on the bar or you wanna head back? I like the vibe of this place, though. Me coming back is another thing you can count on. Sure. Make yourself at home. <laughs> Nobody else does. And listen. Take care of him. Sorry? Let's just say he's not usually a happy drunk. <laughs> I guess that means he has a soft spot for you guys. Oh. Really? Oh, yeah, I know the guy. He's a good for nothing, but he's good at heart, too. So keep your friends close, you hear? I can do that. Hey, Kasuga! What's the holdup? Let's go! Oh, sorry! Well, see you later. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Wait, I don't know if... I forget if karaoke gets unlocked now or later, but... I think there was a taxi spot around. Yeah, I'm gonna open this one. Okay, that should help with the fast travel. <sighs> there we go. works. Wait. Guess I'm up. Okay, let me just... I'll mute my mic.
find the words to This one's a real classic. Number! I've been a fool and you've been childish. Yes! You fell down, you got her chasing sweeter dreams. Never could go hide the truth in your eyes. Go! That's how I knew that smile was a lie. You're oh. killing it! I love you is something you never say hey! Couldn't get it out Always just pulled away hey! So then why Please won't you tell me why You could find the words To say goodbye yeah. I'm such a mess I'm lost I'm no good at this In my view, I've been a fool. Okay, that was what can be done in English. No, hold on. I love that song. Do they have judgment in this game? No. <sighs> Which song? Let me know what you think of Machine Gun Kiss. It's actually, I think, my least favorite out of the dubbed songs. Right, so for me, I think the worst part is the ending. Uh, wh whereas the Japanese version really goes hard at it with a natural uh, conclusion, I guess you can say. This one is just a repeat. 
it's okay. I mean, it's it's not. Uh, thanks for back. I wouldn't go as far as, uh, as to say that I hate it. It's just that uh, for this one specifically, I feel like the Japanese version is way better. Uh, but then again, uh, they, I think like, I don't know if it was an interview or if it was on Twitter, but we also have to keep in mind that, uh, these voice actors, the English ones, they're not, you know, they, they don't really come across a lot of singing roles, you know what I mean? Unlike, uh, with the Japanese voice actors, they hired a cast that is not only good when it comes to voice and characters, but they also happen to be good singers, I guess. Uh, like, Kiryu, for example. Kiryu has his own band in real life, and, you know, that that is... Uh, uh, that is good enough for him to really be able to dish out uh, some high-quality stuff. And... Uh, with that said, we still do have one more song for now. Let's get ready to rock! Uh. I believe I'm gonna make it. Check this out, guys. There are days you'll be weak. There are days you'll be lost. There are times where you feel you wanna run and hide. There are days you'll be down, and you'll start to wonder if the world would be better off if you died. I have those days too. I think I'm crying. But I believe, I believe I'm gonna make it through, and I won't run away. I won't die. I'm gonna level up. Be the best that I can be And I'm not gonna stop questing until I'm a hero I'm gonna level up, be the best that I can be I swear that I'll become unstoppable and you'll be right at me I've got to see this through, I can't look back until the end Rise from rock bottom to the future I've seen in my dreams So come on Let's go level up Oh, perfect score. I okay. set you on. I'll take it. Right, uh if I had to rank those three, I would say... Honestly, I don't know if I would put this one first or Bakemitai, because Bakemitai is also, like... Um, I think it, it has the most... Um, uh, what's the word? Tone to it? Greg is a good singer. Uh, so yeah, maybe Bakemitai, in terms of just, you know, how good they sing, and then that one... And the last one would be Machine Gun Kiss. Um, and I also listened to the English versions of uh, Health 2. And I thought that they sounded different from the Japanese uh, versions. But I guess in a unique way, if that makes sense. Uh, I don't know how, I don't, how else to explain it. But it's going to be something, you know. We'll get to it. Uh, wait... Good. Coin. Oh, damn. Okay, hold on. Let's see. It's been a hot minute. So, uh, I know a lot of you already know this, but. There is a DLC called uh, Karaoke Pack or something like that. That is basically just for the jukebox here. It's not actually unlocking uh, new songs for the minigame.
I really love how uh, there's a muffled effect when you go up here. You know what? I'm gonna do a little something. Let me save real quick over here. You know what? That's just striking a pose in that thumbnail. Okay. Why not do the karaoke songs in Japanese now? It'll, it will be a different experience. You know? And then we'll go back to uh, English. Oh, I like how there's a little summary. Oh! The game even remembers that I put coin or disco queen. Respect. Wait. Once I sit down, standing back up sucks. Such profound uh, thoughts. Incredible, Adachi. Alright. Which one should we start with? I'm gonna go with Machine Gun Kiss. That's an ending. God damn. Next I'm gonna go for Ichiban's song, because it's really lovely sounding in Japanese too. Oh. 
Such a wholesome song. Man, I can't wait to unlock Devil's Help Out. That was a lovely song. Right. No back to reality. <laughs> yeah. Came home from work. Happy to see the lad there. Thank you, Techno. I hope work wasn't too harsh. Okay. We're going. Oh, damn. That's gonna be quite a hike. I'll try to take a safe detour.
I'm up. Let's go. Oh, that's good to hear, Techno. Quiet days are nice. Okay, this is another taxi unlocked. Are you gonna show off the other jobs? I still haven't unlocked them, so I'm gonna have to wait. I'm probably going to focus on certain jobs first, though. Wait, that one... Is it unlocked? I think it is. Unfint's Namba trying his best to catch up. I love his sprint. Oh, that's another taxi to unlock. And by interacting with it, we make this mob nearby disappear. Big brain. But oh, there is another mob over there. Well, this is a pickle. And we are surrounded. Let's see what they do. They are coming over here. That is not good. And those are going right where we want to go. That is not good either. This guy is stuck because of a god. Is it the cone or is it the hole? Alright. Okay. Have fun with this. Watch this. How do you guard in this game? You have to press um, for Xbox. You have to press B right when you get attacked. To unlock. And with that, I suppose the crowd is disappearing. Well, there's another crowd that came up. Okay, well. I'm gonna save in the middle of the street, and hopefully, this doesn't backfire. Sean has become 
become a member. Welcome to the member fam, Sean. It's good to have you. Break time. On to the next bathroom. You're even slower than yesterday. I'm going. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you okay? Hey, watch where you're going, janitor. Yoink. Load safe, get hit by a car. <laughs> Hello, Director. The woman's father. His name's Tatsuro Mokoda, correct? Understood. I'll carry it out immediately. Perfectly that car yes. is not my property. Don't worry. Yes, he's out like a light. General anesthesia. Oh, no. Here we go. You know. Most people hope and pray that they'll die in their sleep. You're one of the lucky ones who actually gets to do it. Stop! Who are you? How did you get in here? <laughs> Damn. Koda. This is Nanoha's dad for sure. Sir, wake up. Let's get you out of here. Damn. <laughs> didn't waste any time. Itchy has got no chill. God damn. What are you doing here? Contractors aren't allowed. Explain yourself. Is there a big difference in graphics and load times between the Series X and PS4 versions? Well, uh, I'm not playing on the Xbox, actually. It's on PC. I'm just using an Xbox controller. And it's it's way more amazing on PC than any other uh, console. Now, hey, calm down. Can't you recognize your own uniform? Give me a break. You're not one of us. No, we aren't. Because you're not nursing home guards. Not with that kind of weaponry. I bet you got a lot of ink underneath those uniforms. Since you're from the Seiryu clan. Hmm. Huh. So, you did your homework. We know everything, man. Even what the Seiryu clan has been doing in this room. Oh, good. That makes our decision easy. We'll have to kill you and the patient! Bring it on! Okay. Have fun with this. I got this. Take your Nice. You're weak. Okay, come Let's go. Let's go. I'm in there. Going in. And show the Look at me go! Is 
start dodging a mechanism like locking. Okay, so I'm not sure. I could be wrong about this. But I feel like if you time the block button like even more perfectly than with the blocking, if that makes sense, you're going to do a dodge. But I could be wrong. I, I don't know. I just had a feeling. Let's grab her dad and get the hell out of here. <laughs> hey, what was that drug you were about to inject him with? It was potassium chloride. Holy fucking shit. Do you know what it does? They use it overseas. For executions. The doctor was trying to kill her dad? That must have been how they killed the old woman. We got to him just in time. Guys, we ain't out of the woods yet. Oh, security cameras. There's a stat related to Dot Chance. Yeah. And yeah, I know that a, a party member that comes in later has a really good dodging uh, buff too. It's amazing. That's the guy from the cafe. Who is he? We're about to have our chance to ask him. He's coming this way. just made the biggest mistake of your lives. I hope you know that. Who are you? The director of this facility. And don't play dumb. I know what else you know about me. You mean how you're with the Seiryu clan? Yes. I'm Totsuka, from the Ryuto family. The Seiryu clan held its own against the Omi takeover. That made me think you guys must be pretty hardcore. And yet here you are, murdering old people for money. Where's the Yakuza's honor in you? The Seiryu clan is doing what must be done, for the good of society. You have no idea what burden we've taken on. Killing our elders for society's good? Go fuck yourself! You better let all the residents here go free right now, or I'll tell the whole world what you're really doing here! Welcome to try, but that would require you to walk out of here alive. Killing you is no inconvenience to me. I've got enough chemicals to melt down all your bodies. Battle is on. Yeah. Bring it. We Check it out. Shot. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You're in it now. Nice. Get cool. Come on now. Damage an enemy by shoving them with a cane, which may leave them stunned. Let's see. Take your oh, damn, that's powerful. Check this out. Weak. Let's go. Yeah, I got this. 
Kill this guy first. I'm up. You wanna fight? You wanna fight? And then he goes there. Health ring. Nice. Moving up in the world. Nice. Detective's determination. Cool. God damn! The hell are you guys? Don't make me say it again. Let all the residents go. I'm afraid I just can't do that. Then we'll do it. We'll move them all out. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> it won't open. I activated the emergency lockdown. That door won't open until this time tomorrow. What? You've lost. So stop fighting me. Maybe, just maybe, I won't call the police. I won't explain to them how our home for nice, well-to-do elderly people is being robbed by three thugs. What kind of Yakuza calls the cops? You're a stain on your family. Call me what you want, but if I call the cops, you're done. I suggest you give up and get out. Maybe instead, I'll rat you out. Oh yeah? Uh, Ichiban? Rat him out to who? The Seiryu chairman. We just need to pay him a visit at their HQ. We'll go tomorrow, bright and early, and get the chairman to fix all of this. Don't you fucking dare! This is my business, not the chairman's! If you breathe a word, I'll kill you! He doesn't give a shit. So you're that scared of the chairman, huh? So? So, you're coming with me, you spineless worm. Huh? Yeah, you're gonna take me there yourself. Because if you refuse to come along, I'm gonna tell the big scary chairman everything you did. And maybe, some things you didn't do. I mean, look at yourself. Doing business like this in the name of the Seiryu clan? As a Yakuza. You accept consequences for your actions. So, does this mean we have to go? <laughs> they act as if they have nothing to do with this. Oh, this fight. Listen. Got it. Right. Okay. Uh Real talk. I think this is a good stopping point for now. Uh the next stream is probably going to be um, not long after I wake up, probably. So you can expect it to be in 10 hours, maybe, something like that. You know, for me to wake up, eat something, get ready. Uh, I would say 9 hours is very good for the first stream. Could have been longer, but, you know, it, it'll do. Uh, right, let me just make sure I saved. Right. Uh, so yeah, that's it for today. 
uh, for everyone who joined, especially for those who st stuck around for like a lot or from the beginning, thank you so much. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna stream in maybe, like I said, 10 hours from now, something like that. Uh, right. Yeah, that's really it. I'll see you not long after. Bye-bye. And for those that are asking, will this be archived afterwards? Yes, it will be, so rest assured.